Hey guys, I'm Fia. Welcome back to another VOD being uploaded to YouTube. I am a streamer on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. And in today's VOD, we farmed for the Shah Mount. I can't remember how many characters I ended up killing it on, but it was a lot. And we talked about how awesome it is that people can love different things and be accepted for that in terms of how they play the game. And also how much I love spreadsheets. It's just, it's a thing. Just accept it. It's fine. <laughs> I will see you next time. I hope you enjoy this VOD. Bye. Hi. Welcome back. Shall we do a battle? I think so. <laughs> How is everybody today? I hope you're all doing exceptionally well. Let's drop that there. Hi, the sun well. Ah, Nova, thank you so much for the resub. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for your ongoing support and generosity. Much appreciated. I hope you are having a phenomenal day. I'm gonna kick a whole bunch of shot, but We're gonna get us a heavenly onyx cloud serpent. What is my, no, that's sinful, right, okay. That's fine. This is gonna be an entertaining day, I reckon. Look, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Oh, you could hear me. Oh, interesting, okay. I didn't realize you could hear me, my bad. I was testing the uh, the captions. Oops, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's fine. Um, where are we? This Good time zone to you, Fade. Well done, Zam, on first. Yori with last. Dupe just missed out on first. The Fade has grabbed second, and Dupe has missed out on second. Oh my goodness! But Dupe has grabbed third. Well done. <laughs> well done. Can fear get a mount today? Get Shah mount today? Was that a typo? Or get, was it get a Ha mount today? I feel like it's a Shah mount. Look, we'll find out, shan't we? We we will find out. We will find out. Well done on 69th mints. And 29th goes to Shiba. Thrid for Nova. Thur for Nano. We're pretty fast on the draw. They are indeed. They are indeed. It's almost like it's something that happens all the time. <laughs> Just got the notification. Yeah, notifications are trash. Like, the Twitch ones are absolute trash. Um, Discord is better. Uh, but, yeah, the Twitch notifications. Like, I, I've, I've been sitting on the couch next to Jas literally over an hour after stream has finished, and he will get a notification for that day's um, stream. Like, it's really bad. Really, really bad. Um, Thundering Ruby Cloud Serpent, I told Jas that was going to be the first guess, and it's wrong. I told Jas that, that was going to be the first one, and it's, it's, it's incorrect. Hello, Mints. Good evening, Fairy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Supposed to be Charmant, yes, brilliant. Got my Tess of Escher Cheese and Gig Lighter. Yay, well done, Yori. Congratulations. Congratulations, but I'm I'm glad that I knew what you were all gonna say first for the mount guess. But no, it's it's wrong. It's wrong. So uh, I have a, a pinky red sort of shade in my crease, and I have some brown that is faded to shit on the outer corner. Like it's just it's just blurred. Like it was really dark brown when I put it on, and then I tried to like blend the edges and it just went poof into nothing, and I'm like fuck. But it's kind- look, it's kind of a little bit there. And then I have like a really shimmery sort of um, like grey, silvery kind of colour on my lids. Uh, and then obviously I have lightning on my face that's very, very shiny. It's like metallic, metallic lightning. So, um, yeah. It's fun drawing on my face with makeup. I like it. I like it a lot. It's great fun. Huh. Then it's thundering August Cloud Serpent. It's not. Valajar Stormwing. Nope. Uh, I know my guess was wrong, but it was definitely first. 
Oh, the heavenly, yeah. <laughs> no, but that was, that was like a stab in the dark without any clues yet. I do have it and it does fly. An interesting effect on your face. It's hard to see in the light. Yes, yeah, because it's metallic, which is why I kind of moved my head around a bunch so you could see it properly. Oh. How's that for timing? Not too bad at all. Kicking it off with our first kill of the evening, afternoon, what the fuck ever. Starting off our community stream challenge, Shaw Farm. Come on, give me the map first, go. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wonderful? Um, we have, this is it here, we've got 401 attempts so far. No mount. I did get a cache of shell touched gold though, with a green in it. Wonderful, I'm on a hearth. One down. How many to go? Question mark. Uh, where am I? Okay. Log out. Next tune. Mm, aerial unit R21X. No. Unshackled wave ray. No. 49. Huh? Excuse me. Will there be a new stream challenge for us to contribute? No. That's why. No. Literally half of the month, I'm going to be streaming every fucking day, unless, of course, the heartbreak amount drops. Um, there is no space. And I'm having we're our six-year anniversary stream at the end of February as well. So that knocks out the potential for a marathon stream, because I'm not doing two marathon streams in a month. I, I cannot. Um, so, no. <laughs> no, there is not. There is so little stream outside of the events um, that there's just not there's nothing I can do. Like, there's there's no kind of fancy shit I can wedge in there. Like, it's just not... No. <laughs> no, unfortunately not. I know that does take a little bit of fun uh, out of the month, um, not having those weekly things to contribute to, but uh, I, I eat and it's a It's a considered decision. I know I know it affects morale a bit, so it's, it's definitely a considered decision, but February is just going to be so chock-a-block fucking packed full that there is just no time for me to um to do any kind of bonus stream dealies because there's already a fuck ton of bonus streams that you guys have no control over um it just it's happening get used to it uh depending on how the chef squad stream goes this month i might toss one into feb just for shits and gigs um but we'll we'll see how it goes i want i reserve the right to, to see how it goes first off, because if it's absolute trash and we've got three people watching and no one wants to be a chef in my kitchen, then why the hell would I play it again? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I doubt that that's going to happen, but I don't, I also don't want it to just like, I don't want it to be boring. I want it to be exciting and fun for you guys. And if it's not exciting and fun, why would I continue to do it? Uh, my cloud, this one, where am I going? Destination unreachable. I call BS. I call BS. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Dalaran Hearth that it's going to want me to use, but we'll see. Ruby Panther. No. Raging Tempest. No. Hijack. We full up team. Indeed. I'm guessing Hearth Steed. Uh, your guess would be incorrect, Fairy. But feel free to try again. You're not limited to just one. You can guess as many times as you'd like until it is guessed correctly. And Sorcel Everworm. No. Looking after yourself is important. Agreed. Which is why I tell you guys to do it. I almost threaten you to do it. Every single stream. Be nice to each other. Look after yourself. Other way around. <laughs> Look after yourself and be nice to each other. Those are like huge. I fucking love when the druid flight form doesn't kick in properly. Like the, ch the, the model changed and you just kind of like end up swimming through the air. It's hilarious and I love it very much. <laughs> Uh, it'll give Seeker a break too. A lot of typing is campaign manager. I agree. Why is destination unreachable? It's not. It's literally not. It's here. Uh, Drake of the East Wind. Yes. 
Yes, it is Drake of the East Wind. There is some glowy electrical bits through the Drake's wings. So I thought I'd throw you off a little bit. It's still appropriate. It is still appropriate, as you can see here, but it is not, I it did throw you off a little bit, which was my intention. What do you think? How do you think I did? How do you think I did? Think I did good? I'm really happy with this. I love drawing on my face with makeup. It's so much fun. So much fun. Uh, so, Zem, number please. Family, been a while. Hello, Rose. Welcome back. Hey, Chaos. I'm doing so well. How are you today? If there's only three viewers for Chef Squad, I'll be one of them that day. Aw, I think I need to be there after all the hype I've been throwing. Into Look, if something goes down, dude, and you cannot make it for whatever reason, do not feel bad, yeah? Like... Life throws shit our way all the goddamn time. Like, it's it's a thing. But I mean, I would love to have all of you there. I would love to have a full fucking kitchen with people waiting in the wings. I feel like that would be amazing and awesome. I feel like it'd be great for people to be saying, you know what, I'll sit this round out so that other people can get in who haven't had a chance yet. That's what I fucking want. Like, do you know what I mean? I want, I want fun. I want people. I want everyone to be just like going for it. It'd be great. Um, but we'll see. We shall see. Um, oh, right, it's here. Good. But yeah, I am, uh, I am keen. I am all the keen. Uh, those are guesses. It was like that on my drift platform. I'm trying to swim with you. And it's like, and they do the swim where it's like, they, they buck their whole body. Like, they do body rolls instead of like, they don't like swim, swim. They just kind of wobble. And it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's hilarious. It's all on the wind drakes, yeah. Oh, on all the wind drakes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Nano. I appreciate it. I was gonna guess north south right after. Perfection. Forty two. Forty two. All right. Where's my fucking spreadsheet? Uh, I feel like I'd be better at guessing if I wasn't colorblind. Look, that might be helpful. That might be helpful. Uh, it's actually a really cool effect if you had Shadowlands sunblock with those. Ooh. Shadowland Sunblock. What is, is that what the item is called? 42. Yoku's Island Express. Bam. Enjoy. Uh, okay, let me get rid of that. And then we open up the second chance draw. Exclamation giveaway to enter to win a random Steam key. You must be following to win. So hit that follow button if you haven't already, because let's be real, what are you doing? If you're here and you haven't followed yet, what are you doing? Trust me, you'll have a great time. Or you won't and you can hit unfollow and no one will ever know the difference and that's fine. But like also I'm offended. I'm kidding, I'm not. I will not take it personally. <laughs> not everyone is for everyone. Oh dear, okay. Um, I'm okay, just woke up from a nap. Me too, me too. I, I'm sick. I am actually legitimately fucked up. I don't know why, I don't know what happened, but just yesterday I slept all day and then today I've done the same thing. I got up really early, I did a whole bunch of stuff, was productive, Jas and I went for a walk, like a, a quite a decent walk, like a proper exercise walk. We had some breakfast and then we came home and I'm like, I'm gonna lie down for a bit because I feel overheated because it was really warm this morning. And then I passed out and I woke up and it was fucking 2.30 and I'm like, Jesus goddamn Christ. Um, so I, yeah, I feel really kind of shitty because I've lost, you know, I had like, I'm gonna smash this year. I'm gonna get all the shit done. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like, um, like sit on anything and just let it. Like I'm not gonna procrastinate. I'm gonna do shit. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna kick ass and blah blah blah. And now, out of three days of the new year, I have slept for two of them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm feeling a bit shitty. I feel like it's. I must be sick. Yep. Yep. So I, yeah, I feel like I have to be sick. There's, there's no other explanation for me needing that much sleep is that my body is just run down and kerfucked. Um, so I, I must, I must be sick. Um, so yeah, that's fun. But I'm not like, I'm not any snifflier than usual. I'm not nauseous. I'm not, none of that kind of stuff. I'm just, my body is fucked. So, oh well. 
Oh well. Obviously it needed it and it got it, so we'll see how we go. Uh, how did your dad go with the coasters? Did he lack it or wax them? I don't know. Not sure yet. Um, my father has this habit of not texting back unless he needs to give you information. So he probably would have just read it and been like, cool, and then put his phone away and then not replied. So he, he probably won't tell me. I probably have to ask him again, like next time I see him and he'll be like, oh yeah, I didn't do either of those things. So yeah, that's fine. Um, Ashen liniment, I think. Is it a toy? No. Cool, okay. I'll have to figure, I'll have to check it out. Uh, although there is a toy too. Ah, Yoku's Island Express is an absolute banger of a game. Fantastic, congrats then, Zam. That's great, great news. Um, I don't know. Hey, Dory. Hey, a draw. I haven't been on. It's very busy. No, that's fine, draw. Not a problem at all. No need to apologize. Get well soon. Thank you, Rose. I hope I do. I just, like, I don't like feeling like shit. I don't feel like feeling all run down and trash. Um, it's not a great feeling, especially when you have all these plans and things that you want to get done and your body's just like, <laughs> so yeah, look, we'll see. Happy New Year to you too, Draw. You're just prepping yourself? Look, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. A little emotionally oof guy flirted with all of Christmas Timmy Jane yesterday. Doing well with Wowly, 18 away from all 60s. Well done, Rose. Well done. That's okay. Look, rejection happens. It happens a lot. It's fine. Have you got your vaccination? Uh, yes. I've been, I've had two double dose since like September last year. Uh, yes. We've been told what you make a business. Bye bye day. Yes, it has been guessed just recently, Dory. It was the Drake of the East Wind. Uh, and the giveaway is currently open for the second chance draw. Exclamation giveaway to enter a random, uh, the giveaway for a random free Steam key. Uh, and you need to be following to win. But I assume you are, but I thought I'd just like let you know anyway. I'm going to roll because I have the coin, so I might as well use it. Gold. Piss off. Okay. Two down. How many to go? How many can we fit in today? Taking bets. Actually, you know what? I can actually, I can do a thing in here, I think. <laughs> How many tunes can I get? No, fuck that. It's just, it's going to get too messy. Um, that's fine. Log out. Mmm, I'm gonna see if I can get my last two tunes to 30. Yes, I believe you can, Shiva. I have full faith in you. Kick its ass, do the thing. I'm I'm so proud of you. Look at you go. Look at you go. I would be leveling if I weren't doing Shah tonight. 100%. Like, I know it's Mount Farm Monday, but like, I wanna get I wanna get it done. And I was thinking about it, like we've got two, two leveling streams plus a marathon leveling stream. So that's 24 hours of leveling, right? Um, with with the New Year's Eve stream, I got two tunes to 50 and I got a couple of levels on a last one, like a third one, but the stream wasn't actually that long. Um, where's my channel analytics? Time streamed. It was, it was eight hours, so I only did two, oh no, wait. Uh, like eight and a half hours. So I only did like two and a half hours extra. So... That's like, I did a one and a half length stream. So if I had, if I did eight, 10, I did approximately 10 levels, right? But that's like, so I only like on a regular length stream, I'm probably only going to get like one, maybe two tunes done in a six hour stream. So let's say I got two tunes done. That's only eight tunes. And I have more than eight to do, <laughs> like a lot more than eight. So I'm a little nervous. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous. <sighs> um, so I have a feeling that the first week of February is just gonna be leveling streams, all of the elders 12 times over. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Ah, uh, go she be go. My lowest tune is now 40. Well done, Yori. My lowest, my lowest is still 46. Still 46, but I've only got two at level 46. 
And I know that once once I'm working on the tunes that are like 48, 49, I know it's going to take a lot less time to do it. But they've got I've got so many tunes at 47. I have 10 characters at 47. That's a lot. That's like a lot. Uh, I want to start a new tune, but unsure what to play. Do you have one of every class story? Do you have all 12 classes on your account? Na 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 na. I uh, haven't been playing WoW for a bit, back into it now. Maybe played a little too much today, but yeah, great game. A level 36, well done! Well done, Draw. Hopefully getting the Wanderers Festival Hatchling in about 30 minutes, but time zones confuse me. Yeah, look, time zones suck. Um, I actually have a second clock setting. You know when you've got your clock in the taskbar, where it has like the clock and the date in your taskbar at the bottom of Windows? If I hover over that, it shows me WoW time as well, with the day and the time, because I'm sick of doing conversions. <laughs> so it just it tells me down there. Um, mm, Pandora and represent. Speaking of hours, would you like to share how many hours you did work behind the scenes of streaming? Sure. December 2021. Uh, where are my statistics? So I worked, including stream time, 184 hours and 21 minutes last month in the month of December. So for those of you, okay, so I was really curious about how much time I actually spent on stream. Like, I know how I know how often I stream. I know I'm live 24 hours a week, right? But like, I don't, I'm not just live. There is so much work that I do behind the scenes. And I'm like, I wonder how much time I spend doing all that extra shit, right? I was curious. So I downloaded an app. It's called Time with a Y, so T-Y-M-E. And it basically allows me, like I've set up a bunch of different like tasks, like schedule social media, do makeup, stream. Um, and so I clock, like I, I can like clock in to start a timer and then I do the task. And at the end of it, I finish the task and it tells me how much time it took me to do it. And it logs that across however long it takes me, right? It's designed for freelancers so that you can like have different projects. Um, so if you're working on, for example, art for three different people, but you're doing it all kind of bits and pieces here and there while you're waiting for inspiration to strike, whatever, you can kind of time clock how long it takes you to do the drawing and then the coloring and then the this and that and the other, all that and the communicating and all that kind of stuff so that you can figure out how much you're actually charging per hour, like what you're paying yourself, um, which is kind of cool. But I don't use it like that because obviously I don't charge anyone for my stream hours, but uh, yeah, so I wanted to see what I was doing. So I set it up for a 40 hour work week, 40 hour work week. That's eight hours a day for five days of the week. And I did 104% of that. So streaming is more than a full-time job for me. Plus I have my part-time job. So 184 hours and 21 minutes. Uh, I worked 31 days. Every single day I did something stream related. I did eight hours and 21 minutes of overtime. So that's that 4%, the eight, 104%. So if I was doing my 40 hours a week, I did an extra day of work the entire month. So it's, it's the equivalent of working a full day of overtime uh, during the month. I worked on average six hours a day, five hours and 56 minutes a day on average. Uh, and all of it was non-billable. Um, it also shows me that my average working hours were 4 p.m. and after. Like, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, I can do an export, but I don't think it does... Like, it only exports it to a PDF, like, on my phone. Which is kind of annoying. And it shows me my times, but that's... Let's see. Export. Remember to a file, export only and build. Build, include, and unbillable, include and unbillable tasks. All tasks selected. Grouping by project and time. By project and task. Individual tasks. Sum, mm, individual task sums. Combine times by day and task. Day time. I won't. I want day. Um. I don't want rate. Some will be okay. All right. And then. Let's have a look and see if it tells me, like, how long I spent doing each thing. Why would it do that? That would be entirely too convenient. Um, week two, week three, week three, week four, week four. Oh, it has. Okay, so... I 
I spent 12 hours last month checking my socials. That means like responding to tweets and, and responding to comments and um, like just and checking DMs on different platforms and stuff. 12 hours just checking my socials. I spent eight hours and 14 minutes checking my emails and responding to things and posting, like if I've got humble bundles and stuff that have been launched or specials for bubble tea club and stuff, posting those in Discord, that include that's part of emails. Um, uh, I spent an hour learning slash self-education. I would like to up that number. I would like to do spend more time educating myself. I spent 15 hours doing my makeup. 14 hours and 59 minutes doing my makeup. I spent 3 hours and 21 minutes doing MISC backend bot slash OBS stuff. So that's things like updating my overlays and, and you know, putting the Tiltify thing in or putting in new sound commands or new text commands, all that kind of stuff. 3 hours and 21 minutes. Um, I spent an hour and 43 minutes planning my mount makeup. So that's figuring out what mounts I'm going to do for next month and then what which actual eyeshadows and shit that I'm going to use to put those looks together. Yep, hour and 43 minutes to plan all that. Uh, I spent 16 hours and 3 minutes scheduling my socials. So that means like, you know, putting together Instagram posts and sorting out my clips to make reels and TikTok posts and all that kind of shit. That took me 16 hours and 3 minutes last month. I spent 2 hours and 1 minute doing stuff for sponsors slash affiliates. So that's like, you know, taking photos of bubble tea or... Um, uh, like I went through and highlighted when I made Bubble Tea on stream and then downloaded that and sent it off to Bubble Tea Club and stuff like that. Two hours and one minute. And I spent 124 hours and 28 minutes streaming. So the fact that I have that number. So I worked, what was this? It's a 124.28. 124.28. And I worked 184.21. So basically, two thirds of my time that I spend on stream is 120 hours on stream and 60 hours off stream. There you go. So as like half every every minute that I spend live, I spend 30 seconds doing shit behind the scenes. That is a really interesting stat. That's really interesting. And this is why I want to go full time. This is why I want to go full time. Because, like, I work two jobs. I have a full-time job and I have a part-time job. If I could make enough from streaming to support myself completely, like, properly, that would give me all that extra time every week to take care of myself, to take care of my home, to to invest in the stream and to, to grow and all that kind of stuff. Like, it would just be awesome. But, you know, that's why it's a goal. That's why it's a goal. All right, um, a few Pandaren, I didn't like the classes they were, so I never played them. Not yet. Well, maybe, Dory, if you're picking a new class to play, you should pick something you don't have one of yet. Uh, I'm trying to get my Time Walking Dungeon quest done and looking for multitudes of chi for the Peggy Pug. Yas, Yari! Do that, do the thing. What's the daily rested XP rate anyways? What do you mean? What's the daily rest of the experience? As in, how much do you accrue per day? I'm not too sure, but I think it takes you like... Um... I can't tell you because all of my tunes have got too much rested. Um, I, I think it takes uh, like... Well, there you go. So it says fully rested in three days and six hours. And it gets to 150. 150 is cap. So the fact that she's at 100% and she's still got three days and six hours to go, I think it's about nine, 10 days. I think it's around about 10 days to get to fully rested. So if you, if you, so it's like 15% per day, if that works out then. Yeah, does that make, is that what you're after, Bay? I'm not too sure. I'm a little bit behind. I'm eight minutes behind on chat, but I'm catching up now because I was talking too much about my hours. Correct answer is to make a druid, always a druid. Only have hunter, druid and priest. Ooh, you got plenty to choose from. Out of all the classes, I think I have the most fun leveling Hunter, Mage, and Warrior. Mmm, put screenshot with Ash and Liniment in Warcraft. Thank you. I'm gonna have a look. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's fucking cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, you're right, Jack. That's amazing. That's super awesome. Oh, that's a lot. Her allowed to count getting ready for work as work. Well, I do. <laughs> I do because I like I wouldn't be sitting down and putting on that makeup if I weren't streaming 
and it is part of streaming for me, is preparing my body for streaming. For sure. And if I don't put the makeup on, you guys don't get to guess things. And so, so it is actually like an active part of stream. It's not just, I need to make myself presentable for the internet. It's, I need to set up the game for my viewers. So yeah, I, I absolutely count it as part of my work. You might not, but I do. Uh, do you think you got the payback for that time of work? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um... I'm not going to tell you my hourly rate because that will tell because then you can do the math and figure it out. But let me have a look at what I made just through Twitch for, for the month of December um, in US. By the way, was it 184? <laughs> no, that's below minimum wage. That's below minimum wage. This is why I have a day job. <laughs> day job pays the bills. Twitch pays for fun shit and teeth. Still not starting the battles. Um, I wonder if. change it off and then change it on again if that will maybe work we'll see we'll find out um two hours of data entry into asana <laughs> uh 12 hours of socials hashtag influence i know right i know i feel like i would forget to start and stop with all these tasks it's it's just training you just gotta learn i'm gonna stick to jeremy track and wasting time on tiktok oh entries to stop for the giveaway there's the giveaway congratulations to dory You've won today's giveaway. Can I have a number from you, please? Between 1 and 100. Yeah, this is about two, day, two bars per day, four if you're Pandaren. It caps in 10 days. I think it's eight days to get full rested. 5% uh, per eight hours. There you go. Made me think about the garrison box correctly, and it caps at 150. It does. Should be this. It's twice for Pandaren. Uh, oh, yeah, I would just like to, uh, like to count it as my work routine, too. Um, yeah, your, your work probably won't pay you for that, because it's not counted as active work. Um, yeah, I put the clip. I put in the clip of you explaining that. Explaining what? We lost, but that's fine. I just didn't want you to miss in case it dropped. Alright. Back to here. Alrighty. Let us try that again. It's okay. It's our first battle of the day. We don't have enough units yet. Now that we've got more people watching. Make sure you place your units. Jump in, follow the link in Twitch chat. Drag and drop your units to the battlefield, like so. And uh, help us defeat the thing. Help us defeat the thing. I got a piece of gear, but I already had it. So that's fine. Uh, 83! Awesome. Okay. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Uh, here we go. Train station renovation. That sounds like a lot of fun, not gonna lie. That's you. Yellow. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Bam! I've sent it to you via Twitch DM. Enjoy! Enjoy. Uh, so a second. Well done. Well done, Rose. It's gonna sound about the payback. I get the feeling that some people don't see all the unpaid work. Yeah, no, that was the whole point of me doing this. Because people are like, oh, you just sit on your butt and play video games and you get paid for it. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I do not. Um, absolutely not. It's, it is fucking hard work. I have worked my goddamned fucking ass off to get to where I am. And I still, I continue to do so. And if I want to make full time, I'm going to have to keep fucking doing it. The opportunities that I've had have only become, they've only come around because of how fucking hard I've worked. 
and how I've put myself out there and how I've risked shit and all that kind of stuff. Like it, it has taken, I'm near, I'm nearly six years in six years. It'll be six years at the end of February. And I, I've worked my fucking ass off to get to where I am. Yeah. Not saying that you guys don't believe that. That's not at all like, I, I know that you know, but um, yeah, no. People absolutely do not. All they see is, oh, she just plays video games for money. Okay, you give it a go. <laughs> you do what I do. Let me give you my timesheet and you spend all that time doing all that shit. See how you fare. Not you specifically, obviously. Uh, could you talk about times of social Ah, brilliant. Awesome. Okay, I like that butt off, but sacrifice to succeed at work. Absolutely. Absolutely. And in some ways, it is paying off. We will get there. Because if I am anything, it is stubborn. <laughs> when I want something, I go and I fucking get it. <laughs> I love this. This is, I, I feel like this is the thing I should have been doing. Like, do you know, it, it just, it feels right. It feels good. I'm so happy to be doing what I'm doing. And I, it just, every, the, like, what I'm, like, what I'm doing feels right. The people I'm doing it with feels right. Everything just feels like I'm in the right place, doing the right things and all that kind of shit. So I'm, yeah, I am so endlessly thankful that I'm able to do this and that I'm able to make anything from it. Like that's that, like looking at my, um, uh, like my Twitch income specifically, that's money from Twitch, that subs, cheers. Um, yeah, that subs and cheers. That's it, literally subs and cheers. Um, so that I'm making under like well, well under minimum wage uh, doing, doing that, right? Then you take into account um, like, what's it? Uh, you know, Hoover Doovers, uh, affiliate payments. Um, so like, you know, when I sell skins or when we, when we, ha when I have like Mellow Cosmetics as an affiliate company or Bubble Tea Club and you guys make purchases there with my codes or my links, um, uh, Humble Bundle, buying bundles or games through the Humble store, um, uh, fucking yes style buying uh, clothes or makeup or, or skincare or whatever it happens to like K beauty stuff like that all of those little things they all add up and then occasion like very occasionally I get the opportunity to do a sponsored stream uh, or, or sponsored posts and stuff like that so like when when I worked with Udi uh, and and they paid me for a stream um, when I worked with Blizzard and they paid me for a stream or three like all of those little things they all add up as well. Um, and I often can't know what I've made in a month because all of those different places have different pay timings, like turnaround times. So for example, Twitch, you get paid 15 days EOM. Um, so 15 days after the end of the month, that's what EOM stands for, EOM, end of month. Um, so December, I earn cash from the 1st of December to the 31st of December and the 31st of December is the end of the month. I then get paid on the 15th of January because that's 15 days EOM. So that's when that money will hit my PayPal account and then I have to take it out into my actual bank account so that I can allocate shit and spend it and all that kind of stuff. Well. Ah, Ali! Thank you so much for your Prime Gaming resub. Much appreciated. Thank you for your ongoing support. It means so much to me. Thank you. Um... Uh, then there are other there are other companies like um, I'm pretty sure Stream Raiders is fucking bang on like they pay end of month like everything from December first to December thirty first you get paid January first kind of well it's obviously a public holiday but if it's not a public holiday you kind of get it paid right then and there um, Humble does something a little bit similar I think there's a few days delay on Humble though um, like and then affiliate companies usually won't pay you out every month you have to earn and same thing with twitch right so twitch you have to earn 100 bucks us if you earn uh, 95 in the month of december you won't get a payment on the 15th of january instead in january if you earn at least five dollars let's say you earn another 95 so that's a total of 190 you get paid the whole 190 from both months on february 15th because that's 15 days end of month after you've hit the payment threshold. And a lot of affiliate programs do the same thing because the fees, the bank fees on paying out $2.15 
is five bucks. So why would they do that? They wait until you get to a certain threshold and then they pay it all out just to like lessen bank fees and shit like that. And it for me as well, because withdrawing that amount from PayPal is shit. Don't do it. It's it's not worth it. Um, so I usually, even when I get affiliate payments throughout the month, I wait until Twitch hits because Twitch is my largest payout. Um, so when Twitch hits, I withdraw everything. Um, and I withdraw everything that fucking day. Uh, so, and then I like divide it up and figure out how much I want to put aside for super and how much I need to put aside for tax and then put aside for dentistry and all that kind of fun shit. Um, but yeah, it's, a. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's kind of, it can be really tricky to figure out how much you're actually earning per month and then to figure out what like your hourly rate is just because you may not see that money for several months, depending on like if it's one of your smaller affiliate programs that you don't get a hundred bucks a month from, um, then, which I don't get a hundred bucks a month from any of my affiliate programs. No. <laughs> so um, it, it can take a little, it can take a bit to figure out exactly how much you made each month. Uh, it can be a bit tricky, which, but that's okay because tax is done yearly. They don't give a shit how much you made per month. It's just about how much you made that year, which makes it a lot easier. Also, my accountant does that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Ah, uh, Scape looks heaps fun. Yay! Oh, I'm so glad, Dory. Wonderful news. How dare you play video games and talk to people who enjoy watching you? That's outrageous. I know, right, Krazzy? Who the fuck do I think I am? Hello. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Mm, I'm patient. I'm stuck. Yes. It reminds me, like, a video from a sex worker about all the people complaining and she was like, fine, start an OnlyFans or Fansly, get people and subs and all that. While I wait here, I'm just doing fine. I'm doing just fine the way I am. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Uh, I remember my morning brain thought you had a leather company when you said, when I sell skins. Oh, no, 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 no. Like cosmetic skins in stream raiders. Yeah, for sure. Uh, could be worse. She could have sold, sold her human skins. Also true. Schedule means I got to grab sleep earlier than usual today. That's okay, Jack. Good luck with the stream. I hope it drops. So do I, Jack. Thank you very much for your well wishes. Rest well and we'll see you next time. I hope you have a wonderful rest. Because don't we all need that? Like, holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. Oh uh, dear. All right. So let me just, while I'm here, while I cycle through these characters, I really should check, like, if their their stats are up to date for my spreadsheet. Because I might as well, right? Nope, that's the wrong folder. <sighs> I have so many fucking bookmarks in Chrome. Good lord. I need to do a digital clean out. I need to fucking conmari my PC. <laughs> like, for realsies. Shasun TM. Ah, uh, yeah, five seconds or ten minutes. Somewhere between there. Somewhere between there. Okay, so classic says 720, which is wrong. I'm on repressively, repressively, right? Okay, good. I need to update her then. Yay. She wrong. Uh, all right, let me show completed groups, though. Because I know I'll need to. Erg. This one, please. Do, 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 do. Okay. Not encore. 1756, 32, 32, 11, 32, 9, 26, 20, 7, 10. Scarlet Halls is up to date. Uh, <laughs> 12, 17, 20, 30, 24, 38, 28, 54, 2, 5, 11, 19, 13, 25, 8, 13, 12, 21, 7, 29, 7, 29, wonderful. Okay, 4, 7, 30, 60, 3, 7, 3, 6, 8, 26, 12, 24, 11, 26, 23, 57, 12, 43, 9, 20, 15, 37, 26, 48, 10, 30, 15, 33, 10, 22, 9, 24, 9, 24, 12, 20, 8, 28, 16, 24, 12, 28, 11, 21, 19, 29, 6, 16, whoop, 16, and 6, 26, so that should be, yeah, 686. 
perfection. Mmm, that's a whole lot of numbers. It is. Welcome to AT fucking T. <laughs> this is this is my bread and butter. This is what I do. Uh, I like my numbers. 52, what, 52, 133, 157, 337, 28, 37, 15, 22, 154, 256, 104, 160, 278, 458. Fuck, Ice Crown Citadel. 8, 20, 33, 39, 21, 30, 31, 42, 41, 43, 33, 43, 21, 47, 22, 35, 12, 38, 31, 42. 10, 36, 33, 41, 38, 48, 39, 51, 52, 111. 20, 24, 39, 47, 21, 40. 21, 40? 21, 40. Number is correct. Yay! Don't understand what's going on, but I'm happy to be here. Exclamation AT dot. AT dot. <clears throat> 7, 10. 13, 51, 44, 84, 37, 63, 35, 42, 106, 151, 106, 179, 18, 26, 5, 20, 14, 20, 21, 34, 6, 10, 14, 25, 14, 23, 22, 26, 24, 5, 15, 22, 39, 23, 34, 876, 876, beautiful. Um, is accounting ASMR a thing? This is a vibe. Really? Because <laughs> I could fucking do this all day. <laughs> is this, is this, is this how I go full time? Reading out numbers quickly and like not too loudly. Oh, Sha! Ah, oh, that means I'm not going to update the rest of the numbers. That's okay. Look, at least it's almost halfway there. Yeah, AT dart. All the dungeon and raid things. AT dart. If you get me more prepared, I'm doing well, thanks. Yay! Also, can you not do ATT? I'm feeling guilty for not running my plan schedule right now. Don't. It's fine. It's fine. Do you think I'm running a schedule? No, it's fine. Don't stress. Don't stress. I'm just updating a spreadsheet. Like, I'm updating a spreadsheet to know what my lowest completion things are and stuff. Like, totally fine. Totally fine. I'm not actually doing anything. It's great. Uh, she's just chanting random things to hypnotize us. Witch. I know I can't be a witch until I get the um the the tarot cards from my wish list, Sam. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! It's a big spreadsheet. Large. Large. I love it so much, though. It makes my heart happy. I fucking love data. Okay, like for realsies. It's like the bestest. Decided trying a monk. Yay, Dory. That's a great choice. Well done. Jesus fucking Christ. Yes. Monk time. Pause check. That's what I've been doing. Decided to go do some hardcore SOM. Ooh. From your witch list. I mean, you're not wrong. Tarot stream when? Ooh. That could be interesting. I don't feel, I feel like I don't know enough about it to like, so like, um, okay, so I'm not sure how people would feel about that kind of stuff. I mean, I, I like, my personal feelings about tarot and stuff, I don't necessarily think it's, like, a mystical thing. I don't think that it's, like, I don't feel religious about it. I don't feel like it has any control over my life or anything like that. I feel like it's a really good opportunity for self-reflection. I feel like when you draw a card and you read the description of it and your brain goes, oh, that's talking about my best mate. Then you can kind of go, oh, why do I think that's about my best mate? What has been happening in that situation that I think this needs to, like, if it's saying, you know, you you have a, a relationship in your life that that is struggling and you need to pay some more attention to it, and you go, oh, that must be my best mate. It's like, okay, but why do I feel like I need to pay more attention to my best mate? Is that a thing? Like, do I feel like I've been neglecting them? Like, do you, you know what I mean? Like, it's a... <laughs> Most appropriate sound effect ever. I, th I do think so. Um... 
<laughs> you know, but you know what I mean? Like it's kind of, it's that opportunity for kind of going, okay, why is that where my brain is going? Is this something that really matters that much to me? And do I need to focus more of my energy on it? Have I been neglecting my friendships, not only to their detriment, but also to my detriment? Like, what can I look at in my life? What have I been focusing too much time on that maybe I don't need to so that I can make these? It, it just, it's that opportunity for, for looking inward and seeing why your brain think, why your brain goes there. Um, so I think it's a very useful tool. It can be really fun. It can be really interesting. Uh, and you can gain some insight to, like, it can help you think from, think about things from a different perspective as well. Like there have been times recently, cause I have a, a tarot app that's that actual, that, that card, that deck that's on my wish list. Um, the funds from that deck goes to support the development of a completely free app. So that's how they support it. Not using ads or a subscription in the app. The app is completely 100% free. They support it with purchases of the deck, which I really like. Um, and I have been draw drawing a card occasionally just for funsies. And um, when I've kind of, w some, there have been a couple where I've kind of been like, what? what and then i've like i've read it to jass and jass has gone oh maybe maybe it's about this thing and i'm like holy shit i didn't even think about that how it could be related to that and it kind of it just sort of opens up that okay you know what i haven't drawn a card today let's do one tarot stream when fucking now bitches uh <laughs> draw your daily card it is the king of cups compassion control, balance. A man whose greatest quality is his ability to control, balance, and master his emotions. He is not empty of feelings, but rather full of them. Only he understands when and where they are appropriate and beneficial, and when they are harmful. He is a man of compassion, diplomacy, and generosity. Interesting. So, King of Cups. Where's the cups the cards where's the mermaid man there's a mermaid man a few more and it was upright upright keywords wise diplomatic balance between head and heart devoted advisor counselor King of Cups is a card in the tarot that shows generosity, control, and emotional balance. The card itself depicts a king seated on a throne who has an amulet that is shaped like a fish. The fish in his necklace represents his creativity and spirit, which thrives on the calm waters that surround him. We can see from the background that there is a steady balance between the conscious and unconscious. Behind the king, there is a fish jumping out of the ocean on the right side and a ship on the left side, representative of the emotional and material worlds, uh, respectfully. The King of Cups... Uh, respectively. Uh, the King of Cups shows that you do not suppress your impulses, but have learned to deal with them in a balanced manner. Uh, upright King of Cups. The King of Cups is one of the most influential cards in the suit of cups. He represents creativity, emotion, and the unconscious. The card shows the ability to restrain one's emotions and be in fully in charge of your feelings and impulses. Therefore, the King of Cups represents a balance between the intellect and emotions. He indicates that there is a strong relationship between understanding and feeling. Uh, when you have balanced your emotions and are able to control them, it means you have a deeper knowledge and awareness of yourself when you're faced with challenges that would normally throw you off balance. The King of Cups is there to remind you that you should act as he does. Do not fly out in a rage or immediately throw yourself into despair. You first need to temper the state of your emotions so that you can progress forward in reality. Learn to evaluate yourself so as to determine how you can create a stronger awareness of your own internal state. There are instances when the King of Cups can symbolize an older male who is in your life. This is a mature man who is willing to take responsibility for his actions and has mastered his own self-understanding. The King of Cups tends to be political and diplomatic, and this makes it possible to for makes it possible to for him to balance the needs of others and enhance the harmony among all parties involved. King of Cups shows that you are sensitive as a leader and you are careful with the way others respond to your emotional needs. The King of Cups implies that you should remain mature when dealing with negative energy. Mm. Mm. Upright finances meaning, we've been talking about finances. Financial stability, being realistic but hopeful about finances. Yeah, so the idea with the tarot is that you ask a question and then you draw a card and it answers it, which is why I stopped for a minute and was just kind of looking at the thing before I tapped it, I was asking a question. 
I'm not going to tell you what question was because I can't. Um, <laughs> it is to do with things that I'm not able to discuss with you just yet. Um, but that's, that's very interesting. There you go. Tarot stream now. It's finished. <laughs> um... <clears throat> uh, I'm getting Thai for dinner. So I'm winning. I'm so, I'm so like, that's amazing, Dory. Delicious. I love Thai. Uh, card of Romans are those kind of cards, right? With the flavor text. Uh, sort of, but not really. They're, they're kind of, they've, they've drawn from tarot for inspiration, but um, I think cards of omens are far closer to fucking fortune cookies. You know, you will have fortune in your future as opposed to that, which is what a tarot card, like tarot cards are far more like involved and kind of require interpretation rather than just it's a message on a piece of paper. Yeah, card of omens are, they, they, they're they supposed to kind of look like tarot, but they read like a fortune cookie. Um, Because Jess needs all the hugs. Aw, got the festival turtle, yay! I'm gonna come up and get the Charmant on my first kill. Good, good, good luck, good luck fairy. Good luck, Mr. Spock. It's totally about Mr. Spock. Then it's decided Fia needs to do a Star Trek marathon. <sighs> Must I? <laughs> I'd recommend Lower Decks as a starting point. <laughs> Hello, Nutty. Welcome on in. See, just like Mr. Spock. Ah, uh, something negative when I do with that old energy being positive in this economy. But if kind of omens were edibles, I could make so much fun cooking memes. <laughs> and it's like it's like when you crack open the cookie and there's like a folded card of omen inside the cookie. That's that's kind of yeah. Or maybe the cards are actually like little, like they're thin and they're little and I don't know, who knows, we'll see. Mm. Right, can I? I can check um, Benedicta's stats while I'm here. Back to the accounting ASMR, maybe, we'll see. Um, classic was 667, so I need to update that. Okay. 42, 48, 22, 22, 26, 41, 22, 34, 34, 73, whoop, 73, 73, 17, 20, 35, 50, 27, 38, 40, 44, 10, 14, 14, 21, 10, 15, 7, 7, we like 7, 7, that's 100%, 10, 13, 18, 22, 5, 7, 14, 14, 22, 24, 28, 32, 40, 51, 7, 7. I like all these 100%, it's because she's a cloth wearer. 12, 19, 14, 18, 13, 15, 16, 18, and that's it. Oh shit, I broke it. Uh, give me a second. I put the numbers in the wrong place. Um, so that's Temple of Metallica, so that's 19. There we go. 14, 18, 13, 15, 14, 18. There we go. Fixed! Um, so that should be 667 for classic. And it is! Whoops, wonderful. Uh, how is Burning Crusade? 796. No, wrong, very wrong. <laughs> um, um, did the giveaway close? It did, and Dory won. Someone who hasn't entered yet should try enter. It's all done. Yep, Fell Orc. Okay. Fell Orc. Oh, excuse me. Fell <laughs> 23, 25, 27, 31, 22, 26, 18, 18, 14, 24, 24, 30, 13, 17, 21, 25, 32, 34, 68, 18, 26, 28. Uh, are we at 694? We are! Woo! Woo. Wrath of Lich King. Ah, 400 off, that's fine. <laughs> totally fine. Uh, 
I'm not too ready to wish the cheese. Let's see if I can get one of the three. I believe in you, Yari. I believe in you. And remember, you can do it across multiple teams. So if you have more than one character you can run those raids on, fucking smash him. Fucking smash him. Looks like you have some friends out. I have a couple. I have a couple. I feel like I am in a sea monkey's tank. Because sea monkeys are funky looking. And pretty. And blue. Sounds like Fiona's been replaced by Black Mafia Terrorizal. I do not know the reference. Well, hello, TK. I hope you're doing well. You so many the old Fiona. I'm dupe. <laughs> One day, can you do the Star Coast Road Stalker? What do you mean? Yeah, it's not got weird. Ooh, yeah, but. <laughs> Repeating his word. I know, I know, I know, but like, getting is exciting. You know, getting the achievement, completing the chip, ticking the box is exciting. Yeah, so I've gone wrong. Please call the kids upstairs. <laughs> look. Try as a makeup look. Oh, um. Oh, have I? Have I? Star Coast Road. What is it actually called? Because Star Coast Void Stalker is not a map. What is the map actually called? There's no like the name of Void Stalker. If you give me the actual name of the map, I can tell you what if I've done it or not. Um, I'm changing A T T Y A T T A T T. Yep. Void Cooler Man's Lights. Void Cooler? Because the reason for Void Stalker. Is that I, I just want to make sure that we're on the right page. Star Coast Void Strider. Uh, okay, yeah, if it's an alliance map, then I can't check it from here. Yeah. Yeah, I can't check it from here. To see if I've got it or not. Um, I probably haven't done it then. Uh, but I do have over 900 mounts to get through, so I'll get there eventually. I'm, I don't double up. Um, once I've done a mount, it doesn't get done again until I've done the rest of them. So we'll get there. Mm. Oh, it's the chicken. Yeah, okay. The Void Elf Mount. Yeah. I'll probably get there eventually. Mm, void Elf Action Mount. Yeah. I just did myself a Google. Ah, itchy nose. Okay. Uh, Wrath of the Lich King. 64, 169. Why was that 400 and something in? That's so silly. Uh, okay. 235, 301, 30, 34, 20, 23, 183, 237, 111, 138, 282, 393. Fuck Ice Crown Citadel. 10, 12, 37, 37, 25, 32, 32, 32. 35, 41, 38, 48, 31, 40, 25, 28, 26, 37, 25, 34, 24, 31, 34, 37, 35, 48, 31, 42, 74, 87, uh, 26, 28, 36, 36. Ooh, okay. If Shah pops. I will switch the screen back because I don't want you to miss if that thing fucking drops. <laughs> All right, one, nine, four, five. That's now correct. Okay, cool. Where's, yeah, so fixing, changing the setting back and forth didn't, um, didn't fix it. That's annoying as shit. <clears throat> Cataclysm. Nine, ten, thirty-two, seventy, fifty-nine, seventy-five, forty, fifty-four, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, one oh three, one twenty-two, one nineteen, one forty-nine, nineteen, twenty-seven, nine, fourteen, twenty-three, twenty-five, nineteen, twenty-seven, nine, twelve, eighteen, twenty-two, eighteen, twenty-four, twenty-one, twenty-one, fifteen, seventeen, eight, thirteen, twenty-two, thirty-three, twenty-four, thirty-three. I must have gotten that number wrong. I, that, that has to be wrong. I 
cannot possibly have 6% of Ice Crown Citadel done on my fucking Death Knight. That can't be right. Sunk my battleship. <laughs> Congratulations to Zem, Dunno, Mid, and Fade on all your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. In we go to the next one. Bonus shit. Well done, Zam. Uh, oh, I should probably um, turn in some of those quests. That's pretty quick. Oh, look! Yeah, it says I've got 6% of ICC done on Repressly. That's a lie. That has to be a lie. I might have to jump back on her just to check that number to fix it before I move on to the next one. Bring your rage to bear. Try to strike me down. <laughs> I reckon I've got time. <clears throat> 10 minutes, I'll be right. We'll see, we'll see. So how many of you guys are doing shot with me? I know there's a couple of you at least. Hands up in chat. Hydrate, ooh, I can do that. I just need to check repressly because this is gonna bug me otherwise. Mm. Did yesterday, so can't do today. Well, you made a bit of a boo boo, didn't you, Zam? <laughs> That's okay. You're there, Mince. Yay! I think I saw you say hi, Fia, in chat. Maybe. My, I, I think my brain registered it, but not clearly not enough to respond at the time because, look, the numbers, they call me. <laughs> I was now have to go cook dinner. Enjoy chaos. I hope it's delicious and nice and easy to cook as well. You did awesome. Look, I was impatient. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. I get so tempted to do shit and then I'm like, no, I can't do it off stream because if it drops, everyone will hate me. <laughs> I'm leveling Sinosha for me. Of course. Understandable. Oh, Spagbol. Love Spagbol. Loop de loop my cloud servant. Nice. That was you. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, give me the fucking number for ICC. Because it cannot be 28 out of 458. That's a bullshit lie. Yeah, 278, not 28. 278, you fucking numpty. Much better. The underbog is my lowest. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> I like stats. Stats are my friends. Got Acacia Shell Touch Bugger all. Not sure I want to try again. Look, I'm going to be doing this for uh, another four, five hours or so. So, um, you can live through me if you want to. We're making good time. Like, Shara's respawning at a half decent rate. Got five kills done already. Hey Josh. Ah, oh, thank you. Very kind. Alrighty. We in? We in. Come on, Zygo. Wake up. There we go. Onyx Cloud Serpent. Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent. Yes, we do. Thank you. Yeah. It needs another wash, but it's it's going okay. It's going okay. Okay. 
Oh, right, this is not a flying area. <laughs> Oops. Well, it's a peak of serenity. though, so I'm thinking one of these numbers is off. 30, 26, 18, 6, 25, 9, 8, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 6, 9, 15, 5. Ah, Scarlet Monastery's 13. Uh-oh. Lock was on. So SM's 13. So that's gone up. That's good. But that's classic. And then DC 752. 366, not 358. So that's 4, 32, 2, 4, 12, 19, 20. For battle for Mount Hygel. Ah, oh, because I ran it on my druid, that's why. 366, perfect. Okay, that's done. And then Wrath. 79, the reflection is 26, not 22. Ah, oh, because weapons, because I got them on fear. That makes sense. Is that 1179? Yeah. And then Kata. By 5802. So we got 7, 16. Ah, 16, not 12. 550? 550, perfect. Mists. 168, 1653. Warlords is. Wrong. Oh, very wrong. Okay, so I need to update this properly, I think. 1018, 191, 1124, 1924, 1221, 1821, 1821, 1821, 1821, 1821, 1821, 1821, 1821, 1821, 1821, 1821, the, you, do you see the line underneath it? This mount has a very low drop rate. <laughs> um, yes, Zygor. It does. It does. Hello, light. How are you going? Uh, fuck. It's great. That's wonderful. Uh, 833-1159. Perfect. That matches. And Legion is 810-1441. Perfect. Looks like Melissa's lowest is Sunwell Plateau, which I'm not angry about because I fucking love Sunwell. I'm looking forward to like just going. Okay, that's the that's the raid. Let's run it on every fucking tune. Let's just get that raid off the list entirely. That'll be great fun. I very much enjoy that. Oh look, hello blue noodle person. Welcome to the blue noodle club. <laughs> You know what we're gonna do? Throwing it back for a real one. <clears throat> <laughs> it's 
It's the toy! Yep. It's the toy. Let's see how far we can get before Shah pops up. Have any of you actually gone and bought this toy after seeing me play with it all those many moons ago? You did Warnio? Amazing. Love that. Choose one of the Heavenly Serpents. Surely Heavenly Onyx would be so offended. It will have to drop. I like this. I like this. I have all the other fucking other ones. Um, oh, why does that have... Oh, the Onyx, Onyx Cloud Serpents are known to be more aggressive and daring than their cousins, the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpents. Interesting. Yeah, let's go with the red one. Stole a coin from Fear. Oh, did you? How? What? I'm confused. How does that work? Corbin the Raven toy? Ah! Uh, what are you looking for, Ben? Maybe we can help. To play during raids, CBA with raiding. They need portals and lock cookies. Fair, fair enough. That's hilarious. Painsmith is the only one I actually like. Painsmith is a really fun fight. I quite enjoy it, personally. I know a lot of people don't, and that's okay, but I, I really quite do. Hate paints with hurts my eyes. Interesting. Interesting. If you. That is incredibly rude. Um. Have you tried. I'm assuming it's got something to do with the color blindness. Have you tried. I'm sure you have. Uh, I'm so sorry if this comes across as condescending. I really don't mean it to. Uh, have you tried using the colorblind modes in the settings and have they helped with the eye strain at all? I have no other way to answer your question. Leveling characters to actually work on the rest of the game. Amazing light. Well done. I too am leveling characters to work on the rest of the game. <laughs> and by the rest of the game, we of course mean all of the fucking mount farming and shit. It'll be fine. It'll be wonderful. Super awesome and great. <laughs> oh, it's not the colors of flashing spikes. Ah, can we just turn the brightness down or something? I'm done rating till 9 2. Totally fair. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I wonder if there's something that would like, I wonder if the brightness didn't work, if there was something else that would kind of, hmm, interesting. Uh, if you haven't already, I would absolutely submit that as like a feedback thing through the in-game what's it, uh, because like if they don't know, if they don't have anyone 
in the testing teams who experience eye strain because of the flashing stuff, then they won't know to fix it. That kind of feedback can be super fucking helpful with like future raid design and stuff. If you haven't already, it might be something consider to consider doing. Um, just popping that in as a suggestion. Slash bug report slash what's it. That is really interesting. It always fascinates me how different stuff in video games affects people differently. Like, I can't play House Slipper without wanting to vomit all over my keyboard. Which really makes me angry because I fucking love the game. Um, and I really want to play it, but I just cannot. Not for more than like an hour at a time. Which means that I definitely can't stream it because a one hour stream is trash. Um, I mean, for me. Not for somebody else, obviously. But like, the way that I've built my stream, one hour is, is, one hour is not enough. Um, it just, it doesn't work for my, my community and my stream, like my my channel layout. It just doesn't work properly. Um, but yeah, so it's a little bit disappointing, but that's okay. Um, yeah. And there are a few games, like, I mean, Overwatch, I don't get motion sick with at all. But then there are other games that have very similar camera a very similar camera to Overwatch that I that do make me want to vomit within five minutes or so of playing. So it just, it makes me really curious to figure out like what exactly is causing that physiological response. It's so interesting to me. So fucking interesting. If anyone's running a study, hit me up. <laughs> I would gladly play a fuckload of different video games to figure out what makes me want to vomit. Like, I would love to. It'd be great. Um. Afternoon, how are you going today? Very well, thank you, Dunno. How are you doing today? What's the game you're playing? Waiting for sure. What Zam has linked. Thank you very much, Zam. Uh, what I'm learning from my leveling experience with these tunes is I definitely prefer Alliance side BFA leveling over anything else. There you go. Bit a day later instead of a month later. Well done, Dunks. Welcome back. Welcome back. Just going to say that. Send them feedback about it. Yeah, same way you'd report a bugging game. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And hopefully, like, I mean, they may not go back and change the graphics on the fight, considering it's no longer current content. But they may learn from it and not use those kind of visuals in a raid moving forward, which is what we want them to not make people want to die. Um, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Currently downloading the train to make shit. Ah, yay, Dory! I'm so pleased. Like, look, I mean, I know that some of the games that I give away, it's like it may, it may or may not be your personal choice of game to play kind of thing. But when something pops up that absolutely is and someone wants to play it, like that just makes my heart so happy. I'm so pleased. That's great news. What game is this? Thank you, Shiba. It is a toy in WoW. Um, and all the only two gathering mounts both make me sick. Oh, matey. So the, the, um, yeah. This is why my gatherer is my druid. This is it's why it's my druid. Because I can just fly, mark, like, the flight form works pretty well for me. Well, I didn't get a, I didn't get a, um, a box, but I, I got pants, but I don't need them. I already had them, but that's okay. Uh, half. <clears throat> Out in the login. 408 attempts. This is so exciting. What if it dropped today? What if it bloody well dropped? That would just... Good lord. Good lord. Oh, right, add-ons. <laughs> Do you think they'll ever introduce another mount with such a low drop chance? 
They haven't for a long time, have they? No. I don't think they will. Because there's only, there is such a small percentage of the player base who bashes their head against this thing to try to get it. Such a low portion. Um, whereas one in a hundred kind of makes you feel like you've at least got a bit of a chance, you know? So I, I feel like no. But that being said, it wouldn't shock me if they did. You know? It wouldn't shock me if they did. <clears throat> I chipped myself. Ah, uh, it's the motion of the sky golem and the mechanized lumber extractor. The side to side sway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you just buy them nowadays. Ah, uh, buy what? Sorry, Shrumples. Also, hello. Welcome on in. Uh, is this the hardest item on the list or is there something that might kill the dream? What do you mean? Heartbreak was the first mount and the Panda World bosses were the last time. Yeah, it's been a long time. Um, wait, I'm here. Okay, yep. Oh my god, fear learned as well. Um, since Legion event, I ran EOA 927 times for Trinket. And still no luck. I've finally given up. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty shitty luck. Uh, there's a streamer friend of mine who took it took her over 2,500 attempts for Ashes of Allah. That is a 1 in 100 mount. And it took her 2,500 2, attempts. Plus. Uh, out for a bit. Time to start on a dinner. Homemade pizza. Delicious. Dupe. Enjoy. Enjoy. They almost did. Fallen Charger was on par to be ridiculously rare. Then they caved. And add a 100 per tune. What do you mean? Uh, what's the bubble tea flavor tonight? Uh, whatever Jas decides to make when he gets around to making it. It's his, his call. He makes it so he gets to choose. Have you got the Valentine's rocket? No. That's why I'm doing my 50-50s. So that when Love is in the Air hits, I'll have 50 attempts per day for the whole, <laughs> for the whole event. <laughs> look. Uh, look. <clears throat> Wonder if they'll ever decide to up the drop chance. I don't think they will. I think they'll leave it, but they won't repeat it, if that makes sense. That's what I feel like they'll do. But I could be wrong. Like, obviously, I don't have any inside information or anything. So uh, this character has war mode on. So... Um, you might have some tricky difficulty finding me if you're looking for me. Uh, all right. 664. Wrong. Okay. Good. Um, and then therapy after the event. I've been in therapy for years. Therapy is wonderful and I highly recommend anyone and everyone who has access to it to make use of it. Like, even if you think, like, even if you're good, even if you're good, it can absolutely be helpful to just kind of get that extra edge on life. Like, it's it's a fantastic tool. Um, Rocket is the only thing I have that's rare Mount Rise and Murky. I have only those two big boys. Ah, Shumples, you get more. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. The rest is Garbo. I just got Zygo. Amazing, Dory. Did you use my referral link? Mode on is fear after some PvP. No. No, this is, um, this is one of my war mode on Void Talon tunes. So when people say, war mode on, chromie time off, this is the tune, I uh, horde, I jump on this one. Ah, uh, my prop pally has 80% haste and 80% mastery and that trinket is best in slot. Ah, well, well, it is what it is. Like, if you want to keep going, then you can. If you don't want to, then you don't have to. Like, uh, that's the that's the thing about RNG. Sometimes it's trash, sometimes it's great. Um, it just, yeah, it is what it is. Ah, uh, morning and belated, happy new year. Hello, Ray. Good morning to you. Welcome back. All right, where am I? Okay. Hiya, 2639. 20, 20, 15, 23, 5, 16, uh, 22, 46, 12, 24, 46, 25, 35, 29, 47, 7, 11, 9, 20, 12, 14, 5, 7, 9, 12, 13, 17, 
<clears throat> 5, 10, 8, 15. 19, 25, 18, 27, 26, 42, 4, 5, 10, 13, 7, 16, 8, 13, 7, 13. Cool, so whichever one of you that is. So kind of you. Just to let you know that stream sniping is against terms of service for Twitch and it can get you banned. Just as a heads up. Wouldn't advise. <clears throat> okay. So, 538, 339. Perfect. Crusade. How am I was looking there? Wrong. Wonderful. Five, 30, 55, 2, 6, 4, 4, 8, 21, 13, 23. No one is going to tell you that it was them because they don't want to get banned from Twitch. Don't be stupid. Like, <laughs> if anyone was going to tell you, they'd be an idiot. 10, 26, 12, 29, 9, 16, 7, 17, 17, 23. 10, 20, 8, 28, 24, 24, 12, 26, 20, 17, 27, 6, 14, 10, 26. Um, ah, banned from Twitch. I thought banding game. Ah, uh, potentially both. Um, I don't remember what, uh, WoW's policy is on stream sniping. I don't recall. All I know is, like, I know Twitch's toss pretty fucking well because like literally my income relies on twitch i'm gonna it's like you know when you get an employment contract you fucking read the employment contract so that you don't accidentally do something to lose your job you know um so same thing for a twitch con like my twitch contract um and the toss i read that shit back to fucking front um and retained as much of it as i possibly could especially the stuff that applies to the kind of content that i create um I do not want to get banned because I will literally lose a good chunk of my monthly income if I do. Um, whereas WoW, on the other hand, like, I'm, like, I don't want to, obviously I don't want to lose my WoW account. That's nearly 15 years worth of work I've put into it. Um, but I don't know it as intimately because it doesn't specifically relate to my income. Yeah. Let me literally see where I am. Yep. Indeed. Indeed. It is really interesting seeing people on your friends list flagged as Europe. <laughs> Very strange. How do you know that it's stream snipe you have PvP on and you're at Shara? It's a very high traffic place. Really? Because I was literally the only person here before that person arrived. It's not a high traffic place right now. It was me and that individual person. That's how. <laughs> That's how. Because they came in, they stood next to me, they killed me, and then waited around. Like, it's, yes, it's not a high traffic place right now. There was literally no one here when I touched down. It's high traffic with war mode off. This is why people don't do war mode on because they don't want to miss the tag for sure. Bit defensive there, eh? Mm. I'm not sure, are we allowed your battle tag? Yeah, exclamation, add me. Uh, my friends list is full. 
but I, like, if I have people, like, if I have a friend request, um, I kind of go through my list and remove people who've been offline for months and try to make some room. Um, but yeah. On the server there is always people at the shard. There is, yeah, absolutely. On war mode off. Not war mode on. For this particular, like, for this specific reason. People don't tend to camp rares with a mood on. Exactly. Exactly. like oh only seven things to go on my hunter what have you done i have influenced you thank you sam <laughs> ali fairy fade and mid congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit i feel like i need to get merch that has hashtag influencer with the like up and upper and lowercase letters on it what do you reckon would you guys wear that <laughs> would you would you wear a shirt that has that on it oh uh, fuck I need ideas. I need I need merch ideas because I want to do a drop for the six years, obviously. Um, and uh, I need to figure out what I actually want to do. There is a hoodie coming before anyone asks. There is absolutely a hoodie coming. Um, oh, excuse me. A tumbler cup and delete. <laughs> I want to go play WoW, but I don't want to get off my bed. Oh no, it's such an inconvenience, Trunks. Make a mount plushie, but only send out one out of 100 of the orders. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would be somewhat illegal. Um, maybe a mystery box where where like 99 of the boxes have like. Like a little bet and luck next time note in them, and like 100 of them have little baby murlocs or something. <laughs> I feel no, that'd be that'd suck. Like, I feel like that's got to be illegal somehow, like against some kind of consumer affairs law or something. I feel like that's illegal somehow. It would be fantastic, but I just I feel like I'd get sued. <laughs> I was halfway through asking about a hoodie. Yes, there is a hoodie. There is a hoodie coming. Absolutely. I'm also um, I'm also looking at because there's I've been I've had a few questions about the t-shirt. Um, spring offers like I've got the the t-shirts that I've got on there at the moment, but Spring also offers AS color t-shirts, which are like softer fabric, different, more neutral colors. They can't get the bright, fancy colors, but they're like, they're a lot softer and they're a lot more durable, but they're also quite a bit more expensive. Um, so when I did my first drop, I wanted it to be all as reasonably priced as possible. So I am going to launch the AS color t-shirts, but they will be more expensive. Um, but in case you really love that brand, that'll be an option for you. Um, yeah, there's, there's a few things. I can't, the one thing, like, I, I did say with the first merch drop, because I ordered everything, except for the toddler onesie. The, the kids t-shirt, I sent one to Rump, 
um, for, for him to test out with the small one. Uh, and so everything, like the masks, the t-shirts, the, both the unisex t-shirt and the women's t-shirt, the kids t-shirt, all of that got tested except for the toddler onesie. Um, this round, I want to release more stuff, but I'm not going to be able to get samples of everything. And I'm a little bit worried about that because I'm a bit concerned about being like, yes, please buy my merch. And then it turns out to be shit because I haven't been able to try a test. However, I've heard nothing but good things about Springs merch. The only things I've heard, like when, I'm, when I've done my research online, I have seen negative reviews of Spring. Like, they used to be called Teespring. But all of it has been around, um, either it's been quality of the print and it was years ago and the, the quality of the prints that we've received were pretty damn good. So I'm like, I'm pretty okay with that. Uh, and things like shipping time, but I get that. Like, I get it. Like they're not going to print. Like if I get a hundred fucking t-shirt orders, they can rush that. They're like, okay, we can do one, like a full 100 run right now. Whereas if they're getting like three or four t-shirts, they've just got to fit it into their production line when they can. And it usually takes a few days before it prints. And then it takes a little while to ship. And then with the world the way it is at the moment, of course, there's going to be fucking shipping delays. If you're going to like, <laughs> if you need something now, you're going to have to go out to a store and pick it up yourself. Like delivery takes fucking ages at the moment. Get over it. You know, like deal with it. Um, everyone's working their goddamn hardest while trying not to die. Yeah, cool. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so there there are definitely a few different things that I'm uh, that I'm looking at adding to the the merch collection. Um, I have a couple of extra designs that I want to put on things. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to afford to get a sample of literally everything. So I will be putting a bit of trust in spring. So if you ever do get something that isn't quite up to standard, I would like to think that you would tell me um, so that, and like maybe even send me a few photos and stuff so that we can lodge a complaint with spring and I can take that item off listing because I don't want people to spend money on shit that's crap. Um, especially when it has my fucking name on it or logo or whatever, you know, same thing. Uh, but yeah. Um... Ah, uh, 27 on the shaman. Ah, so close. So close. Hello, Chelsea. 99 boxes have the pattern and yarn. Make it yourself. And one has it already done. And you know what, Yori? If I fucking did that, the one person who got the already done one would go, Fia, I wanted to make it myself. Oh my God. Can you imagine? I think it would come under gaming laws. Yeah, probably. And I do not have a license to be a gambling person of, of facilitating gambling. Uh, shirt, eyeshadow colors on the front and mount on the back. Oh, that'd be super cool. That'd be cool. Has anyone here played Suikoden 1, 2, Wild Arms and Craving playing old PS1? No, I haven't. I haven't even heard of those, sorry. I haven't even heard of those. Uh, all right, half we go. You could still include the pattern, maybe? Maybe. Just a bonus already completed one. I did in the past do, um, via Kickstarter, it was actually really, like, it was a good idea. Um, we did cross-stitch pattern, and then we stitched it together on stream. Um, and the idea was that if, an, we did it via Kickstarter so that if enough people purchased the pattern to make it worth me actually putting together the kits and mailing it out, because of course, you know, you, you gotta, when you, when you buy in bulk, it has to be it has to be worth the money, right? Um, if I have to buy a whole whole thing of fabric for, to stitch on, if I only send out one of them, then I've got all this fucking fabric left over, and that's fucking useless. Um, so I did a whole like we did a Kickstarter, and if enough people purchased the the kit, then it would actually get made and get done. And yeah, it was kind of fun. It was good fun. We did a horde one and an alliance one. Um, but the merlot pattern is uh, one I got from Etsy. So I can't redistribute it. I can't, like, I can't share it in any way, shape or form. I can't sell the Murlocs I make. Um, yeah. We did, we have had these discussions a few times. I can give them away and I could probably ask people to pay for shipping and then give them the, I want, I could probably get people to pay for materials actually. Although I don't remember how much I paid 
to the wall because it was a very long time ago. Um, yeah, I wonder. It'd be interesting. Uh, uh, Onyx Cloud. God damn it. Fia, learn to spell slash type. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> oh, hold logo is done. So with this since I used my hot tattoo. Oh, no way. That's so cool, Wonio. That's awesome. For the Alliance. Do you see Alliance players? I play Alliance Trunks. 30 Horde tunes, 20 Alliance tunes. We are not factionist here. Sorry to disappoint. Yeah, no one has redeemed a Horde Sound Command yet. Right, let's check through some numbers for Kira. Just see how we're looking. Probably completely and utterly wrong, but hey. Um, right, 631, 820. Very wrong. Good. Good, good. Alright, 43, 58. 24, 24, 27, 41, 22, 32, 36, 72, 18, 20, 35, 52, 28, 40, 41, 47, 9, 13, 14, 21, 11, 15, 8, 8, 10, 12, 20, 24, 6, 8, 14, 14, 22, 24, 28, 31, 39, 57, 7, 15, 20, 12, 18, 13, 14, 16, 20. 518, 685. Perfect! <clears throat> Unless you're that one panda person who played with that getting a faction. Indeed. That's just, uh, that's amazing, hey? I, I don't think I could. I don't think I could. So you're doing a temperate scarf this year, wrote a day of a color relating to a temperate range craft. Anyway, that sounds amazing, Yoro. You totally should. Totally should. Play Alliance on Classic, but hoard on Retail! Oh, there you go! There you go. Excuse me, we were spending our embers on stream goals. You were. Correct. Hello, Kaz. For that player who plays as Panda, I feel sorry for you. No, he has his own stream. Um... And yeah, also that. <laughs> Stop shitting on other people's opinions and choices. Would be good. Um... Would be good. We're, we're pretty open and accepting here, and you know, you gotta play the way that you find fun. And if you don't find it fun, that's great. Don't do it. But if other people find it fun, let them have fun. It's great. It's wonderful. Uh, stating that you feel sorry for them is is saying that it's it's bad and you should feel sorry about it and and like that that sucks for you and shit like that. It's not it's not nice. <sighs> yeah. Hydrate's done! Ah, uh, quite a few people who leveled without faction selection now, and yes, double agent definitely redefined stubborn. I know, right? But like, holy shit. I mean, I'm stubborn, <laughs> but that's just a whole new level, and I am blown away by the commitment that that takes. Like, holy shit. Good lord. Not only would I have probably at some point just kind of gotten bored and like, fuck this, I also would have been playing at some point just on autopilot and accepted the quest and gone done it and been like, Shit! <laughs> I know I would have fucked that up. Like, absolutely. It's so impressive. So impressive. Uh, I got my, I think, her last appointment with the head and neck specialist tomorrow. All the clear with the face. Don't have to go see him again. Amazing, Shiva. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Uh, right, okay. Burning Crusade. 6, 8, 50, 69. Uh, 4, 7, 4, 7, 14, 27, 19, 29, 18, 36, 37, 48, 35, 47, 22, 22, 31, 33, 41, 43, 23, 30, 19, 29, 23, 23, 29, 31, 22, 29, 22, 22, 16, 24, 30, 36, oh shit, when did I fuck up? There, Architraz. 
29. Uh, where are we up to? 22, 22, 16, 24, 30, 36. And then I'm on the Mackinac. 16, 23, 21, 25, 34, 34, 16, 20, 26, 28. Beautiful. 578, 730. Perfect. 15, yeah, absolutely wrong. <laughs> Good. Everything is wrong. Uh, all right. 61, 28. 243, 305. 30, 34. Eh. 21, 23, 196. 243. 109, 140. 265, 372. Fuck, Ice Crown Citadel. 37, 37, 25, 33. What? 33. 32, 32, 33, 39, 38, 50, 37, 42, 25, 28, 26, 39, 23, 32, 24, 31, 34, 35, 35, ah, oh, shit. God damn it. How do I keep fucking this up? Oh, wow, I did it a while back, too. Uh, holes lightning. So that's... 39, yeah, and then 38, 50, 37, 42, 25, 28, 26, 39, 23, 32, 24, 31, 35, 35, 50, 31, 40, 78, 87, 26, 30, 38, 42. 575, oh, 2153. Uh, okay, that's really, really wrong. Where I'm on Kira, right? Yeah. 60, 128, 243, 305. 30, 34, 21, 23, 10, 12, 37, 37. Okay, I think that should be right then. 6, 1, 9, 4. Yep, yeah, okay. Oops, I skipped a line because I'm very good at this. <laughs> um, got one pet. Yay, Yuri, congratulations. Don't apologize for being excited. Good lord. What do you think is going to happen when I get Shah's mount? I'm going to lose my fucking shit and all headphone users are going to hate me. <laughs> totally fine to be excited. Everything is wrong. Correct, Zam. Woo! But it's okay because it means we can fix it. Uh, so we did get my monk to ping 50 like 10 minutes after you stopped streaming on New Eve. Amazing quality. I think you posted that in Discord, yeah? Well done. Uh, the fact that you can speedily speak out all those numbers without stuttering is amazing to me. Really? Oh, I didn't realize that was a thing. Shit, okay. Hmm. Do you like expansions more than others? It's not me shitting on anyone. It's just I like I feel expansions are better and sure do as well. Vanilla, Wrath, Cata, Legion of BFA, BC, Mist, and Ward. Uh, I'm not sure that sentence makes sense. Um, but no, you're you're fine to have your okay. So trunks. The issue we have is like you're totally okay to have favorite expansions and shit and, and stuff like that. Totally fine. It's when you say dirty alliance players. And then I feel sorry for you if you play a panda. Like I have multitudes of, I have, I have a handful of panda, like Pandaren characters. And we have people in this chat occasionally who play nothing but Pandaren characters. And you're telling them that you feel sorry for them. And that's not okay. Like that's, that's literally shitting on what they love. It's so you're allowed to have favorite expansions. Like, yeah, you know, I, I really like personally, I don't have a favorite, but let's pull one out of the air. Let's say, you know, your favorite is Legion. Yeah, Legion is my absolute favorite expansion. And then someone else goes, oh, Wrath is my favorite expansion. And then you go, nah, Wrath was shit. And you suck for feeling that way. Like, well, how the fuck could you think that Wrath is your favorite expansion? That's that's gross. That's icky. No, piss off. You know, like there's that's what the difference is. You can you can have your favorites and celebrate that but you don't have to pull other people down because their favorites don't align with yours. Um, and I know that the whole like dirty Alliance players or dirty Horde players and stuff, it's a really common thing among WoW players, but I don't give a fuck. We don't do it here. 
<laughs> like that's just that's just how we roll here. We don't we don't do that here. Um, and that's okay. I know you're new, and now you know that, and now you won't do that. And if you do, then well, you know, we'll see how you go with that. But yeah, that's that's where everyone is coming from when they're talking about shitting on other people's experiences or, or preferences or whatever. That's all. And as long as you can understand that, then we're all golden. Yeah, I don't have a favorite. Um, I there are there are reasons for loving every expansion. Um, obviously, there have been negatives that I've experienced with almost every expansion as well. Um, but the the positives outweigh the negatives for every expansion for me. And and like it's just it's been such a wild ride. The only expansion I didn't play in was vanilla. So um, I think yesterday we had the question: If you don't have a favorite, do you have a least favorite? And my least favorite would have to be vanilla. The only because I didn't play it, so I don't have any feelings about it whatsoever because I didn't actually play it, nor do I play Classic um, because I don't have the uh, the um, uh, nostalgia for it because I didn't play it. And I also really love all of the quality of life in, uh, things that they've done over the years. And I think I love things like pet battles and achievements and I love collecting. Uh, and you can't really do a whole lot of collecting in classic because everything is current content basically. <laughs> so um, there isn't much option for going back and trouncing shit with your over-leveled over characters. Um, but yeah, so I don't have a favorite, um, but yeah. It was a hugely ranty answer for, for something fairly simple, but that's what I do as a streamer. We turn two word question, two word answers into 10 minute rants. That's, that's what we do. Uh, zero for six today so far on Shah. 413 attempts since my last rarity reset. You do rarity resets? Is that, it, or is it an accidental thing? Or like, what, why? I have 410 attempts. I don't know when, I've never done a reset, not intentionally. I don't know when that started, but yeah, 410. Not too bad. Um... How many tunes have I done now? I'm on, is this Jasmine? So that's Fia, Phelan, Alexia, Repressly, Binadika, Melissa, Lillian, Kira. So I've done eight. This will be number nine. Uh, I just clicked on this stream. What are these numbers you're talking about? Hello, bears eat you. I hope you're having a lovely day. Welcome on in. Uh, the numbers I'm rattling off are from ATT, which stands for all the things. This beautiful box, um, it tells you all of the things in WoW. Um, like uh, transmog, pets, mounts, toys, uh, literally anything and everything. There are a whole bunch of filters you can turn things off and on. Um, and I have a spreadsheet that keeps track externally um, for my own... Uh, Look, I am just, I'm, I like data. So I'm updating. I have a spreadsheet that can spit out like what the lowest across all 12 classes. Cause I have 50 tunes uh, across all 12. Um, so it can tell me for a particular class, what my lowest dungeon or rate is, lowest completion percentage. It can tell me across all 12, which my lowest completion percentage is like dungeon or rate overall across all 12 classes. And then it can also pull out the class dungeon or raid and percentage of the lowest individual thing over overall so i can like focus on those really low percentages and bring them up to like raise my average i like data i'm money and and stats and i am an assistant accountant as a day job numbers i speak numbers better than i speak english <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I'm rattling off. I'm, I'm, I was saying them. So basically when I was saying, for example, here, I'd say 35, 77, 32, 38, 15, because I'm reading 35, 77, 32, 38, 15, 52, 18, 42. And as I'm saying them, I'm putting them into my spreadsheet. If you would like to see the spreadsheet, if you are one of us and, and you like spreadsheets, you can type exclamation AT dart, that's A-T-D-A-R-T, all the dungeon and raid things abbreviated yep um and that's that's the spreadsheet i'm currently plugging away at get it because i'm plugging numbers yep good um <laughs> because it's wrong it's incorrect when i put all the data in i had some settings fucked up in att and i didn't realize it so all the numbers are wrong which is great <laughs> so i'm having to re-enter a bunch of stuff and i'm doing that while i'm waiting for shard to spawn because i might as fucking well think i enjoyed legion or bfa the most wonderful 
Oh, awesome. Some of my best friends are pandas. Just say personally, I'm not a fan of pandas. And that's that, exactly. Uh, anyone who says Wrath is shit, nail it, and clearly never played the game. Okay. I was using it as an example. And you're shitting on people again. <laughs> Some people may not have enjoyed the experience. <laughs> like, and that's okay. They don't have to have. Maybe, like, Wrath might have been incredible from a game perspective, but maybe they were in a series of really shit guilds who abused the fuck out of that person emotionally and mentally the whole fucking time for that entire expansion and they could not find a decent home. And so they have shitty personal memories of the expansion and therefore they enjoyed it the least. Fucking Jesus Christ. Like, fuck me. Bears! Thank you so much for the cheer! Had bits to get rid of and you win. I like winning. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is so generous of you. Good lord. Much appreciated. As one of those Dirty Alliance players, I would be cleaner if Horde didn't beat me into the dirt every time I tried PvP. Oh, fairy, that's hilarious. It's a matter of opinion. It did. If you said what, I might believe you. Again, with the shitting on shit. Fuck, man. Enough. Uh, personally, I didn't like Wrath, I played the whole expansion. Even now, I do not like leveling in it, I just don't ever go there. But it's okay if it's your favourite or if you like it. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, okay, this is weird. I need the finish in from Karazhan, old Kara, and I've never done this raid aside from trying for the Fiery War Horse. I would recommend using Zygor. It's a fucking labyrinth. Old Kara is a labyrinth. You will get lost. And that's okay. But if you want to be efficient about it, use your Zygor guide. I'm pretty sure you've got Zygor. I could be wrong. My memory is fresh. Uh, rarity resets are always accidental for me. Computer breakdowns reinstall, but forgot to back up. Oh, youch. Yeah, okay, mens. Yeah, that. Oof. Ouch. Uh, Jared bought me Smarties. I need to hide them from myself so I eat actual food for dinner. Same, Yuri. I mean, Jared has not bought me Smarties. I am now offended by this, but <laughs> I'm kidding. But, like, I would also have to hide them 100%. Uh, it's a beautiful spreadsheet. It's, I love my spreadsheets. I am so proud of this one. It looks so good. Like, I'm so happy with it. Um, uh, like me, I'm trying to do Lawmaster of Northrend and it hurts my soul. I know plenty of people who love it, but I hate it. Wrath was like, Wrath was, has always been held up as like the pinnacle of WoW because it had the highest number of subscribers. This is obviously well before they stopped reporting subscriber numbers. The raiding experience was phenomenal, all that kind of stuff. But not everybody raids, um, firstly. <laughs> But also, um, the reason why, the, the reason Wrath was so high, like, held in such high regard among so many people was because it was a huge nostalgia trip. Huge nostalgia trip. It was Arthas. Vast majority of all the Warcraft players at that time had played through Warcraft 3, The Frozen Throne. We'd played through Arthas's story, and now we were going to smack him on the noggin. Like, it, it was just a huge, like, they plugged into that, like, mm, they got, really got into that, that memory socket in everyone's brains and, and pressed the happy juice button, like, regularly um, with, with all the Ice Crown shit. Um, and I enjoyed it. I really, really loved it. But that doesn't mean it's going to be enjoyable for everybody. Like, and I, I respect that. Everyone has their own individual experiences. Uh, Wob was pretty good too from perspective of a solo player. I agree. I fucking loved Wod. Fucking loved Wod. Uh, I liked it because it felt like a single player campaign with lots of cutscenes, cinematics, etc. It was the start of my altalism. Yeah, I made shit tons of gold. Me too. Me too. Yeah, I, I fucking loved Wod. I loved Wod. I fucking got cutting edge in Hellfire Citadel. Like... I loved that shit. It exploded at the end of it. Like, my, my World, Warlords Adrenal experience went to absolute utter shit right at the end of the expansion. Everything just went bang. Um, but, like, I still loved the expansion, personally. I understand, I understand people's complaints. It did feel like a single-player game, hold up in your garrison, uh, but I liked that. Um, it did... The, the Hellfire Citadel raid did drag on. We had it for too long. But I liked the raid. I actually really enjoyed all the different fights and stuff. And, and I, yeah, I ran it till the end. Uh, and I, I enjoyed every minute of it. But that's, you know, each to their own. Each to their own. I'm not going to shit on people for saying it was a bad expansion. If they felt that it was bad, then it was bad for them. That's okay. You're allowed to have that feeling. You're allowed, It's valid. It's totally valid. But so is mine. So is mine. Um, why am I not using Zygor? Fuck me. Well, look. 
look. You're not in the habit yet. You're not in the habit of checking Zygor anytime you do literally anything just yet. Old Kara for the win. Uh, I no longer get lost, but oh my fucking god, the chess bugs. Chess bugs or the chess features? Uh, <laughs> Sphere hungry probably always, always. Old Kara's my favorite raid. I could do that place with my eyes closed. Is Old Kara chess still bugged for solo? No. You may need to find and get the macro fix. Uh, no, it worked fine when I did it. A um, couple weeks back, maybe a month or so ago, I don't remember. But yeah, no, it was perfectly fine for me. Um, but then again, I don't think I've ever experienced actual problems. Um, despite what I just said about Northrend, did I tell you the recent foal my mum bred? I named Arthur's and she loved the name. She calls him Artie. It's so cute. That's adorable. That's adorable. Speaking of happy juice, happy thing to see you stream. Hello, Lander. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm gonna go for the night dinner here. I'm gonna watch a movie. See you next time. We'll see you then, Dory. See you then. Um. Well done, during what annoyed me to heck. Nighthawk was the first raid I really, really wanted to run. For me, that was a big thing as I suffer with anxiety. Yeah, look, raids, raids are great, but they're, yeah, they can be a pretty big deal. It's good when you find a group that's awesome, though. <laughs> yes, list of add-ons. Many, many, many add-ons. Many add-ons. And then we'll do the battle. Why? Nah, I'm... Uh, I'll come see you in a second. That was not a mount. <laughs> but it was transmog, so I'll take it. It was transmog, so I'll take it. Because I wanted to... Yeah, well. Look, hang on a second. Um, I'll be right back. Run away, little girl! Run away! Okay, let's do this. Changing tunes. Uh, at some point I had a theory that if a fight takes a long time, then drops are more likely. I like that view. I like it. I don't think it's right, but I like, <laughs> but I like it. Uh, I love watching TikToks and streamers mods who ping pong ban shitty people. <laughs> it's great. Something with a lot of positive vibes. Vibe for the win. Indeed. Uh, give me just a sec. Let me...
Um, where am I going? Am I lucky traveler? Perfect. Ah, uh, don't forget about it. Ah, thank you, Yuri. Yes, cool. Much appreciated. Look, we get absorbed in the Shah and <laughs> shit gets missed. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Miss the Kintaro Panther to try some one damage demo with it. With it. Huh? Soft foam sword toy. Oh god, that thing. Yari, jumpy, gurg, ape, ip, apja? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I feel like it's not English, but that's okay. Uh, Meaty, Zem, Dunno, Great, and Mid. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Boss defeated! Boss down. Winning. Uh, right, there's a skin chest here. We can't get both the skin and token chest, so we're gonna go for the skin. Is there anyone who doesn't have... Does it, like, I've got all three skins. Do people want tokens or skins? I feel like they- you know what, we'll do a poll. We've got time for that. New poll. So skins, tokens, skins. You got like one minute to pick, so then do the thing. Voting tokens, brilliant. How are we looking? That's 50-50. You guys. You guys. I help. And then someone else helps and swings it back to even again. Right, 50 bloody 50. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh, fucking Jesus. Flip a coin. Ah, oh, we're going skins. Pretty normal, eh? You lot. You lot. You're always... You're always... Yep. Here we go. Let's do! Oh, goodness gracious. I did a sneeze. God.
Um, Maker. Yes. Blessing of Kings <laughs> in this economy. I found it. He did not give pet. So rude. Oh no. Next tune. Yes. Next tune. Uh, speaking of next tune, uh, let me check my stats for Desi. Let's see how we're looking here. Confident I can be done with my account by the end of next week. Fantastic, Rose. Well done. Um, where am I? I'm on Desi. So. The numbers, they are the wrongs. Uh, that's okay. So we have 21, 65, 34, 34, 12, 42, 15, 36, 20, 77, 8, 17, 24, 58, 28, 46, 33, 50, 5, 16, 12, 26, 11, 17, 4, 6, 6, 17, 13, 22, 8, 11, 13, 18, 20, 32, <clears throat> 24, 42, 27, 48, 3, 6, 11, 20, 11, 24, 11, 16, 11, 21. That's a lot of 11s. 35, 7, 6, 7. Better. <clears throat> ah, cost less than, uh, wait, cost less than Blessing of Ancient Kings at least. Thankfully it doesn't require any reagents nowadays. There's a panda here called Slow Down. So perfectly named. Agreed. That's amazing. I love that. That's awesome. <clears throat> okay, four, seven. 29, 64, 3, 10, 3, 8, 9, 29, 13, 26, 11, 46, uh, 29, 59, 12, 49, 9, 19, 15, 39, 27, 47. Whoop. No, I did that wrong. 47. 10, 30, 15, 33, 10, 22, 9, 29, 9, 25. 12, 20, 8, 30, 20, 28, 12, 29, 11, 23, 19, 29, 6, 16, 6, 28, 3, 11, 7, 49. Oh, no, I fucked up somewhere. 7, 64, 10, 8, 29, 26. Ah, that's it, 26. So it should be 3, 11, 7, 45. Perfect. <clears throat> Sometimes we fuck up. All right. Eight, twenty, thirty-three, thirty-nine, twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-one, forty-four, forty-one, forty-three, thirty-three, forty-three, twenty-one, forty-nine, twenty-two. Wait. Round two was reflection. Round forty-nine, twenty-two, thirty-five. Oh, I skipped something somewhere. Ah, uh, shit. Thirty-three. Ah. Uh. Oh, fuck. What did I miss? Six, twenty-eight. 15, 23, 59, 55, 52, 111, 20, 24, 41, 4 to 9, 12, 70, 22, 57. Perfect. <clears throat> Good evening, Seeker. Welcome back. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. What's this, Kata? Very wrong. 7, 11, oh. 7, 11, 
Perfect. Thanks, and you. How goes the Shah? No mount yet, but that's okay. I kind of figured. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Not a mount, but still an appearance. A new appearance. Wonderful. Off we go. God, there are so many appearances from world bosses because they have all the PvP stuff as well. Like, fuck. <laughs> like, fuck. It's gonna take a while. Uh, Alright. So popping now would be good. It would be good. It would be good. But maybe next one. Maybe next one. Now that you're here, now that you're here, it will recognize and, like, give us the mount or something. Surely, right? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, right. I keep forgetting I have to turn all my add-ons on. Fifteen second delay, I had the whole- oh wow, yep. Yep, speaking of mounts, what was the makeup this stream? It was Drake of the East Wind. Drake of the East Wind. Hello, Daz, welcome back! How you going? Hello, Cannabinol. How are you doing? Uh, English only. Sorry, Sanchez. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day, um, but we can't moderate in languages other than English. So we ask everyone to speak only English here. Thank you. Piroa. Let's see if her stats are up today. Probs not. Because are any of them? No. 409, 775. Okay, so I'm only out by one collectible. So 27, 27, 26, 15, 14, 25, 11, 30, 24, 37, 5, 11, 9, 6, 6, 16, 10, 14. So that's a 15 now. And then that's 4, 10, 7, 75. Perfect. 346, 784. So I've got a few extras here. 6, 35, 3, 3, 9, 15, 12. 46, perfect. Uh, Wrath is 120, 1227, 218. Ah, oh, so we've also got a wrong number on the other side as well. 49, 27, uh, 227, 63. Okay, so that's supposed to be 315, not 317. So that's where that number's wrong. 28, 17, 156, 108, 240, 8, 31, 18. 32, 37, 27, 16, not 14. So that should do us. Oh no, not quite. 29, 
17, 21, 15. It should be 17. That's 12, 31. Perfect. Uh, and then we've got Kata. 5, 30, 9, 26. That's fine. Mists is 9, 53. 17, 24. Okay, so we've got a couple wrong here. So 159, 254, 72, 130, 61, 116, 55, 93, 225, 443, 251, 492, 19, 29, 18, 22, 11, 15, not 9, and 11, 12, not 22. How did I get that wrong? Like that, that wrong. Uh, and that should be 953, 1724. Oh, perfect. Uh, Warlords. Wrong. Very wrong. How? Ooh, very wrong. Uh, oh, I have that mount. Which one? The one that I'm on or the one that I'm farming? Fifteen, twenty, fourteen, twenty-six, eleven, twenty-four, eleven, twenty-four, sixteen, twenty-four, twelve, twenty-one, eighteen, twenty-five, twenty-five, thirty-three. Is this calculating wrong again? It is. So the numbers are right, the cells it's counting are wrong. Six seventy, twelve thirty-four. Perfect. And then Legion. Six sixty-two. Six one uh one six eight one eight, perfect. Everything's right then. So Piro is correct. Her lowest is seat of the triumvirate. Surprising nobody. Uh where did you get your LED panels on your back wall? They were sent to my PO box anonymously by a viewer, which is incredibly kind and exceptionally generous of them because they are not cheap and they're fucking gorgeous. And they react if there's a raid or a sub or a cheer or a follow or any, like, it's super cool. I've got a program set up, a separate program that you have to like purchase separately, um, but it's set up to, to do fancy shit when people do stuff in stream, which is very cool. Uh, makes me very happy. But um, yeah, they the, the package arrived in Kogan packaging, like Kogan.com, K-O-G-A-N. Uh, like the, the mailer was was Kogan branded. So I'm assuming that that's the company they came from, but I don't know who sent them. And I'm choosing to respect their what, their request for it. Not, for, it was not a request, but I feel like if they wanted to be known, like if they wanted it to be known that it was them, they would have said something by now. Um, so I am respect, I'm respecting their anonymity, um, but I am very, very grateful. Very grateful. Uh, they are gorgeous, aren't they? They are nano leaf panels. N-A-N-O-L-E-A-F. Nano as in like nanometer kind of, yep. Uh, and then leaf as in things on trees. Yeah. They're very cool and I love them very much. So very much. Uh, and hopefully soon, um, because, uh, thanks to the wonderful meaty, um, when we hit Lovers in the Air, I'll have some uh, some little heart-shaped LEDs, kind of little heart-shaped, uh, like a st like string of lights that you put on the Christmas tree, that kind of thing. Um, we'll have a, a, a string of hearts hanging from the nano leaves for Lovers in the Air that will hopefully give me some mount luck uh, for, for that ridiculous journey. Uh, they called that because they're made of tiny plants. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. And they're gorge. Uh, love them being trying to find some yeah, depending, I'm not sure what country you're in, Cam, um, but I know here in Australia you can get them, like, you can get them directly from the Nano Leaf website, but they're not often in stock. Um, you can get them from places like JB Hi-Fi, you can get them from Kogan, you can get them, I think, from Amazon, maybe? Um, there's a whole bunch of little, like, uh, basically any kind of electronic store will probably, or, like, computing kind of dealy store will probably have them. Whether or not they have them in stock at the moment is another matter just because of all the shipping delays and, and stock issues that so many stores are having with so many products, which again is understandable. Um, you know, gotta have priority on, you know, food uh, being shipped around the shop uh, rather than pretty electronics that we don't really need. Um, but yeah, uh, there are plenty of different places that offer them. Uh, it's just a matter of finding somewhere that has them in stock at a price that you're happy with. 
Uh, the ones on throne, are they battery powered? Some of them yes, some of them no. But I have the, the ability to power them with a, a power point if I need to. Um, I can I can finagle that. We have them at my work, just an IT store, TV department has them, yeah. Could be draped to the back of the chair if you think it work instead of right up the back. Possibly. Possibly. If they're battery powered, maybe. If they're plugged in, fuck no. <laughs> because I know what I will do. <laughs> I will axe myself getting out of the chair at some point. Um, or I will electrocute myself. I'm mean, probably not with a string of LEDs. They'd be too low power to, to actually do any damage. But I will probably break them. But yeah, look, I'll, I will finagle something. I will, I will figure out a way to, to do something with them. Um, and they will make the, the stream very much Love is in the Air themed. Yeah, hell no. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> I'm glad you feel me. Glad you feel me. Uh, but yeah, when they, when they arrive, you bet your ass will be playing around with them and figuring out what's going like, to work best for, for me and my setup. Um, but the beautiful thing about having them is that I'll have them forever. Until they die. And then I put them on the wish list again. Uh, <laughs> electronics have a lifespan. It, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, uh, like... I will, I will have them, so every lover's in the air, I'll be able to stick them on the chair, regardless of whether or not I'm hunting the stupid mount. Um, I will be able to, um, you know, get in the mood for the, for the event. It'll be wonderful. I am, I'm very much looking forward to, um, to fucking, what's it? Um. Uh, Lunar Festival. Because it's the first event in my 2022 year of the events. It's very exciting. Is it Lunar Festival? I am missing a few things. Oh, actually, I need to also turn this on to be able to see what I'm doing properly. Um, so I've done all of the achievements, obviously, but like going to pick up the, um, the, what's it's, the appearances, the cosmetics, because I didn't, I don't care. I've never cared about, um, transmog until like very recently. So this will be like my first year going through and getting as many transmogs as I can from stuff. Um, I'm not going to grab the, uh, these until I've got everything else. Cause there's a few things, um, Engineering recipes, engineering, engineering, engineering. So it means I'll have to do the, the stuff on, um, on Repressily. Absolutely. Uh, the priority will be getting tunes leveled, obviously, uh, because I'm probably still going to have a handful of characters that aren't quite 50 yet. Um, but going around and doing the travel should get me most of the way there. Um... These guys all sell the exact same shit, don't they? Yeah, I'm pretty- well, not exact same, because there's numbers that are a little bit off there. But, um... These are all vendors. So many vendors. And they all sell roughly the same amount of shit, so... Yeah, it'll be it'll be a deal of like take an alt around everywhere, go spend all the coins on as many things as I can, as many uh, get grab as many of the transmogs and shit like that as I can. Actually, those um, schematics are they bot? They are. Fuck. So I'll have to do it on um, on repressively. So there's those four that are bot, bot for engineering, and then these ones are all bot as well. And again, engineering, all of them. Except there's an alliance one. Is that alliance only? It doesn't look like it. Like it's called an alliance firework, but it doesn't, yeah. And then obviously there's um the little bits and pieces, all the different, I, I, and the patterns for tailoring. So I'll have to do it on, but this, there's not many of these. So it's what, like five, 10, 15, 20, 
25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Um... You know what I mean? Like, 45 is pretty easy to get, I reckon. Um, and then there's all these different, these all these guys all sell the same shit, I'm pretty sure. The numbers seem to suggest that they all sell the same shit. There's probably just one at each place or something. Yeah, they are. Look, Tanaris, Ashenvale. God, there are so many of them, hey? Oh, it's because they're the Elder. Ah, uh, these are all the Elders. They're not vendors. They're the quest givers. Right, okay. That makes sense. They're the quests. Okay. But there are these quests to give you the appearances. Ah, uh, to pick up this quest, you must have collected the crown of prosperity. Crown of good fortune. Ah, <gasps> oh, so these are the boundless courage. So you get the crown of courage and then that enables you and then you get that one which can be used all year round. Is that the way that works? I think because the original ones that you buy could only be used during Lunar Festival. Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. And mood lovers in the air. Hmm. Lunar Festival. Yes, Lunar Festival. It is uh, the in-game representation of Chinese New Year. Or Lunar New Year. Um, and it's at the end of... It starts literally, I think, on like the 31st of... It starts the 31st of January in the US, so it means the 1st of Feb for us. And it has one week overlap with lovers in the air. Because fuck us, right? Okay, chat, anyone know what Spear is doing? <laughs> Level 30 on the Shaman! Woo! Congrats, Shiva! Well done! You're getting there indeed! I've been farming the Shah of Anger Mount for eight months, so I think it's not able to be dropped. It definitely does! It definitely does! It's just rare as fuck. Not looking forward to spending 71,250 gold to get everyone fast. Flying! Yeah. I've been there. It's fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> Felt this in my wallet, and it's how you get the best Hearthstone teleport skin. Uh, it's 4 a.m. Time to go try and sleep again. No worries, Mint. Rest well. We'll see you next time. You get out, I hope you post the clip of you screaming. Oh, there will be so many clips. So many clips. I guarantee you. Ooh, a hydrate. Woo! More hydrates. <sighs> oh, look, more. <clears throat> I mean, it's, um, if you get exalted, it's actually cheaper to train flying, etc. Yeah, it is. But it can take a bit to get there. Depending on what you're doing and where you're leveling. Pretty, pretty Twitch water bottle. Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it gorgeous? Should be a bathroom break one. There is. Chest room. <laughs> Same thing. Doing Shaman tonight, I am, Dunks. I am. I have been doing it for two hours and 43 minutes so far. And I will continue doing it for more time. Oh, excuse me. If you're on Sour Fang, I'll join you for the Shaman. Um, I am. These are Sour Fang tunes. But yeah, I'm not jumping in a group or anything. You just literally, if you rock up because of the CRZ and everything, you, yeah, you'll be there. Um, we've had people lining up next to me on the same mount and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of cute. So, yeah, I mean, feel free to farm them out if you'd like to. Yes, see, look. There's another one. Not sure if that's one of us, but they're definitely on the same mount, so that's nice. Oh, dear.
carbohydrate. <laughs> Another hydrate indeed. Thank you for the requests, uh, the requests, the uh, the suggestions, by the way, through Throne. I've gotten an email that's pinged me to say that people have suggested gifts or to, to add to my wish list. Um, it's on my to-do list to check through them tomorrow and have a look and see what people are suggesting. So uh, thank you very much for the suggestions. If you have any other suggestions, feel free to shoot them through via Throne and I can... Uh, I can peruse and potentially add them to the to the list. It's really interesting seeing like what you guys think I need or would like or you know like it's it's almost like this is what I think fear likes maybe. And it's it's just it's really interesting. I find I don't know. I find it interesting. Uh, okay. All oh, right, this is look, I'm 50% across account wide. Holy shit, that's cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. Okay, uh, 419 and 819. Oh, nope, that's 821. There's a wrong number in here somewhere. 8166. So it's a number on this side. No, they're both wrong. So I'm two down. That's odd. 32, for Scarlet Monastery, that makes sense. So 419, 821, perfect. Burning Crusade, 376, 794. Perfect. Lich King, 1255 is wrong and 2092. Okay, so 48, 171, 28, 18, 162, 103, 249, 8, 31, 18, 32, 35, 29, 18. That's supposed to be 22. So that should be, I oh know, almost. Uh, Hallstone, 29, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, that I'm like in a place where I have a stream room and I can have shelving behind me instead of my literal bed. And I can put stuff like the, the Vulpix pop that Shiba sent me on the shelving in the background and stuff like that. Once I get to a point where I can have something sitting on a shelf on the stream that you can see, then I will consider putting it on the wish list. Um, at this point, it's too expensive for something that will sit on a shelf in the lounge room where we spend approximately 2% of our time. It's just not, I, d I just don't feel like it's worth the money uh, for whoever would put that outlay on. Uh, how far are you on fear 50s, 50s? Uh, you can check the spreadsheet, Rose. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. But um, exclamation 50, 50s. F-I-F-T-Y 5-0-S. Uh, we'll get you the spreadsheet and you can have a look. You can have a squiz at all the data. A few years ago, actually had all the cloud serpents lined up waiting for the fireworks and storm wind. That's super cool. I love the cloud serpents. They're fucking gorgeous. Ah, Miss Happy Bug, thank you so much for the compliment. Yeah, it's a fresh dye job. Um, I washed it out yesterday morning. So, um, like, put the dye in on the first and then wash it out the morning of the second. Because this is semi-permanent, so it doesn't, like, fry your hair. It's really, really nice. Um, yeah, so it's really fresh, but my hairline's a little bit scuffed, but that's okay. <laughs> It'll fix itself after a couple shampoos. Ah, uh, cool. Glad it's been kissed, though. Oh, absolutely. Like, it would be very cool to have. Um, especially in my current getup, like the vampire shit. I don't, I don't see myself, like they will have to implement something exceptionally cool that is directly aligned with my taste in fashion for me to change my current transmog. Like it's just not gonna happen for a long time, I don't think. So um, like, yeah, having fear on the shelf in her current getup would be fantastic. But yeah, it just, I, I feel like I want it to be something that will actually benefit 
the stream. Like, I have, like, as background stuff, and yeah, I just, mm. Yeah. Uh, up J, uh, Fade, Inquisitor, Dupe, Mid, Sam, Jumpy, and Draco. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Yeah, we're going skins. Mm. Use the Thundering Ruby Servant mainly. Beautiful. I see you're almost done. I am indeed. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you very much, Happy. Much appreciated. Uh, right. Uh, Archer. Which is going to take a long time. Look how many placements I need. 144 more placements. Or buying scrolls from the store. Also. Is that- Ah, look! There are three of us. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Uh, Cataclysm. 545, 870. Perfect. Mists of Pandaria, 967. Wrong. 1664. Okay, so we're close. Uh, world bosses. So we've got 152, 74, 61, 61, 227, 257, 17, 20, 11. So it's Scarlet Halls, unsurprisingly. Okay, so that's now fixed. Uh, Warlords of Draenor, 698 and 1249. That's really wrong. Uh, 1018, 82, 156. Ah, oh, is this, this is the one that doesn't, yep. I fucked up the... 698, 1249. Perfect. It was the, it was the formula that was wrong. Not the numbers. Legion is 663 and 1621. Great. So on the hunter, my lowest is seat of the fucking triumvirate. Surprising no one. <laughs> Barrett and hold is still my lowest overall though, which I find really interesting. Like, I mean, it makes sense because I never did Barrett and hold because it just wasn't really worth it. By the time they released a new boss, everything on it was, I was, I had, like they were all downgrades anyway, so I never ran it on anything. Um, there are a couple of tunes where Barrett and Hold is their lowest as well, but overall I'm pretty sure it's, um. so for Fia, it's Pit of Sauron. Phelan, it's Vault of Archivon. Alexia is Gruul's Lair. Repressly is the Underbog. Vault of Archivon for Benedica, Sunwell for Melissa, Halls of Stone for Lilianne, Barad and Hold for Kira, Battle for Mount Hydral for Jasmine, but I think that's wrong, Underbog for Desi, and Seat for both Pia and Domatore. Um, and then overall the lowest is Jasmine with Battle for Mount Hydral at 14.29%, but I feel like that's wrong. Um, so... Yeah, I'll have to, like, as we go, as we keep going through more characters, I should be able to update more of those stats. But we will, we will see. We will see. Welcome on in, Candy Friend. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for joining us. Is that because all the sneaky PvP sets? Probably. Probably. I don't think that you're wrong. Um, Barrett and Hold doesn't have too many appearances, though. Which is, like, they are, they're mostly PvP, yes. But there's not too many things there. I think the issue is that the um, the actual, so if we go in here, Cataclysm, uh, if you look at the loot, right, um, and you go with like Hunter, right? So this is what you can get for Hunters. And these are the ones, like the, this is just for Hunters, right? Such a huge fucking loot table. So then when you consider that it's legacy loot, and you can go with all classes. There's this entire huge fucking list of stuff that you can get. And you get six of them. But it's still just too much. And a lot of it is, a lot of it's trinkets. And rings. And and neck pieces. And, yeah. So, like, if you look at your, your cloaks. I've got most of the cloaks already. Uh, in fact, I think I've got all of them. Um, and then... But then when you look at, like, neck... There's so many neck pieces. There's so many trinkets. There's so many everything. So last time I did Barrett and Hold, there was a particular boss where I got two neck pieces, three trinkets, and a cloak. So not only like not only is it the entire loot table, you can also get duplicates. And one of them was potentially even actually something that could be a transmog. And I already had it. 
you know, like, so it's just, it's going to take me a while. <laughs> it's going to take me a while. Um, but that's okay. Look, it's fun. It's fun. And because I've got 30 Horde and 20 Alliance, it doesn't matter who's got control of it. I've got at least 20 tunes I can run through. Um, so when I get to that point, it'll be fine. It'll be very interesting. You got a tune named Alexia. I do, except she has double X and double I in her name. She's my rogue. My main rogue. My main rogue. Uh, 20 drinks the next two. Exactly, exactly. Hey, Yana, how you going? You're here. Brilliant, Dunks. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, we've got under five minutes left on Shah's spawn. It could spawn at any time in the next five minutes, um, but it will not spawn more than five minutes later, after now. Uh, I've got a priest name, Alexia. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, I mean, look, with 50 tunes, Rose, hey, we're, we're bound to have some overlap, aren't we? <laughs> so I'll kill it for sure. Just make sure you get, like, a hit in and then, like, let everyone else get their hits in. Oh, dear. Ah, names are hard. They are. That's why I just use the random generator these days. Uh, I love that the random generator for tune names in WoW uses names for the race like each each generator like is is different like you get mechanome names or dark iron dwarf names or zandalari troll names or lightforge draenei names like you get specific like names designed for their particular like culture and naming style which is very cool i didn't know that right isn't it amazing half mine is just irl names here is some weird way yeah of course of course. Yeah, I I hate custom, like I hate alt code letters. I used to use them, but it just drives me fucking batty to have them in my own names and trying to send mail to my tunes. It just frustrates the hell out of me. Um, so I avoid them, but it, they are very useful. They're very useful. So it can be then a version of friend, buddy, pal, and said, oh, I love that. That's super cute. Super cute. But yeah, the, the, the how cool is that, that the random name generators actually generate stuff to match the race that you've chosen. How fucking awesome is that? I didn't notice until only a few years ago. I've been playing for like 15 years. So a few years ago is not that like in the grand scheme of things. Um, and so like, I've got a bunch of characters I did name myself uh, and then the rest of them, especially when I was like trying to fill out my roster. Cause I had 24, no. I think, it, yeah, I think it was 24. I had 24 tunes, and so I created 26 new tunes, so I had a full roster. And those 26, I random named every single one of them. And I had already random named, like, my allied races, I think. So um, I think that's, like, 30-ish, 35-ish, something like that, tunes that I have that are random name generated. Because, fuck. <laughs> that's a lot of fucking characters. Um... Uh, all my tunes have the same name. Last two letters change. Amazing. Shame I can't join you at the Shah. I'm in the UK. Well, you can you can join us in spirit, Kanna. You can join. You can head to Shah on your server. I have a mail add-on postal. Let's we pick alts with the drop down. I don't need to remember names. Like I, I I'm pretty sure TSM does that as well. Like you have an address book with your alts in it. But I, I fuck scrolling through there trying to find specific names. Fuck that. No, <laughs> I just want to type the first three letters and have it autocomplete. So <laughs> I feel I'm going to spend too much time generating names now. It can, it can feel a bit that way. Not going to lie. I like using the website fantasy name generator. So many amazing naming generators. And she has wow ones for every single race, both player and NPC. That's cool. That's awesome. Ruined it with the thundering serpent. No, you didn't. You didn't ruin shit. It's fine. I have heard the apostate of the shark group being the only alliance. No, don't. Don't. It's fine. We're all friends here. We join forces cross faction to to get to the same. Yeah, we 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 want we want them out. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know how to use TSM. Do I look like a gold maker? Ah, uh, I just found a bunch of guides oh, on alliance. YouTube and figured it out. I got oh, there. The ah, Kiwi! Thank you so much for the resub. Last sub for the next six months. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, and I'm so happy for you. It's gonna be so awesome. Good luck. Are you excited? You need to get them out before I go. Look, tell Shah that. Hopefully it'll drop. I mean, the timing. The timing's pretty good. The timing's pretty good. 
are you excited or nervous or like are you just like itching to go are you ready to do the thing like what's how are you feeling I've got a gem. That's interesting. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna... This one. Which shy is it? Shy of anger. Uh, I'm so nervous. I think it'll disappear after an hour of being there. I think, yeah. And I think you'll find that literally everyone else joining you there is gonna feel the exact same way as well. And you'll just... You'll be so fine. You'll be so fine. Uses weakness. Got there just as it spawned. Ah, oh, very nice timing. Nice timing. All right, I'm onto a rogue. Um, I'm not sure if the numbers on this rogue are going to be accurate to the numbers on Alexia because of like patterns and things that can drop because Alexia is my tailor. Um, so I'm a little nervous about updating her stats using this character, but we'll see. I need calmness and patience to defeat him. I mean, bashing him over the head 400 and something times, that's patience, right? That's patience. We'll get there, we'll get there. It's a 1 in 2,000 drop chance, so I'm not expecting it to drop anytime soon. But if I don't put the effort in, it'll never drop. You know? So, like, it's all it's all in the numbers. It's a numbers game, just gotta give it a try. Bunk! Correct. Calmness and patience in this economy, panic! Yeah. Yeah. No anger, bonk. Ha, oh, you lot. Does this half take me to Lucky Traveler? It does. I wonder if these numbers will be right. Mm, they look a little bit off. 50-50, you either get it or you don't. <laughs> look. <laughs> But it's never going to drop if I don't try. So. It'd be nice if the chance was 50-50, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it, Jess? It's okay. Um, I am going to take a quick break. Uh, I'm going to be back shortly. Like a coin with both sides saying don't. And the side, the, the, like the edge, the rim of the coin says you've got it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I will be right back. More hydrates. Ah, oh, background music getting intense. I know, right? Mm hmm.
Here we go. Okay, let me see how my rogue numbers are looking. I feel like these are going to be wrong. Yeah, these are off. So this says 425, 746, but on, on Alexia it says 427 out of 753. And I feel like that's because of patterns. So I can't... Mm. 375, 764. That's 369 out of 771. Yeah. God, that's a little bit annoying. Um, that's okay. We'll just we'll just leave it. We'll just leave <laughs> my PvP percentage. Isn't it miserable? Isn't it miserable? But um You've been busy. I am Oh, long time no see, yes. Yes, Kiwi's been very busy. PvP tanks mine too. Yeah, my screen we're in sync. Ah, oh, that's cool. Not quite on my screen, but that's okay. They're still gorgeous. I love the way the tail moves, don't you? It's just absolutely beautiful. I can like untick PvP things in here somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Like you can untick player versus player, but I feel like that's cheating. You know, I just, I feel like that's cheating. Mm -mm. It's just Monday, yes. Yeah, it's Monday. My brain unticks PvP, yeah. Best feature of the serpent tail, yep, for sure. What are you farming? Hello, Dave. We are farming Shah of Anger for the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent. It is a one in 2000 drop chance. And I currently have 414 attempts at the wonderful beast. Look, look at all these serpents. This is amazing. One more day of time walking than I thought. Ah, brilliant. Good news, I think, I guess. So I can't update my numbers on this rogue because Alexia being a tailor and an alchemist, but I can update some of the other ones because not all of them have um, like not all my classes have, uh, what's it's professions I care about. So that's nice. Oh, it's just me. Posture check. I'm comfortable. Ugh. Look, you. Look, you. Fia, I'm looking at an idea for Throne based on the YouTube video. Do you have an iPad? No. <laughs> Don't worry, it just isn't an iPad but an accessory. Unfortunately, I do not have an iPad. What I do have is a Surface Pro. Like, it doesn't even have a number attached to it. That's how old it is. It was the original generation of Surface tablets. I have a Surface Pro. It is very old. It cannot hold a charge. It must be plugged in to be used, etc. Um, but I do not have an iPad. Sorry. Uh, how do you get that big box that tells you everything? Uh, the one that says all the things? This one up here? That's an add-on. The add-on is called... Go for it. All the things. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all the things. Yep. It requires a dial-up connection, it's that- No, it has wireless. <laughs> it has- it doesn't even have a plug to stick a cable in. It does have wireless. Um, so have a look and see if it's compatible, of course. Now when you hover over stuff, or it the same, it the same. Yeah, that's, that's, see, um, so do you see where it says, I can't, I can't move my, I can't move the cursor to show you because it moves the whole fucking box. But around about this line here where it says ATT, D and R, MOP, world bosses, that's all the things, dungeons and raids, Mr. Pandaria, world bosses. And then it shows me what can come from it that I, that I do or do not have. And then the line down the very bottom says rarity reigns of the blah blah blah. That's that's an add-on called rarity. But yeah, everything everything else in the tooltip is is at all the things. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> ah. <sighs> 10 minute spawn window is about to begin. That's a good thing. 
I feel like I need to get something crafty to sit here and do while I'm pissed off. But that also feels kind of bad. Uh, it's one of the best add-ons, but it is quite chunky. Yeah, it does take a lot of um, a lot of memory. So you can see there, like at the top of that list, where it's got like home latency, world latency, add-on memory. Zygor is huge, and all the things is very closely, like very closely followed by. So um, yeah, it's it is quite big. It does take give, make the game take a little longer to load, um, but can be worth can be worth. Looks like probably not compatible. Logitech crayon. I've seen, I've seen every time I type in, um, every time I type in Logitech C into my hashtags on, on Instagram, um, it comes up with Logitech crayon, which is super cute. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, it's uh, iPad only, unfortunately. Only iPads. Only works with devices that support the Apple Pencil. So, only iPads. It's kind of cool though. Expensive for a digital crayon, but uh. <laughs> Hello Kylie, doing well, how are you? Finally in sync on both screens, yas. Rip, indeed, that's okay. That's all right, I, I'm not looking at getting an iPad anytime soon. If I was going to get another tablet, it'd be an Android tablet for one reason and one reason only. Uh, there is an app called uh, PC Stitch. No, Pattern Keeper. PC Stitch is what I use to make patterns. Um, it's called Pattern Keeper. Um, and it works, it turns PDF patterns into digit, like cross stitch patterns into digital things that um, you can like highlight all the stitches of one particular color so that you don't miss anything. And you can like, there's just so many little funky things you can do with it. And it's an Android only app, um, Android only app. And I use it currently on my tablet. It does not work with a, with a non, it has to be a touch screen. Like I've tried using it on my PC and it sucks. It needs to be a touch screen. Um, and so yeah, I use it on on my Surface with BlueStacks, and BlueStacks is shit. <laughs> uh, like I mean, it gets the job done, but it's so slow and so clunky, and just oh, it's not good. It's not good. Um, I don't recommend BlueStacks. Uh, but I mean, it's the only thing. It's the only like Android emulator that I believe works well enough to like you can log in with your your Google account and all that kind of shit. But um. Yeah, so I use that for my cross stitching, for my big patterns and shit, and I, I need that. And so if I was going to replace my surface with anything, it'd be an Android tablet. Does it taste good? What? Yellow was the best according to Oh classic Ooh, yellow. What the crayon? <laughs> god. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That's so bad. Don't eat the crayons, guys. Don't eat the crayons. Well, this is good. Shah spawning early on in his spawn cycle. Hopefully we can squeeze a couple more attempts in. Gold. And a green. Homeward bound. Ah, uh, there was a really good Android emulator. Google went and employed the guys that made it and they stopped. Yeah, that makes sense. If you have a Samsung phone, you can use DEX for desktop, like mobile apps. Yeah, unfortunately, the phone isn't a large enough screen to use Pattern Keeper properly. Um, and I don't have a Samsung phone. But that's okay. Uh, Miko, good morning. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Oh. I'm so excited to play Chef Squad. Are you guys excited? 
It's not for a while. It's not for a couple weeks. But I am... I am so fucking keen. And it'll be here before we know it, because time is, is sh like that. <laughs> uh, okay, his Dex makes a Samsung frame to a desktop on League external screens. It also says Android apps. Oh, that's cool. That's super funky. Nice. What's the plan for today's stream wise? Shaw. Sure. Shaw sure is the plan. Oh, so I get excited. Me too. Just hook your phone up to one of those touchscreen projectors they have in school nowadays. What makes you think I have access to a school? <laughs> I'm about to I'm about to turn 32. I do not have access to a school. Like the <laughs> no, no, no. Excited to work from home for the next week. Yes, yes, chef. God, this is it's gonna be batshit, dude. It's gonna just everyone's gonna explode. Time is crazy. 2021 was three weeks long. Max. Max. Totally. Like, absolute max. I think it's probably closer to about a week and a half, personally. Um. <laughs> Teacher Fia streaming 101. Ugh. Does Fia have a school? Fucking Jesus. Ah, oh, Jury is still out on that, Zam. Good lord. I mean, I feel like I do teach you guys some things. Sometimes. Sometimes. I wonder how the numbers look on here. So that's down by one from Piroa. That's interesting. That one matches. That one matches. That matches. 62. They they all match except for classic. There's one difference in classic, but it's it's like both of them are down by one. 1543, 1433, 2572, 1123. This one. Diamol. 3754, but this says 3653. That's super interesting. This is why I like with that spreadsheet, I have to take my my 12 tunes, like my just those 12 tunes is like gospel, and everyone else is just kind of extra chances. Um the answer to that. Like how you said Shah and looked dead on into the camera. Felt that intense. Oh, it is so intense. So intense. Not in this economy. I feel more learned in some ways. Think Aw, thank you, Lander. Rip, I just got rusted on to do an eight start tomorrow. Ah, that's okay, Dunks. Think of the money. Money, 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 money. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. hilarious. Ah, uh, dear. But I wanted a peanut. Yeah. Money can buy many peanuts. Explain. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's funny. I might have to do Bean Boozled for the anniversary stream, I think. I have so many fucking beans. So many fucking beans. Oh. Something smells phenomenal. I think Jas is doing dinner. It smells so goddamn good. So goddamn good. Ah, oh, why play suffers from my obscure Simpsons reference? Suffers though? Are you sure they actually suffer? I feel like maybe they enjoy it. Maybe secretly. <laughs> Mm, cases include introduction to tolerance, intermediate data analysis, and advanced gameplay stubbornness. I love that, Kaz. That's beautiful. Oh my god. That's so good. That's so good. Ah, uh, class is totally fine. Uh, I need to get Jas to teach me how to cook. He's a good cook. He's a good cook. Start with recipes. Like, genuinely find, like, think of, like, your favouritest food and then, like, find a recipe for it and follow it. And then you can start tweaking it from there and learning about what works and what doesn't and stuff. Uh, hey, Hailey. Uh, so your message has come through as three asterisks. I presume that you've posted a link. Uh, we have link protection enabled here. I don't know what you've tried to say, but it hasn't come through. Um, we have link protection enabled to prevent spam and malicious links and uh, and stuff that we don't want. Ha! 
Highly recommend. Nat's what I reckon. Yeah, he does some really good shit. Absolutely. And like basic stuff, but and it but it's not so basic. It's deceptively like he's really good at explaining shit in a way that makes it seem like it's super basic, but in actual fact it's like, yeah, it's really, really good. Really, really good. Uh, I did HelloFresh for a year. Just put all the recipes in a folder. I love that. That's awesome. Uh, so I've got his book. He's got two of them now. He's got two books. I, I very much considered picking up um, his second one. Because his first one, I think, was just kind of like a... Well, one of, one of them is a recipe book, specifically. And the other one is like a life advice kind of book. Um, I don't know which order they came out in. Um, but I was very honestly considering getting Jas the recipe book, um, for Christmas, because he likes the videos, and then, like, and he loves the way that the recipes are written down and stuff, but, um, most of what he does doesn't even use a recipe these days, he just kind of, you know, he knows, he experiments with spices and shit on, on steak or chicken or whatever, and then pops up some veggies on the side, so, yeah, is interesting. Um... Love to cook, just haven't the time or the space to cook. I used to, yeah, cry in tiny boat kitchen. You're not wrong, hey, you're not wrong. Well, once you're done with your six months, maybe you'll have earned enough to, like, get your own place and shit. If that's what you want. I, I don't know if that's what you want, but, um, yeah. Sent what? Uh, no, not, not Kylie. Highly. There was a username that said highly thrown one. Um, yeah, not Kylie. Highly. Two different users. I'm a glad seven. Scream updating WoW now. Can I join you and my brother later? By the way, my brother is on the red server next to you. Fantastic. Yeah, you're more than welcome to, to come over to Shire as well. I'm not doing, like, there's no group or anything. I'm not inviting anybody. Um, but you're more than welcome to, to come and attempt the Shire. See if you can get a mount to drop. Okay, didn't know there were two have the rat bags rules for life the yellow one. Yeah, there's another one um, And it's it's literally just recipes like it's an actual recipe book um, It's it, we found it like a couple weeks before Christmas uh, Fairy Zam and bod congratulations to you on your bonus shits uh, but Then I'll have base food so we won't need to cook. Yeah, but like after you so after your training will you still live on base? Is that a? Interesting uh, oh, So confused uh, I'm just built different getting in. Fair enough. All good. All good. Ready. <clears throat> we are doing a wait. Don't even have a serpent of any kind yet. That's okay. You don't need to be on a serpent. Not at all. Just jump on in and join us and maybe when you kill Shah, you'll get one. Wouldn't that be fucking brilliant? I've been in flight training for two years after, so I have to live on base. Gotcha. Yeah. Look, I mean, I wonder if, like, there's, I mean, yes, you'll have base food, sure, but will there be, like, it, on your, when you're living on base, will you have, like, a kitchenette and stuff in the, the room that you have, like, the little apartment and stuff, so could you, if you wanted to cook on a, on a weekend or something, could you conceivably go and get ingredients and, and cook once a week or so, if you so desired? You wouldn't have to, sure, but could you do it if you wanted to? <clears throat> I got Jake's for now. Brilliant. Food there is amazing. Had it for a week during my CV. Oh, wonderful. That's so good to hear. Scream is my twin. Can someone ban him, JK? <laughs> no, we're in a single room barracks. Only a bed and a sink. Ah, bugger. Fair enough. That's okay. Once once you get out of training, Kiwi, you'll, you'll be able to cook up a storm. And maybe, maybe you'll get a whole bunch of creative ideas from all the food that you have on base. Hundred percent, yeah. You can get a free serpent by raising one for fourteen days. You can, yeah. You can. There's a there's a quest chain in Jade Forest. Um, if you go to up here, where is it? Uh, the Arboretum. I think I think that is it. Maybe. I think that's it. Um, you go up there and there's like a, a daily quest that you can do, uh, and you level up a little baby and it turns into a mount at the end, and you pick one of three colours, and then you can buy the other two colours that you didn't get to pick. 
That's the most one. Just kill Shah, get a free one, trigger everyone in the world of Warcraft by telling them you got it first try. <laughs> also that. Also that. That works well. Sniffles! Mm. How many attempts have I done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This will be. T oh no, because then I've got 10, 11, 12, 13. So this will be 14, I think. I think. That's all right. I'm kind of not even counting anymore. <laughs> um, how do I get the basic Onyx one? Good question. Um, quest, surprise attack, town long steps. There you go. I, I don't remember. <laughs> but you can check um, Wowhead. That'll tell you. Wowhead.com is for sick. Yes, always. Can't scare me with the timeless proto Drake. Yeah, look. To saved instances track shark kills. You know what? Yes. But I still have to count them. Why? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen, yeah, so this will be number fourteen. <clears throat> How is this fucking pop out gonna look when I'm doing goddamn heartbreaker runs? It's gonna be a thing. It's gonna be a thing. <gasps> Yay! Bubble tea! Thank you. Is this lychee? Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank well, you. <laughs> Was the jazz lock. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. That's jazz. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Shadow Pan Garrison, I did it the other day. There you go. You might have to do a Mogu incursion quest before surprise attack quest becomes available, but it takes less than five minutes to do. Brilliant. Hope at least someone in this lobby gets it tonight as, as unlikely as it is. Wouldn't that be amazing? That'd be awesome. Food. What does Shah drop you want? I used to kill him for fun when I passed. Should I have been looting him? Yes. Well, no. Um, you don't actually have to... You don't actually have to click Shah to loot him because it's personal loot. It's push loot. It drops into your bags automatically, but there's a mount. Nom, indeed. What other games do you like to play? Um, like, I mostly play WoW, but I like puzzle games. I like some adventure games. Um, I like chill stuff, like Stardew Valley or Graveyard Keeper. Graveyard Keeper is an awesome one. Um, I've been playing a bit of House Flipper when I can stand it. House Flipper makes me kind of nauseous, but I really like it, so I try to play it anyway. So yeah, a few different pieces. Can Shy be skinned? No. No. Jump onto sit? No. I do not play CSGO, nor do I want to. Not interested. Mm. Should have kept Yoku's Island Express for yourself. It's an awesome game. I might already have it in my library. That might be why I had it on the list. Um, I do have a Steam library of like 400 plus games. So I kind of find it difficult to remember what's on it. <laughs> I also am never going to play through 400 fucking games, so it's like, yeah, why should I kind of, yeah. Mmm, just saw an episode of and that's what I reckon. He's great. He's really, really awesome. Hmm. I get motion sick real easy, try VR. VR seems to be fine. Um. 
I have played VR a few times and I've been perfectly fine, but I don't have a VR headset or anything because money, but um, it seems to be very, very specific games um, that make me nauseous. Like it's not just anything that's first person. It has to have like there needs to be it needs to be first person and there needs to be motion blur and there needs to be head bob and there needs to be this and this like there has to be a very specific combination of things that make me want to vom and I haven't been able to put my finger on exactly what does it yet, which is kind of frustrating because if I knew exactly what did it then I could just avoid the games that do it. But um, yeah, I know that disabling motion blur in games seems to help a little bit. But not entirely. So, yeah, it's a bit strange. <clears throat> mm. Ouch, nothing, two shards in a row. Like, nothing, nothing? Or are you getting the cache? Because you should be at least getting the cache of Shah touched gold. Keep in mind you can only get loot from Shah once per week per character. So if you've already killed it on that character, you can't get anything else until after reset. You gotta switch tunes, otherwise nothing will drop. Hmm. Skyrim gave me a fourth motion to try to play it twice. Not looking at you, I'd love it. No, and for an hour afterwards, it was not worth it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I'm gonna play, like, if I'm gonna play House Whipper, I play it right before bed, so that I finish and then go to bed and just pass out. <laughs> Like, I have to play, plan my gaming. Um, it's the same with D2. Can't play that. It makes me sick for some reason. Oh, no. Oh, no. Made a huge struggle with motion sickness in VR. Found that it had something to do with a nose being placed in the VR goggles. I'm not so sure I know how to shoot. That's so interesting. Oh, that's so weird, Grazzy. Mm, I don't know what happened, but I'm leveling Shadowlands Jewel Crafting now. What the fuck? Ha what did you do, Yori? What have you done? I'm so confused. Uh, hello, ja hello, Adam. I hope you're doing wonderfully today. Welcome on in. I don't know. I just say back and was like, well, how the fuck did I get here? Wait, well, you were in Kara. So what happened in Kara? Maybe blocking airflow, maybe. Maybe. What happened after Kara? Like, what, what did you get from Kara? This is the problem with all the things. There are lots of things. Like, so many things. Mm. Mm, possibly the airflow thing. I logged onto my tour droid and was making her leatherworking gear because she still had like 37 level items on. Do you not have heirlooms? Motion sickness on our boat. As soon as it starts, we make sure the person is on the back step by the water out in the fresh air. Yeah, absolutely. And then I guess I wanted to get her rings and neck too, but then realized I didn't have a jewel crap. Oh no. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh, Yori. Hmm. Rabbit hole indeed. It was like the other day when I couldn't sleep and I started doing some profession stuff. And then all of a sudden I accidentally all of the professions and now I have the achievement. <laughs> like, oops. This is why I like streaming this shit. Because if I start getting lost down a rabbit hole, someone will be like, Fia, aren't you supposed to be doing blah? And I go, right, shit. Gets me back on track, it's great. That's so funny. Holy shit. Vegetables, get on my fork. 
Oh my god, would you just... <clears throat> I like food. It makes me happy. Now I'm hungry. Sorry. Sorry. You should get food. Run, vegetables, run! They cannot. They are dead. Now I eat them. If I can get them on my fucking fork. Cook chicken tenders. Great adult dinner. Baby finding food. Enjoy, Kiwi. Enjoy. What are we eating? Uh, I have chicken and vegetables. And the veggies are like peas, carrot, corn, and potato. Like a mixed, frozen mixed veggie thing. Malbine on toast, yum. Yeah, I think Nama's on cooldown. Could eat now too, mm-hmm. I'm an influencer. I've influenced you all to be hungry. Sister Trans works so well. Ah, uh, good, I'm glad, Yuri. I'm glad. Mmm. <laughs> Yari, are you excited to kick my ass at Mario Party? <laughs> mm. Jas and I played around on New Year's Day. I uh, played like a 30 round, a 30 turn round. It was really funny. Like, he was winning. Like, really, like, he was winning by like a long shot. And then the bonus stars came out. And the first one went to me. And the second one went to everyone except Jas. And third one went to me. I kicked his ass. <laughs> it was so good. He was unhappy. <laughs> ah, but I will not win. I don't think any of us will win. It'll be hilarious. What, wh whichever of us wins, it will be by accident. I went to a night market before coming to stream. Your hunger tricks will not work on me. Good, Handy. I'm so glad that you've eaten. That's wonderful news. Better be tasty cooking. It caused my dang cut to partially open. <gasps> Jess, are you okay? What happened? Christmas ham and cheese toast. Ooh, yum, Dunno. I'm a bullshit ass RNG. It's great. I love it. Bonus stars are the best. Mmm, chaotic player. Like, I play for the fun, but I'm not super competitive. I'm both. Like, if I'm winning, I'll rub it in everybody's face. But if I'm not winning, it's okay. Because I will win soon. Like, <laughs> it's good fun. Water made the skin soft and pliable, so open it. Wet. Why did you not have a band-aid on? That's the whole reason. I played a troll for you. I found laughing cow and salami delicious. Will this choice fuck everyone over as well as myself? Oh well. Yep. Yep. Band-aid fell off. Come get another one, you numpty. Come and get another one, you numpty. Bird steals a mouthful of every bite I eat. Oh no. Oh no. Mm. Tasty. <clears throat> used to be competitive and try and win trophies. I became an adult and learned I can just buy trophies and claim I won them. But that's not as fun. That's not as fun. I like winning mounts. <laughs> Do 
jumping on now, wonderful. I had to get you last night post-stream once Trub was offline. I'm so too vid. See what you fix get up to. You went online from 13 days ago, a few minutes and you started talking about how you have a community goal. And as I'm listening and clicking away, I'm farming in Pandaria, you better get Seeker over here. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Look, you have transcended channels, Seeker. You are a Twitch personality now. Oh, much better to get the X45 Heartbreak amount in 2014, not realizing it dropped and sitting next to someone who doesn't have it while waiting for Shard to spawn. <laughs> oh dear. Actual lols of the random is having my screen name pop up elsewhere the same gang of usuals. It's so good, hey. Oh god, I love this community. It's fucking great. Oh, so my character's level 1, but 1 level 51. I have four 60s, a 53, a 51, Shit, how many do I have at 50 now? Jesus. Um, yeah, four, four 60s, one at 53, and one at 51. Um, and then I have, uh, 22 level 50s, five at 49, five at 48, 10 at 47, and two at 46. Uh, 50 tunes all up. <clears throat> And I have nine sixties when I can. I was like, oh wow, I did that. You did, you did do that. You did do that. Well done. I also have a secret hidden spreadsheet that you guys can't see. Sorry, I should clarify. I have a secret hidden sheet in one of the spreadsheets you guys can access, but it's a hidden tab. So you can't see it. A good mage, all I got is the one level 51 death knight. You can level a good mage. Super easy. Oh, a hydrate. Mmm. Mmm. That's my second bottle for the day. That's it. Hydrates have been paused because I finished two water bottles today. Death Knight better. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on, Shah. Under eight minutes to go. Yeah, I think it's on cooldown. <laughs> Sorry, Seeker. I'm lost. What are you lost by? Your chair stream today. <laughs> well, a chair stream is just when I leave, and chair is here, and chair is the one streaming. That's all a chair stream is. We've already had a. We already. We have already had a couple. Hi, the sun. NC. Thank you so much for the resub. Oh my goodness, thirty months. Holy shit. Amazing. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. Fucking hell. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I truly do hope you're having a wonderful day. All of the hype. All of the hype. Ooh, a stretch. I can do that. Can't find my way to a flight master or a way out of where I am. Ah, okay. Well, that depends on where you are. Uh, 9 level 60s, 151, 550s, and a lot of characters that will eventually get leveled. Love that, Koala. Love that. Yeah, um, a lot of people have been asking, once I've done 5050s, am I going to do 5060s? Maybe. I may have... I may have made a spreadsheet. <laughs> I may have made a spreadsheet. Seven level 60s in between and two level 10s. Nice. We need to game again. Yas. Very similar to my troop. Look. 
You're in Bastion. Uh, if you're in the leveling thing, you might, like, just, if you follow, follow your quests. Like, follow whatever quests you have in your quest log. Uh, and eventually it'll lead you to somewhere that has a, a flight path. A flight master. One of every class at 60. Double up with demon hunter, monk, druid, and hunter. Yeah, I've been so focused on getting my tunes to 50. Like, getting my whole army of 50 characters to, to level 50 plus for the Heartbreaker. Um, in February. Um, I, yeah. I've got one, one, I, the reason I have four 60s is because I have one in each covenant. But that's kind of, yeah. Um, beyond that, I've had higher priorities. But once they're all at 50, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, I did not call it a few weeks ago. Uh, I have 11 days left. Oh no, if you, have you done two of Duty Chiefs? No. I do not play in war mode, so no. Um, just get it. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, no, I'm just blind. I found the flight, dude. Brilliant. Uh, you're all awesome. Good number of ults. Yeah, we've got, we've, we're a bit of an army having group here. Uh, I don't like seeing a non-rounded number, so the ones that have reached 51 plus like Greater Shadowlands have to go there now and get to 60 so they look pretty. Yeah, I could not give two shits. Um, <laughs> I just, I couldn't give two shits. I'm, I'm focusing on my army of 50s and that is, that is my priority. If I spend time leveling something that's 51 up to 60, I might not make my goal in time. So, nah, they can get fucked. I don't care. Priorities. There's an easy way to fix that. There is indeed. You could play now. You could play now. Or at some point in the next 11 days. Deary me. Uh, I'm gonna have power back on the journey this week and game till I ship out. Amazing! Ah, uh, that would be wonderful. Fingers crossed for you, Kiwi. Fingers crossed. Three minutes until the spawn window closes for Shah. Come on. Come on. Best mount special. There are some very cool mount specials for the Shadowlands mounts. I've gotta say. Some very cool ones. Very, very cool. is the same that's cool mm. ah they're pretty awesome so many mounts like so many fucking mounts mm, favorite flavor of bubbles Ooh, that's a really tough one i i feel like it depends on my mood because sometimes I'm in the mood for something that's just like candy sweet and other times I'm in the mood for something that's tangy or milky or do, do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's really, really tough. Um, the newer flavors from Bubble Tea Club, the guava and grapefruit, fruit teas, are phenomenal. The guava is quite sweet uh, and the grapefruit is really quite tart. It is still sweet. It's like, it's not like it's just sour. But it has that kick to it that's just really lovely. It does have pulp in it as well. So if you're not a fan of pulp, then sure. But um, I really like that it has some actual bits of fruit in there too. Um, and the strawberry, strawberry fruit tea has pulp as well, um, which is delightful. And passion fruit has been kind of one of my go-to orders for literally years, even when I was, you know, before Bubble Tea Club, when I was ordering from Gong Cha and, and Cha Time and things like that, um, I'd quite often get passion fruit again because it's kind of tangy. Um, and lychee is one of my favorite fruit, so lychee fruit tea is also one of my favorites. Um, uh, I can't go past green apple because it's delicious and tastes like roll-ups. Same thing with grape. Um, then milk tea, I love Thai milk tea. Thai milk tea is amazing, as is original. They had a limited edition gingerbread. I don't know if they still have it in stock, but once it's out of stock, it's gone. There's no more, like, gingerbread's not coming back. It might come back next Christmas, but... Um, it's a gingerbread milk tea and it's fucking awesome. Um, really, really good. I'm so glad I stocked up when I did. Um, and honeydew is a great, honeydew is like a really, really tasty milk tea as well. Um, 
I think those are probably my my favorite, like original Thai and Honeydew are probably my favorite milky ones, as well as gingerbread, but that was limited edition and it might not be there anymore. Um, if you are in Australia, New Zealand, the United States, or Canada, I would highly recommend trying out the Bubble Tea Club. And I would also recommend that you use my discount code because I'm an affiliate and it means I get paid if you use it. And it also means that that money goes towards helping me pay for my dental bills, um, which is something I need. <laughs> I need to pay for. Um, but yeah, no, there's, they do a lot of really fucking good ones. Um, but yeah, it really does depend heavily on my mood, which is why the list is so fucking long. Um, <clears throat> uh, February 13th is my one year wow anniversary. Oh, cool. Guava black tea. See, I like fruit tea. I like to have my fruit tea with green tea. Um, so I've only ever had the guava green tea, but you can get it with black tea in the pack instead. So you can like opt for green or black, depending on what your personal preference is. So, ah. Matcha and mango ball things. Wonderful. Oh, excuse me. Oh, they do have matcha tea. And they also got matcha brown sugar kits as well. They don't have mango pearls, but they do have mango popping pearls, I think. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the popping pearls because I like to have some chewiness um, in there. So that like this one, this is lychee with grape jelly, um, which is delicious. Uh, but... I have had the popping pills before and they are tasty. They're just not my first choice. Um, this bear is napping. Bubble tea. Repeat after me. I need more bubble tea. Exactly. Fiamma tea. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty damn good. I like it a lot. I'm not addicted. I can stop at any time. <laughs> oh dear. Can't believe I'm on 629 mounts. Shiba lied to me when he said I was going to get 630 that day. Last week. Wrong. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not offended at all. Oh dear. Convenient timing. Uh, let me just go park myself at Shah and then I'll place a spell and hit go. Mm, zoomies. Let's get the zoomies. Damn it, sheep. I know, right? How, how dare. How dare. Two hundred and nine mounts left on my list. I wonder if I can get it under two hundred before they add more mounts to the game. I wonder. Primal wrapped mount. I don't know. Uh, yes. Yes. I do. It's just that's from a cracked egg, yeah? Um, I've got all those ones, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the green, the black, and the red. I've got all three. Um, congratulations to Dunno, Apja, Great, Draz, and Mid, and Zam on all your bonus shit. Well done. 
Oh, earning that gold, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Getting there. Hey, Shadow, how you doing? Welcome back. <clears throat> yeah, I have all three of them. Let's play. <clears throat> Wonderful scream. Welcome on in. Same time for me. No worries, Kiwi. Rest well. We'll see you next time. And thank you very much for the crossing of the fingers. I appreciate it greatly. You might be able to hear me all the way from there if it drops. <laughs> Um, do you have a mount tracking add-on? No. I don't think so. I have ones that track, like, number of attempts, like, uh, rarity and stuff like that. But, um... No, I just searched for it in my in my mount collection. Like, you open up here and you know where your mounts are. You can just search in there for what you've got. And it comes up as ha either having it or not having it, and then you know. Nice and easy. Oh, heading to bed. Have an amazing rest of your stream. Thank you, NC. I will. Thank you very much for your well wishes. Uh, we will see you next time. See you next time. Doing good. Just got home from work, which is only kind of shitty, but on the upside, my ankle's feeling much better. Oh, that's such good news. So, so good to hear, Shadow. I'm so pleased. Yay. I'm sure I will. See, I'm on the Drake. All I have is two drakes that I want an everworm. That's fine. You gotta start somewhere. If you only have those mounts, that means you've got so many easy ones to collect. You can start like, like what the the, tri the tricky thing about where I'm at at the moment, right? I've got 629 mounts. The 209 that I have left are not easy to get. <laughs> like they're really tricky ones. They're really hard ones to get. So the benefit of only having a couple of mounts is that you've still got all these easy ones to go get. That's a good thing. Start. You. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Everyone has to start their collection with the first mount. Grabbed a bunch of the freeland ones. Yep. Yup. I got to start somewhere. Got to start somewhere. Yeah, don't do that, mate. Have you been running any more Ludicrous challenges while farming instances? No, I haven't. Because I've just been kind of like, I just want to run it until I get the shit I need rather than for a set amount of time or whatever. Um, but I probably should because they were fun. They were a lot of fun. Uh, and I can always just run the same challenge again if I really wanted to keep going. <laughs> uh, I haven't, I also haven't been randomizing my dungeons though. It's been like, um, Picking the lowest percentage one kind of thing. But I think that could still work. I think that could still work. Do you just like collecting things? How do you choose which mount with over 600 of them? Um, I've got a few methods that I use for, for picking what mount to you, mount to farm, but it's a really good question because it is really tricky. <laughs> like it's, it, that's a lot of, you know, I've got 209 mounts to choose from to farm. Like, how the fuck do you pick one at, like, yeah, no, very, very good question. Um, so there are two things, two big ones that I've used in the past for, for figuring out what to do what to farm. First one's rarity. Um, so rarity has this minimap button you can turn on. It's not on by default. You have to turn it on, but then you can hover over it and it gives you this. The first time it loads, it'll take forever because all of these start expanded. If you close off a bunch of groups and just have one open, it loads much faster. 
So hot tip. Uh, and this shows you like where things drop, whether or not you've done it for the week, how many attempts you've had, likelihood you would have seen it by now, all this kind of shit. Uh, and what I was doing before I hit the mop world bosses is I was just going through the list. Whatever was first on the list, I'd go try and get it. And then when I got it, I'd move on to the second one and the third one and the fourth one. Shah is currently second on this list, but because it's such a, like, it's a big one, like, when this drops, that's, there's going to be 70 million fucking clips that everyone makes a clip because it's just this big holy shit moment and it's this big, you know what I mean? Like, it's going to be a big deal when it drops. Eventually, it will. One day. Um, so that's why I've kind of used it as a focus. We had a, a stream challenge last month where people had to contribute embers, and if we hit the goal, then I would do a Shah Farm stream this month. And we did. So I am. Um, usually what I've been doing lately is using Data for Azeroth. So Data for Azeroth is a website that pulls your data from the Blizzard API, and it can sort, it can show you what mounts you have collected, collected on an alt, or not collected. Uh, and so you can filter that. So I filtered out all of my collected and collected on an alt mounts, so they're all not in the list. And then you can sort by rarity, and what that means is that um, it goes from, like, for example, my first one is the prestigious Ivory Corsair. 21% of accounts have it. Right the way down to White Riding Camel, where less than 1% of accounts. So it goes from most common down to least common, or rarest, right? And I, my, my thinking behind that was, if it's more common, that must mean it's easier to get. Of course, none of the mounts that are left on my list are relatively easy to get because I've got all the easy ones. Um, but that was kind of how I, and then, so I just go from through the list on, on DFA and just go through the list and hope for the best. Um, and that has been serving me pretty well. So far, so good. Uh, but yeah, so those are kind of the two big ways. The other, the other way that you can go that I've tried a couple of times, but it got a little bit messy a few times, um, was doing it with... Uh, ATT. So all the things has a feature where it can randomize shit. So if you type slash ATT random, you can then choose a category such as mounts, and it will pick a mount out of the ones you don't have completely at random, and then you can go get that one. The other way, of course, that I recommend people do is, is going for ones that they like the look of. Because if you want the mount, if you want to use it, if you like it, you're more likely to stick with your farming schedule. Like, to, like you know, if you have to do it every week, you're more likely to actually log on every week and give it a go because you want it rather than it just being another number off the list, which most of my mounts nowadays are just, it's another one off the list kind of thing. Um, but I'm stubborn, so that works fine for me, but it's not going to work fine for everybody. Hi, the sun well. <clears throat> Candy, thank you so much for this sub. Welcome to the Fianati. Thank you very much for your support. I appreciate it. Um, but I do like collecting things, to answer the first question. I really like collecting things. I don't just like collecting things. Like, I like other aspects of the game as well. But I really do like collecting things as well. Like, it's a, it is a big part of my enjoyment in the game. So, yeah. Ah, uh, it's fair. I just got a notification from the add-on and thought, ooh, ah, right, okay. Yeah, it's, um, maybe I should. Maybe I should, Krazy. Get more people involved in my, in my farming. Because I know, I know that when I'm doing stuff, I do, uh, there are a couple of people in chat who jump in and start farming that dungeon anyway. Because, like, you know, the, it's, it's kind of, you know, farming it together in spirit sort of thing. Um, so maybe I should just start it up again as a lack. And maybe... Uh, potentially attract a few more people, but um, I know that there are there are some dungeons that are traditionally used for lax, and I don't tend to go for those ones because I don't I, that's, I don't necessarily need transmog from those ones. Um, but I'm sure that people would figure out very quickly that I don't I'm not a traditional gold maker in that regard, and so they would either stick around for my difference in, in playstyle, or that it wouldn't be for them and they'd leave, and that's totally fine too. Um, but yeah. I forget what the frick of ever ODV is. I know. When I discovered it, Candy, I lost my fucking shit. Actually lost my shit. You, like, not even kidding. You are welcome. <laughs> you, you are very welcome. Um. Oh dear. Actually, that's not... That's an inside one. That's an inside one. That's your outside. 
Let's see, you're outside. It's outside. That's outside. That's outside. Ta-da! Uh, I'm still not collapsed things from that add-on. Have to try that. It makes it load a lot faster. Your game doesn't like hang quite as long. You you know what I mean? Like if you if yours if it freezes up a second when you're um when you mouse over it, the um the yeah minimizing those groups just makes it hang just for just a bit less time. Uh, do I have to do anything to receive the thing or just wait here? No. Nope. You don't have to do anything. Uh, now that this dude's spawning, like this, the, the steam is telling us that Char's on his way. Once he spawns, you have to hit him. That's it. Ah, <clears throat> uh, have you got the PvP mounts too? No. No, I have not. There we go, we hit him. And he dies, and we get loot. Ta-da! Gold. Back to the garrison. Um, what are some cool bird mounts? Ashes. <gasps> you showed me Bubble Tea Club 2 motivated me to farm Shah again. Look, I am an influencer. <laughs> last time we did a, um, uh, was it last year or the year before? I don't even fucking remember. But we did the census in Australia. Um, and when it asks what you do, like, what is your main job? If you have multiple jobs, what is your main job? And I'm like, I... I, I don't, I don't know. And Jas is like, well, how do they, because I'm like, I have a day job, which I have always considered to be like my main job because it's, that's, I have a steady income, uh, you know, it's a set amount per week, all this kind of stuff. So that's kind of what I thought was my main job, right? And this is like my, my night job, my second job. And I'm like, but wait, what actually, what actually is my main job? And uh, I'm like, what, how do they, how do they count it? And it's like, you know, which job do you spend more hours working at? Not money, hours. Which job do you spend more hours at? And I'm like, well, if I count offline hours, then it's stream. And then Jas goes, yeah, but even if you only count the hours that you're live, it's still stream. You stream, you stream 24 hours a week, you work 15 hours a, a week. And I'm like, holla fuck. So the census officially has me as a content creator. What? When, like, what? <laughs> when did that happen? I, it just, it blows my fucking mind. It blows my mind that that's my job now, is influencer. Like, okay, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's just kind of scary. Uh, small rural town, central coast of New South Wales. Bit far normally to go to Guapa Black Tea, I can imagine. I can imagine, but having it at home? Yes. Never try to make money from this. Just enjoy trying to farm the Xbox. Yeah, see how many clears or something I could get in the time of it. I agree. It's great fun, right? It's great fun. Even if you don't make a decent amount of cash, it doesn't It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's good fun. Again, thank you. Rookmar is kind of firebird. I've been trying to farm that. Yeah. Rookmar is on my list, but it's a little further down. The Solar Spire Hawk is here. I have not had many attempts. Nine attempts on that versus 418 attempts on this. So that's the thing. I uh, got the Claw of Anger. Well done. Yeah, so that's a quest item. Uh, it drops for everybody, uh, and it starts a quest, and you can go get some gear, but it's like Mr. Pandaland gear, obviously. <laughs> she wouldn't put down Influencer. Would have been cool AF. No. No. Influencer is such a dirty word. And Influencer, what does that even mean? Like, I'm, I'm a content creator. Like, I create content. That's, yeah, anyway. 174 attempts, no Rookmar. Someday, maybe. Absolutely. What is it? Is it a 1 in 2k for that one or is it 1 in 500? It's 1 in 500 for Rookmar. Little bit better. Little bit better. Just by fourfold. It's fine. But I have these four fuckers at 1 in 2,000 each to get, so... Hmm. How do you get that rarity list up? In the options for rarity, there's a minimap button. Show minimap button. And then you hover over the minimap button. And we start from the beginning again. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, it is a really handy little list. And you can also add 
custom items to rarity to track as well. Like if you're trying to track something that isn't necessarily a toy, but it's a rare drop and you want to know how many times you've tried, you can add stuff and it comes up under custom in that drop down and stuff as well. Like it's, yeah. Rarity is a super useful add-on. Uh, I just tried Mage Tower. Fuck that too hard. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I didn't bother trying it this way around, this time around. Um, next time it comes around, they'll have cleaned up the whole experience a little bit. <clears throat> Not necessarily made it easier, and nor, nor should they make it easier. But, um, just some of it will be a little better tuned and stuff, I think. Um, and then I'll give it a go. My new druid is dressed, so back to Kara. Enjoy, Yori. Best of luck. What are you looking for in Kara at the moment? Rarity <clears throat> since like 2015. I've never seen this list. I saw it on Twitter one day and was like, excuse me, what is that? And, and the person was like, yeah, it's this and this and this. And I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. And I, yeah, went and activated it. It's great. Oops. No, not that one. These ones. Uh, Mr. Seven basically just asked me if he had a clone. Uh, if he had a clone, would he go to school on odd-numbered days and the clone go to school on even-numbered days or the other way around? I love that he's jumped through a bunch of logic hoops already to decide that there would be an alt- like, that it would be alternates and that- it would be based on odd and even, and then, like, do you know what I mean? Like, he's gone through so many logic hoops already that he needs your help with this last one. That's, like, super cute. Fiendish imp. Ah! I told him I didn't think we'd need to worry about it. Ah, oh, I should have asked him what he'd prefer. Like, would you rather go to- would you Would you rather go on, on odd or even days? Let's see, see where that goes. That's so- that's just adorable. My god. Um, ask him how he knows he isn't one of the clones already. Oh dear. That might give the poor thing nightmares. Um, oh dear. Good evening, Trud. Hello. Welcome back. Ah, oh, we already leave your twin locked in the cupboard to make an evil twin. He already has the mustache and monocle and doesn't go to school. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my lord. That's hilarious. If I'm giving your kids nightmares, are you even parenting? Clearly don't am good parent here. Yeah, look. Look. I, obviously I wasn't aware of the give your children nightmares rule, considering that I am not a parent. That's that's my excuse. Sisters. <clears throat> Mentioned to Miss Elizabeth Ruth's movie idea. She loves it. Ah, yay! Now that you're aware of it, does that make you a parent somehow? I would say no, considering I still don't have any children. <laughs> Knowing the rules of parenting does not make one a parent, I feel like. You still also have to, like, have the children. Doesn't necessarily need to be biological children, of course, um, but kind of important to have the actual children. Uh... 
I'm a solo dad to a teen girl and there are no parenting rules, only chaos. Here we call that coass. Because uh, I typoed it once and no one has ever let me lift it down. Uh, <laughs> I can, I can only imagine. I was a teenage girl once and I was an unpleasant human being to be around. Sometimes. Not always, of course. Every child has their good moments, but um, I was, I was not a pleasant human to be around for the most part. Time for treats for breakfast. Yay! Yay. Chat could be counted as having... No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm not taking responsibility for any of you fuckers. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oops, wrong way. Oh, no, that's a four. Three. And a two. Really? Okay, yep. Well then. Part of me has really missed the music here, and part of me has fucking not. <laughs> like, seriously. Wobble. Shah has arrived. Ah, uh, I named a tune after it. Coas the warlock. I'll never forget. Being a solo mum is super hard work, especially when you're a thirty-year-old male in a relationship, having and have three cats and no kids. Ah, <laughs> uh, was a teenager. I know, right? Lich king. Okay, we can do that. We good? I can't tell. Are we good? No, it doesn't look like we are. Is it working? It doesn't say it's working, but I don't know. Now it says it's working. It must be. Let's just start that. Cool, all right. Um, where are we? I've been spending a lot of time in Panda lately. I'm about ready to move on. Fair, fair. It's working, brilliant. Literally just came to the same conclusion. Yeah, look. Well, that's, that's my main batch of 50s on Horde, but I have new 50s. So we're gonna, we're gonna break their, we're gonna pop their Shah Cherries. Actually, some of them may have already done Shah. <laughs> in before, yeah, I've been farming, raising tillers. Ah, I'm looking to see what quest lines I hadn't done. You can go by zone and do it through there. That's, I find, the easiest way to do it for me. Hmm. Isn't it cool how the lights, like, flash when stuff happens. When they go purple like that, it's a new follower. So thank you very much for the new follower. We let people work. They're following and wanting to stay lurked. I'm not gonna call you out. Apart from to say thank you, but like anonymously. But yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Bum, bum. Bum. I just finished the master for all the exalted mounts, trying to get Paul on and Jade Dive on at the moment. Fantastic. Are you up a new character? No. Um, we're not leveling at the moment. Uh, today we are doing Shah Farm. So Shah of Anger is world boss in Mists of Pandaria, in Pandaland, and um, he drops the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent that I want and I don't have, and it's pretty and beautiful and wonderful. Um, so. 
I'm throwing as many characters as I can at it to try to get it to draw. Um, and it has not yet, else I wouldn't be doing it anymore. There we go. Turn that off. Mm. Back to normal voice. Thank you for that redemption, dude. I may have subbed before following, and that's totally fine. Totally fine with that, Candy. Clearly, I was just worth it to you, and I'm I'm honored. I'm honored by that. It's okay, you amended the issue quickly. <laughs> it's totally okay. Totally okay, right. So I've got seven minutes until Shah spawns again, and because you guys gave me a lot of hydrates, I need to take another chair stream. I'll be right back. Run away, little girl. Run away. <laughs> Boogie down. Some of my jungle love. Baby tune da 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 baby tune da 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 I hear you guys had a sound effect party while I was gone. <laughs> oh dear. Bubble tea were worth it! Oh, oh dear. Boogie's definitely my favourite. So love, love, there you go. Oh dear. Oh, a free for all. I can join that. Right. Ugh. Oh my god, look how many people are in the free for all. gonna be one gigantic party in the pit. <clears throat> so many indeed, right? Holy cow. Holy cow. Parte! Exclamation FFA to join the free-for-all, if you would like to. It doesn't cost you anything, it's just a little fun thing. Uh, it doesn't even cost you embers, it costs you koala coins instead, which is a, a hidden little currency we have here. Just a bit of fun. Here we go, here we go! Chaos! Lady Chaos, well done. Jesus, 650, that might be a record for how many coins, like, one in a free-for-all. I'm not too sure. That's kind of crazy. That's amazing. So good. So good. Uh, 
That's a two. Enormous raid. That is super cool. Oh dear. All of the panic. Needs more units. Keep playing. Needs more units. Be sure to place those uh, those units on the battlefield, guys. Follow the link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account and drag and drop new units onto the battlefield like so. Join the Fi army and fight with us toward victory or something. Or something. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Done. Where's my two? Okay, the two's right. Everything else was wrong. Forge. There we go. Shah spawns at different times. Yeah, so Shah has a spawn window rather than a respawn timer. Um, so Shah can respawn in 10 minutes or in 20 minutes, or anywhere between. So once Sh once Shah goes down, oh that, shit, that was fucking damn close to a 10 minute bang on, that's awesome. So um, once Shah goes down, the timer starts. Once it hits 10 minutes, Shah could spawn anywhere in the next 10 minutes. Which is why we can't tell how long it'd take to get through 50 characters. It could be anywhere from, I think it's like 8 hours and 10 minutes or 8 hours 20 to, to 16 hours 40. If it's, if it's, if every single character takes 20 minutes to respawn, um, yes, it'll be unpleasant. Um, but every single one of them could take 10 minutes and there'd be 8 minutes. So it, it should be like, if you're going to do all of them, it'd be a roughly 12 hour thing. So it'd be, if, if I was going to actually get all 50 tunes against Shah every week, it'd take me two streams to do so every week. Mondays and Fridays. Mount Farm Monday and fuck off Friday. Be great. Mm, one hit per week per turn. Correct. Correct. Which is why having an army of tunes helps. Um... Where are my other 50s? Here's a 50. Oh, what you're saying is you could combine a 12 hour marathon stream with a shaft farm. Yes, but there's still no guarantee that I'd get them all done if I had my 50 tunes. It could be over, I could have four hours to fill afterwards or I could miss a handful of characters. Um, there's no way to tell. On average, it should take around 12 hours. Uh, but Mm. Yeah, look, I mean, a marathon stream every week. That sounds like a full-time fear problem. Do me a fair while to get this mount. Oh, yeah, oh, absolutely. Plus coin, don't forget the coin. Yes, you can use bonus rolls, and you can get the mount on bonus rolls. But depending on how many tunes you have, I'm not farming bonus rolls on, 12, uh, on 50 characters. It's not happening. It's just not happening. I... I do not have time for that. 
I do not have time for that. Like the entire stream would have to be focused specifically around farming Shah. I'd have to do two streams a week of, um, of, of killing it. And then two streams a week of cycling through alts, getting like whoever's got the lowest number of rolls, jumping on them and getting more rolls. And then whoever's got the next lowest rolls, jumping on them to get more. Like I'd literally have to do 24 hours of Shah farming every single fucking week in order to get rolls. And I just know, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'd get, I feel like I'd definitely attract new viewers doing that, but I'd also lose a fuckload of viewers. <laughs> so it's a whole thing. Mm, that sounds like an official. This influencer job, doesn't it? Right? Census influencer. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, no. <laughs> Not doing it. It'd be easy to just get them out. Exactly, right? Just fucking drop them out and I don't have to do this shit. Just got the malevolent gladiators, treads of alacrity. I guess any transmog is good. Absolutely. There are, there is a lot of transmog that drops from these babies. Like it, it really, yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. All right. So this tune has just finished leveling. So her hearthstone is still set in wad. So once I get to the lucky traveler, I'm going to set my hearth there before I go and try to kill Shah. So that next time I do this, she can just hearth straight there. Wait, Hellscream's fist airship. Firstly, that should be first airship, not fist airship potentially. But can I like just port to Jade Forest, please? Yes, I will do that. Ah, uh, there are also pets that can drop for those bosses. What? From the world bosses? No. Really? Trying 10 coins on all 50 ults ready to a shine marathon just to get out on the first character. Look. The same has been said of the Heartbreaker. So when Love is in the Air hits, several, not even several, more than several, many, I would I would even go as far as to say many people have said, you know it's going to drop on the first character, first attempt, first character, first day. And I'm like, I would be happy for that to happen because it means that I would not have to stream every fucking day for two goddamn weeks. But <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Rarity says yes. ATT. Okay. Maybe I already just, maybe I just have them already. I must already just have, I must just have them already. Cause... Yeah. I have literally everything from Undasta on, on a Warlock. Yeah, I already have... I must just already have them. Oh well. So long ago, I can't remember the hype. I just watched my partner go insane with a 50 20. I was trying to get Heartbreaker each year. Yeah, look, I was doing it on 20 something, and I'm like, now nah, fuck this. 50. Let's get this goddamn mount. So, I'm gonna get it. I have, I think I have. What's, uh. Is it rocket? No, I changed it. There you go. So yeah, I had 850 attempts at the end of Lovers in the Air last year. Total. Like, like that's total attempts ever. Um, so now I've got, I'm going to have 50 characters and there's 15 days of attempts. So that's 750. So I'm going to nearly double my attempts in a year if it doesn't drop. Is that 100? Probably already have them. Mm. They're cheap anyway. Yeah, for sure. Throw an ult at low drop rates is how I've gotten every dungeon remount. Yeah, that's that's literally how to get them. If you can only do one attempt per week, get more ults. Just throw characters at it until it until it drops. That's how I've gotten all my mounts too. Like, it just makes it faster. It's it's a numbers game. If it's a one in one hundred drop chance and you go one tune, it's going to take you two years to get to hundred attempts. If you've got 50 characters, it'll take you two weeks to get to 100 attempts. If you want it, <laughs> like, come on, you know, come on. <clears throat> but it does involve leveling a shitload of tunes, and I know that not everyone wants or has the patience to do that, so I get it. But it's definitely the most efficient way to get shit done.
I was curious, so I went looking to see if my mage's profile was still there. I logged in to play again in January 2020. It seems like my old guild hasn't booted him out yet. Um, if you haven't logged in, then it won't show the change of guild. It has to lo you have to log in and then log out for it to push the update to the API. So if you haven't logged in in that long, they might have booted the tune, but it just doesn't show because the API hasn't been updated yet. Okay, back in BC3 Cutter. Mm, have you got Black Hands Hammer? I'm trying to get that for a while. Only have three tunes though. Black Hands Hammer. Is that a transmog? Super shows in there, probably put a tear to my eye. Um, I won't be able to check on a warlock because I must do, because it's not listed here. Unless it's not in her mythic mode. Like, I, I don't really know what you're talking about. I need more information. Um. But yeah, there's no, no hammer in mythic. No hammer in heroic. No hammer and normal. Man, there is one in LFR, so I'm guessing that's the one you're talking about. I don't have the LFR one, but I have all the others. Yeah, I need a bit more information usually to figure that kind of shit out. Um. Oh, another raid. Jesus Christ. You guys are hungry for coins today, aren't you? That's not right, they're crossed. Silly thing. <laughs> All right, let's party. Oh, that was a bang on 10 minutes as well. Shit, making good time. I think I might have another 50 on Horde, maybe. No. This looks like it might be my last Horde 50. Everything else is 49 and below. Because this is all just hours, 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 rather than like days. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, excuse me. So it looks like I'll be switching to Alliance. Okay, that, the achievement, and the purple scared the ever-loving shit out of me. But that's oh, the fine. alliance! It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, back to the garrison. <laughs> so to play WoW again. Stopped a few months after Shadowlands release. I love the changes since then. No tall gas cap, removing more restrictions. Finally mending in the more Core 3 is also really cool. I'm so glad you're enjoying it, Fight. That's really good to hear. There's nothing worse than jumping into something and then just finding that it's not your cup of tea. So I'm very, very glad to hear you're enjoying it. That's wonderful news. Uh, yep, cool. Confirmed. No more 50s on Horde. Let's hop to Alliance. Well done, Zam. Look at you and your coin. Took a four month break, came back a week ago, changes in 915, a really good quality of life. I agree. I agree. I have enjoyed the changes as well. I'm I'm a little afraid like how much it's gonna hurt my wallet when I go and upgrade all my heirlooms to level 60, but that's not gonna happen for a while. I still have plenty of 50s to go. <laughs> 
We will get there. We will get there. the next update in which you can wear two legendaries right but the second has to be the covenant one i think so i haven't really paid any attention to 9.2 um i just not nah. like every time i go to look at something about a new patch maybe there might be useful mechanic information like that but there's also fucking storyline spoilers and that makes me so angry i'm just no wrong bad fuck off you know so yeah i'm um mm. i i tend to avoid new patch information just because of that um, but yeah, I, I do not like spoilers. I, um, part, one of the big features of the stream, uh, when there's a new patch particularly, is that I jump on and I go and explore the new realm, like the new zone or whatever, and I go through and I play the storyline quests and I read, I read through the storyline. So, and it, I find that that really helps, um, firstly, people who are under a lot of pressure from their guilds or their gaming groups to get through it super fucking fast, to get the power-ups and go, 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 go. Um, which I think is silly, but to each their own. Um, so that way, if I go through and read through stuff, then you guys can kind of like experience the story vicariously through me, if that makes sense. So you can speed through it and ignore it and then come to stream or watch the VOD to catch the storyline you might've missed. Um, because I have no rush to get anywhere. I don't care. <laughs> I will go through it at my own fucking pace. Um, and I, and part of it is those genuine reactions. Like, the genuine reactions of like, oh my god, holy shit, this is bonkers. And and when it pulls at your heartstrings or when, when a character dies or something and you're like, oh no, and you cry and all that kind of like, all that kind of stuff. I love being able to give my honest to God genuine reactions as it happens on stream. And if I already know what's going to happen because I've had storyline spoilers, well, that, that's fucked, isn't it? It's gone. Those reactions are no longer genuine. Um, so yeah, I do my best to avoid as much as possible. I do have, there are, there are two channels in my Discord server. One of them is for spoilers and one of them is for story spoilers. So if you are someone who re who does want to, like who reads the story before it's re released and stuff like that, um, story spoilers is where you can go to talk, to talk to other people in the community who also like to read things before they released and talk about that, like really get it off your chest and have those really in-depth conversations about the story and all that kind of shit. And then there's spoilers, which are for mechanical kind of conversations. So, um, just because there are some people, I know there's not many, but there are some people in the community who prefer to literally avoid everything. They'll have no idea about legendaries, no idea about the raid, no idea about anything. So that's where like mechanical discussions about future content can go in the spoilers channel. And then storyline stuff um, can go in like story spoilers. Yeah. Um, so I do have spaces and I have both of those channels. Well, no, I have story spoilers muted. So I don't see anything that goes on in there because, yeah, I do have mods in there. There are moderators in there before you go trying to be a fuckwit. Um, but uh, I'm not in there because I don't want to know. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's my whole kind of thing. Um, no change from 300k? Huh? What happened, Lissity? Uh, Fear even does the voices of other characters. Not really. Do I? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I finished the quest with Toronto yesterday. It's awesome. Now two more Ardenwield Covenant quest lines. Yeah, Ardenwield was amazing. Like the whole the whole thing with Ardenwield was really, really great. I enjoyed I enjoyed the Night Fae campaign a lot. Uh, for all the alien upgrades. Ah! Ah, 300k. Yeah. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. They're not supposed to be like they're not supposed to be inconsequential pur purchases. Like they make such a huge difference. They are meant to be a gold sink. They've always been a gold sink. It's just that we have so much more gold now than we used to have. I am totally fine with that being a thing. Um, I got the bear men for all classes. What is this preparing for battle time at? That is uh, stream readers. You can type exclamation battle and uh, you can use time warp badges. I'm aware. I don't want to. I have other shit to spend my time warp badges on. In fact, I have 49,000 something, something, something uh, badges worth of shit to buy with time warp badges across all my tunes. So I'm not spending that on um, on upgrades. Absolutely not. 
Um, uh, yeah, so 300k is not much to me, personally. Um, I've got 700 and something k on Alliance and a couple million on Horde, so 300k is fine. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Um, yes, so, what was I saying? Yes, exclamation battle, follow the link, log in with your Twitch account, and then you can drag and drop your units onto the battlefield, and then at the end of the timer, the battle happens. And all of the units that we've, con like, all of us as a community have placed, battle it out with the enemies, and we hopefully win. Uh, we get scrolls and gold to level up our units so that they do more shit on the battlefield and are stronger and can defeat more strong, like, more powerful enemies and stuff like that. It's good fun. It's just a little side fun thing. You can place a new unit every five minutes as well. Um, if you've got sound on in your tabs on your browser, it should make a little ping kind of noise when you can place another unit. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, um, the... Where's my currency spreadsheet? Time warped badge. I have... Uh, 48,455 badges worth of shit to buy. Um, however, that does include the uh, upgrades. So if I move these out of the way, maybe that'll give me a more accurate number. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so if I do that, that's down to 38,005. So there's two mounts. Um, there's a, I don't know what that is. There's, that's a pet. I think that's a pet. That's a toy. That's a toy. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's a recipe. That's a schematic. There's a bunch of patterns. That's a toy. That's a toy. I think that's transmog. And so's that. I think that's a toy. There's just a whole bunch of shit that I've still got to buy. Um, so there's no way in fuck I'm going to be spending time warp badges on anything other than those transmog toys, pets, mounts, etc. Until they're all purchased. Because why would I? I can buy the other shit with gold. Why would I? Same thing with rep tokens. No. I can go earn the rep. I don't need tokens. Once I have all these badges and nothing to do with them, sure, absolutely. Not until then. Not until then. Hmm. Yeah. I, um... I'm really good at prioritizing shit. Following that priority, not so good, especially when it comes to day-to-day -day tasks. Um, <laughs> but like, I, I'm really good at sort of figuring out where my efforts should go. Um, yeah, but I do have a crap load of badges across all my fucking tunes, just because of um, different bits and pieces. I also have a time walking stream coming up on the 21st of Jan. It's Wrath Week, um, and I'm not gonna do a bunch of time walking on fear. I'm going to go through and do one dungeon on as many characters as I can to try to get that 500 bonus uh, and see what I can buy. See if I can cross a bunch of this shit off my list. That'd feel real good. Really, really good. Because um, I have... This is, just, this is just on Alliance. So I've got 8,950 just on Alliance um, because my add-on doesn't let you check cross-faction. Um... But yeah, you can see, um, like if I, this is my time warped badge list of shit I need, right? So if I minimize, that's the ancient heirloom. That's another upgrade thing. That's an upgrade thing. That's an upgrade thing. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. So that's everything I need from badges. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, being able to go through there and, and buy a few things would be real nice, but we'll see how we go. Uh, well, I pretty much collect is mount. I have a lot of spare badges from infinite mount farming. Of course, I can imagine. I got my I got my infinite time reaver. Um, while, I'm pretty sure it was while I was leveling characters actually, using time walking to level. Um, <laughs> so that's a thing. But um, yeah. Oh. Okay, of gold. Um, but yeah, I, I used to, I'm the same. I used to just collect mounts um, and pets to an extent as well. 
Um, I, I collected pets to the point that I could do all the battles and then I kind of just forgot about it. Uh, <laughs> but since downloading and installing uh, all the things, my priorities have shifted somewhat. Yes. Um, so that'll be that'll be a really interesting stream, that just seeing how many things I can cross off that list. <clears throat> Convinced the Time Reaver doesn't exist. I can confirm it does, because I've got it. I can confirm that it does. Ah, shit. Add ons. Oops. Ah, I got mine and a friend messaging me. I need one more time walking. Can you dank it for me? I was about to go to bed. That's amazing. That's amazing. I have to say, there is so much to do. Too much. Ardenwill dailies, more dailies, Corthia dailies, Covenant main quest, PvP weeklies, dungeons. If you have time after that, you can go for mount farming, legendary upgrading, professions, mythic plus. I need more time for all of that. Agreed. Agreed, fight. I 100% agree. There is so much to do in the game. It really is a matter of choosing, picking and choosing what parts of the game that you enjoy. It really is. Um, can confirm. As someone who plays a fuckload of WoW, uh, it, yeah, there is a lot to do. You really do have to kind of figure out what your priorities are and kind of go for them. People complain there's nothing to do. They do, but they're also right. The tricky thing is that not everyone enjoys every aspect of the game. Some people only like Mythic Plus. And so when you're bashing your head against the same eight dungeons over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again, it gets boring as shit. Once you've got your best in slot and you've got your KSM and you've got your one after KSM, whatever the fuck that's called, like, what mu there's not much else to do and so they just kind of stop until the next patch comes out and then there's new you know, you know new rankings to get new achievements to earn and stuff like that um it, there's too much to do for those of us who love every aspect of the game the collecting the the dungeoning the gearing up the leveling tunes the the you know all that like everything literally all the things uh that's when it gets sticky because we have too much to do but they don't have enough to do and blizzard has to find a balance between that they need to figure out what is the right amount of content between people who want to do every part of every piece of content and the people who literally want to focus on one aspect of the game. Yeah, it's, uh, I do not envy them. <laughs> I do not envy them. Mm, there's a kiss curse of getting the mounts though, because it's one less thing to do. I'm fine with that. I have 629 mounts. I have 209 to go. I'm happy when I get another one. Because there's always another one to farm. And I genuinely do not believe that I'm ever going to get all of them. I, I think that fuck, I'm going to have one left on the list or something and it'll be the day before the next patch and they'll add another 80. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I do not think that I'll ever get all of them. But I'm going to try. But I'm going to try. It will certainly be a weird feeling when the Char mount drops and I don't have to ever farm Char again. I mean... Of course, there's still transmog that'll drop from the bastard, but, like, you know what I mean? That'll be weird. That'll be really weird. Actually avoid Mythic Plus and rating? Totally fair. Totally fair. Kind of happy about 915 conquest changes. I can just level alts and spam Q arenas, send over conquest my alts for fast gearing. Nice. That's awesome. I'm glad the change works for you. That's great news. Uh, I legit just push 2.4k, then start gearing on a different alt. Amazing. That's so good. Another 80 Shah level of acquisition mounts. Mm. I don't think, we were having this conversation earlier actually. Do I think that they'll ever put in another mount with the same drop chance as the, the mop bosses, the one in 2000? And I don't think that they will. There was Heartbreaker, which is one in 3333, which was implemented in, I believe it's BC, it could be Wrath. Um, and then there were the panda bosses that all have a 1 in 2,000 drop chance. But they haven't had another mount be that rare since Pandaland. They had um, Rukmar in Wad is 500, 1 in 500, but never anywhere close to 2k again. 
I don't think they will. Because it's just a touch too punishing. They're, like... I, I would imagine that their data is showing that not enough of the player base is actually giving a shit um, to go back and actually farm it. So they're like, nah, but bug it. Like, we, we, I think one in a hundred is a good one, or one in like one in two hundred isn't bad either. Um, but yeah, I don't think that they're gonna go for a one in two k again. Like, look at look at nine point one. They introduced what was it, eighty three new mounts, and I'm pretty sure all of them were like one in a hundred ish, or, or close enough. Um, but that's still, that's, that's still, you know, just because it's one in a hundred doesn't mean it's going to take you under a hundred to get it. <laughs> we'll see. Oh. Battle time. Uh, I sadly find just uh, just find raiding and Mythic Plus too stressful. Love watching my guild raid streams though. That's awesome though. Like it, it, not every not all the content is for everyone, and that's okay. You don't have to enjoy it. I, I have a lot of people in the community who do find it too stressful, and they've watched because I've done raids and I've done Mythic Plus on stream, and they've watched and they're like, yes, I like living through, like I like doing it through you kind of thing, and I'm totally fine with that. Um, but yeah, it, it, I can absolutely understand how it would be stressful. Totally. Mystic Story, it's called The Black Hand and drops from Black Hand and BRF. Um, I didn't see that on any of my lists when I was doing account mode, so I would assume that means that I have it. But I don't know, not too sure. I think Molly showed they're moving away from the 2k boss attempts. I reckon so. I reckon so. I do have Molly. That was a fun one to get. I enjoyed that. on the Raven Lord Mount I've passed the 1 out of 67 chance already yeah uh, I didn't actually know that there was a mount from that one when I got it I went in there with a druid friend of mine um, back in Burning Crusade we we're doing the thing and I'm like oh cool bonus boss killed it oh what's this oh that's a mount uh, my druid friend was unhappy with me to put it lightly. Uh, Draz, Heiko, Miko, Dono, Sika, Zam and Zombie congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Molly took me frustratingly long. I don't remember how many attempts it took me, but um, it was it was a concerted effort. It was absolutely concerted effort. Um, and taking like all of my tunes um, across to, to the place and smacking it and um, yeah, it was a whole thing. But it dropped and that's what matters. That's what matters. Is. Excuse me. Wrong one. That one. First one through to get me a picture and flying didn't know it was guaranteed. Yeah, it wasn't a guaranteed drop. Yes. Ah, uh, I remember that being popular back in my day. Should I had a druid then? Fear is just rubbing it in now as well. No. No. But yeah, it was uh Yeah, look. <clears throat> Everyone has different luck with different mounts, so 
That's that's the way it is. Uh, I can't remember how many either. It was all my tunes for several resets. A lot of my friends took one to two tunes and took them two to three weeks. Yeah. Yep. Everyone has different luck. Hey, SSG. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a lovely day. Fun fact, if you tell Siri Lumos from Harry Potter, the flash turns on. Interesting. Did I know that? I feel like I may have been told that before, but I didn't remember it because my brain is a colander and I do not retain information at all, ever. So thank you for reminding me. That's very funky. Very funky. Ah, oh, dearie me. Come on, Shah. What are we at? Eight minutes, nine minutes to go. So we're in the spawn window. We're just waiting for him to wake the fuck up. Really very well then. <laughs> good. <laughs> good. I mean, probably not good, but also good. Yeah, no, it's a... Uh, it's a, it's a popular, yeah, fear has a colander brain. It's a thing. Wait, where is it this one? It is this one. That's a four, so it goes there. Be the three. It's a four. Three, and there's a two. This one? No. It's there. This one. A. Tried to get the Sundance amount yesterday. I can say I lost 5k, no mount, but I got anima. Brilliant. I got the Sundance amount the first time I did the whole thing, which was nice. Um. I don't remember. I know, I know it's not a guaranteed drop, but I think it might have been if you're the one doing it or something. I don't remember. There was there was some kind of catch that if you were the one doing it, it was a higher drop chance or something. I can't remember exactly. Uh, that also could be bullshit. I don't recall. Um, but I was the one who did it with our group. I did the Trixie thing and it got, and yeah, it dropped. First go. I was very happy with that. Um, quite thankful. It was fun too. I enjoyed that. Uh, so of course I immediately did this good. <laughs> Poor Shah is tired of endlessly being killed. Shah has been endlessly killed since fucking mob. Shah will survive. Well, Shah will respawn and it will be fine. <laughs> uh, there is the rumor you get a five minute buff. If you kill it within five minutes, it's 100%. My fight did take nine minutes solo tank. Ah, okay. Interesting. Um, I It was a group of three of us. Um, but I don't think it took five minutes because I had to wait around because I think one of them was in the wrong spot. And so we had to like wait around for them to actually get to where they were supposed to be so that we could kill it. So I don't think it took, I think it was longer than five minutes, but I could be wrong. Um, I don't recall. It was a little while ago. Uh, and a good yourself. Good luck on your efforts. Thank you, Kaz. Enjoy your stuff. I hope it goes smoothly and quickly and easily for you.
Is that a two or is that a three? It's a three. Are there any twos on the outside edge? That of this looks like a two. Yeah, it's a two. Awesome. That's a four, so I need to grab the other one. What's this one? And that goes into this one. Which goes to this one. And that's our second two. Yay! That's a four. So that'll mean that's our two. That's a four. Sorry, a three. That's a four, so that'll be a three. That's a four. This is going to be a rough one to find. Oh shit, okay, it's all the way across the other side. Um, how's this one looking? Good. A four? That's a four. Wait, is that also a four? <laughs> shit. So that's the wrong three. This will be the right one. Oh, and it's a two. Threes. Yeah, that's an internal one. This one maybe? Yes. And that's a four, so it would mean that this one. Yep. That's a four, so it would be this one. Out of ring complete. Wonderful. Mm, what is this toy? Exclamation toy. <laughs> and how do I, how doth I acquire? Like that. <laughs> I used to use this all the time when I was like, I did Shah Farm like every week for a long time. Uh, and this is what I used to do constantly while I was waiting. So, um, th that's why there's a command for it. It's super handy. There's an achievement for getting to a certain level um, and then just nothing beyond that. It starts off pretty simple, uh, but it gets fairly complex reasonably quickly. Nope. Ah, there you go. I got the achievement. What level am I on? 20. Yeah, so that's level 20. You have to get to level 20 to get the achievement. Oh, it was me who got the swing. I thought it was somebody else. That was me. Good. Ah, uh, do you have that achievement? Yes. <laughs> yes. You have to get to that level. You don't even have to solve it. You just have to get to it. Advertising the achievement? Yeah, right? It's, uh, it's this one. Where we go? Wait, I'll show you what it looks like at the start on the next tune. Right, now that I remember, let's just turn them all on. I 
have like a I'm gonna you me say properly broken nail on the side there. It's like proper, like proper broken. But I can't fix it without like decimating the shape of my nails. So it's like and it keeps catching on things. I keep getting like hair threaded through the split and stuff. I think I'm just gonna have to like chop it off which is really unfortunate I could get a fake nail and like cut the whole thing off and then do that but I don't really want to I might make it like a teeny tiny little baby stabby and just laugh at it compared like comparing it to all of its sisters but that's fine not that I know right I know it's so bad I think I ripped it like opening a door or something my, my nails are stupid weak like they're just ridiculously weak um but yeah kind of sucks but I need to redo them on Thursday they're all stained they were not nearly this pink when I first did them but then I dyed my hair <laughs> and the the dye um, when I washed it out stained my nails it does that or well, stained the polish anyway um that's okay <clears throat> so the toy What, eight minutes, let's see how far we can get. Or oh, eight minutes till the spawn window starts. So this is what it starts with. Nice and simple. Uncross them. And then once it starts doing this, you just kind of connect them. So this one needs to be next to it, so we move it to there. This one needs to be next to it, so we move it to there. Yeah, you just kind of keep doing that and crossing them. And once it gets a little more complicated, it's a little more fun. So the twos have to go in the corners because they only have like one and two. And then when you have your four, which is, I think, where's my four? Oh, the four's already in the middle, right. Um, because it, that's the only one that can connect all of them. And then you just kind of start lining them up. So three goes there. What's those ones? Watching you use it all night started to get FOMO. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a great little toy and it's so good for like just consuming time while you're waiting for shit to spawn. If you're like, I mean, if I was doing this off stream, I would absolutely be doing fucking housework or something while I'm waiting for the alarm to go off from all boss timers. But um, because I'm on stream, I cannot. Uh, I think next time I do something like this, I might bring some uh, some crafty shit. But then you're going to want to see what I'm doing. <sighs> Maybe I should work on my cross stitch next time I do a shell stream. But then I'll need like a, a cross stitch cam as well. And I'm not sure how that'll look. We'll figure it out. Maybe. Maybe. Work on something productive. Can confirm, did housework or waiting for shot? Yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Or I'd be like scheduling Instagram posts and shit like that because I've got, um, everything is scheduled for the entirety of January except Instagram. Instagram I've only got done until the 7th because it's the last thing I do because it's like the most involved. <laughs> and um, and I got, I got a chunk of it done, but there was, a, I was doing scheduling on Jan 1st and I got, five hours of scheduling done and I'm like I need a brain break um and then I've slept most of January 2nd and 3rd because my brain is broken but I've got work tomorrow I go back to my day job tomorrow so um yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh partner crochets were playing around I'm like how do you do such magics oh that's so sweet um like this that's crochet <laughs> um, yeah, I crochet, I knit, I cross stitch. Um, I can also do some limited beading, like beadwork and stuff. I like, I like pretty things. I like shinies. I essentially have the brain of a crow. Um, <laughs> I like shinies. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I've got so many craft projects on the go and I have so much crafty shit. Like I have so much craft related stuff. I just, I need to, 
I need to either use it or lose it, you know? Like, I need to use the shit and get it out of my house. Or, um, or, or just get rid of it and, and, like, sell it or give it away or whatever. I'm, I'm considering, uh, like, stuff that I know I won't use, bundling it up and posting in Discord and being, like, free to a good home who is willing to pay shipping. Um, <laughs> you know? Like, I'm just... I have so much stuff and I, I do not have time to do all of this crafting. I need, I need to bite the bullet and let it go. I need to let it go. Um, uh, I just play another game on my main monitor when I'm doing my weekly Indesta runs. I love that EXO. That's awesome. I have too much other shit on the go. Like I, I need to get other shit done to be able to just play two games at once. Like I have too much other stuff to do. Like I fucking, I have, I run a business. Like I need to get, I need to actually do business stuff. Uh, what's my day job? I am an assistant accountant. Which probably explains all of the fucking spreadsheets. Yeah, I do, I do money. I do money. That's fucking gorgeous. What, the murloc? Ah, uh, she sings like that. But of our three cats instead of murlocs, that's adorable. That's so cute! Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. Um, fear is a witch. It is known. Not yet. Not without my tarot deck. Not a witch until I get my tarot deck. I went a bit all over the place with this one. Didn't really have any sense of order to it at all, but it got done. And we done gone wasted for your luck earlier. Um, thought the apartment, uh, the agreement was vampire. I mean, can a vampire also be a witch? Is there a rule against that? So we get real life bonus shit? Possibly. Possibly, but I, I wouldn't, the only issue is I probably wouldn't be able to afford the shipping. So that I would need people to be okay with paying for shipping. But I, th I feel like that's, I feel like that's reasonable. If you're getting something for free and you're just paying delivery, like, I know that usually that's a scam. Usually if you're buying stuff off the internet and it's, it's just, you know, free object pay shipping, then it's a scam. But it's not, it's just that it's secondhand and it's mine. And it, now it's yours and you're paying for shipping. Like, <laughs> you, like, yeah, it's, um, it's a whole thing. But we'll see. I still need to actually clean out my shit and see if I do have anything that's worth sending to someone because if it's like if it's trash and it's old and it's degraded and all that kind of then i'm not gonna get you to pay for fucking shit no like absolutely not that's just not worth it i'll just toss it if it's not you know um the whole thing with like konmari because i like i've read the magic of tidying up and all that kind of stuff and i'm trying my best to find some time to sit down and proper declutter um, it's, it's proving to be exceptionally difficult because I seem to have competing priorities. Um, but one of the things that I, I think I got it from there or I got it from some blog that was based on Comaris. I don't know exactly. I can't remember, but it was, um, if you are not willing, like if, if someone offers you, if someone's doing their own, like they're cleaning out their home and they offer you, so it's like, oh, I'm going to get rid of this. Would you like it? And you're considering taking it think to yourself, would I pay for this? Would I pay for this? And if I wouldn't, then I shouldn't take it. 
So that's kind of, I feel like if I'm going through my stuff and I'm like, would I, would I expect someone to pay for this? Would there be would there be a re would it be a reasonable expectation for somebody to pay actual money for this? If the answer is no because it's old and shit, then I'm gonna get rid of it because no one should have that in their home, including me. You know. Um, but yeah, it's fuck. It's hard. I'm not a hoarder. I'm not a hoarder, but I do form stupid, um, like non non, not good. Uh, like sentimental connections with stuff for no fucking reason like there there is no like this this should not be a sentimental thing and a sentimental object to me but it reminds me of that one time I wanted to do this one thing and blah blah it's just stupid it's silly um so I end up keeping shit that I, I really shouldn't there's there's no place for it in my life anymore I shouldn't hold on to it but I do so that's what I'm trying to kind of get through and be like no you silly woman, you don't need this. <laughs> you don't need this, get rid of it. But I have stuff, like I've got a um, an embossing, a heat gun uh, for, for embossing, and I have a bunch of stamps, and I have a bunch of powders for embossing. So embossing is um, like, you know, if you get like a greeting card, and there's a, um, like a raised shiny thing on it, that's embossing. Um, and so I have all these cards that I, that I um, bought, they're all plain, because I never got around to doing it, did I? Um, but and I have a heat gun, with which one can emboss. And so I have, I have this. The idea is that you stamp in a clear stamp pad, and then you stamp it on an object. It's like a sticky ink, and you pour this powder over it, and then you tap off the excess, and then you use the heat gun to melt the powder, and it forms this beautiful image on on the card. It's gorgeous. I fucking loved it. It was great, and I made a ton of of like greeting cards and stuff that I gave to people, and and I sold a bunch and all this kind of stuff. Um, but like I like I haven't done it in many moons, and the ink pad is fucked. It's totally degraded. The ink hasn't dried out, but the the ink pad has like started to crumble. So anytime you stamp, you just get a clump of fucking ink pad stuck to the stamp so I have everything that you need except for the ink but like I don't need it I don't need that I don't send fucking gift cards to I don't I don't send greeting cards to people and if I do it's like a one-off and I'll go and fucking buy one <laughs> like it's a lot cheaper for me personally with the amount of cards that I send for me to just do it that way so yeah it's it was all a little bit silly what have I done wrong it's this one. There we go. So yeah, like I, I would package all of that together and say, here's a kit for embossing, supply, you know, get your own ink and everything else is included. Cool, you know, and so if someone's into that, they could maybe pay for shipping and I'll just give them the lot. Um, but I don't know. I have to, I want to go through everything and kind of make sure, because the last thing I want to do is someone to go, oh, I really like that. I'll pay for shipping on that. And then I'll send it to them. And then I'll have another batch of shit that I want to send, like that I want to get rid of. And they go, oh, actually I like that as well, but I've already paid for shipping for this. I should have put them all together in one package. And then, you know, but it... <sighs> I'm just such a goddamn mess. <laughs> I'm such... A goddamn trash heap. I just. I just. Um, oh, this must be level 20. <laughs> uh, where are we going? Okay, um, get rid of bonus ship. She is a Vemich. I don't think I like that. Sounds too close to bitch. Uh, <laughs> which, I mean, you know. Uh, 5 a.m. stuff me. Ah, oh, well done, Crazy. Enjoy. Have fun. Rest well. I know I've probably missed you at this point because I'm like 10 minutes behind on chat, but that's fine. I hope you have a wonderful rest. Uh, the Melaka, she is a member of the Tremere clan from Vampire the Masquerade. Am I? What? <laughs> what? It's gonna be my last shower time. I'm back at work tomorrow morning. Yeah, I, I am too. Look, we'll, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Um, last week, consistent 100 plus viewer numbers. Not sure, actually. Let me have a... Let me have a squiz. I can tell you what my numbers have been after I do this and... 
I got a box! It's full of gold! Yay! It's exactly what I wanted. Um, right. So we're talking about like... Uh, so what is it Monday? So last Monday was 117. Wednesday was 66. What did we do on Wednesday? Oh, it was toys. Yeah, no one gave a shit about toys. Wednesday was 66. Uh, Friday was 95. And then Saturday was 115. But that's because of the timing. It doesn't show my time zone on here. It's weird. It counts like... Because we went over midnight. It does show my time zone. I'm wrong. It's because we went over midnight. So it cut it into two chunks. Um, actually, can I see the overall... I should be able to see the overall stream summary for that whole stream. Friday till 12.34. Yeah, so overall it was 96. Overall was 96. Um, but it was split into two things, so 95 and then and then 115 for Saturday. And then Sunday was 95. Um, and today so far is 105. So that's pretty good. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well. I'm, I'm finding my groove. So um, one of the things with like making partner and stuff as you get really close the hype builds and people want to be there for the moment you announce that you're that you've made partner and all that kind of, like it's it's this this hype that builds and then for a few weeks afterwards it's like oh my god congratulations all this kind of shit and then it drops in the ass like it falls off completely because people are like okay the party's over um on to the next one kind of thing they're, they're looking for that hype um and so it definitely did that. And especially once I started experimenting with different games and stuff like that, my numbers tanked, absolutely tanked. Um, and that's fine because I was experimenting. That was the whole thing. Uh, and now that I've kind of lent in to the collectibles, like really lent in, Mount Farm Monday and ATT on Sundays are a huge draw, which is un like, that's that kind of surprised me to be honest. Um, that kind of stuff is becoming like, those are my big numbers. It's big numbers. So, um, I am anticipating that where February is going to be a, f a bit fucked. <laughs> I'm I'm anticipating that February is going to be just absolutely batshit, especially considering like usually it's kind of dangerous to to do a stint of streaming every day, especially like introducing new times into your into your channel um because people won't be aware that it's happening and they won't turn up and all this kind of stuff. Um you guys are going to be fucking aware cuz I'm going to tell you uh but it's like it's going to be pretty fucking hectic because people want to be there for the moment. They want to be there when it happens, which is why Shara is quite popular because holy shit, that's a huge moment and I want to be there to see it live. Because a clip is sure, whatever, but want to see the moment of it happening and have that live reaction and be able to spam shit in chat and all this kind of stuff. Um, so emote wall, you know, I've got my emote wall when I'm on the cap, like the full screen camera. Uh, we're gonna have an emote wall <laughs> um, very, very soon so that when people spam their hype emotes, they'll explode all over the screen. Cause I don't have a chat window on my stream um, for a few reasons. But um, so you can't, like when I'm sitting here going, oh my God, oh my God. And chat's going fucking ballistic. You can't tell just by looking at the clip that chat's going ballistic. But if I have that emote wall and everyone's spamming it and there's emotes flying everywhere, then you can tell that it's going crazy, right? So that's kind of, that's, yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. But, um, huh. Yeah, we've been going all right. We've been going all right. I've, I've found what seems to work for my channel and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to lean into that and just see how we go. But I do still want to have a little bit of variety. I don't, I don't necessarily want to be 100% wow all the time again. Um, but it's not going to be super fucking common, I don't think, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, uh, pretty good. Yeah, it is. It's Yeah, it is good, though. I am, I'm enjoying the numbers. Spent an extra 40 bucks at Bubble Tea to avoid the $9 shipping. Look, I know the feeling, Candy. I do this all the time. I do this all the time. Did you use the code to get the discount? Landa, Exo, Ali, Zombie, Miko, and Spam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Ah, uh, but as soon as you get rid of it, I have an idea to use it. Yeah, I know, right? It is it is the way, it is the way. Shiny's actually discovered you after partner, I think was looking for a collector streamer. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, um. I've had a lot of new people since 
Becoming Partnered, which is kind of awesome. Um, I've had a lot of people leave since Becoming Partnered, and that's that's understandable as well. There is there is a bit of a culture among some viewers where um, they want specifically people who are not partnered. They want small streamers, and I'm I'm not exactly a small streamer anymore. Um, I'm not an enormous streamer. I'm not sitting here with a hundred thousand concurrent or anything like that. But I'm not I'm not low double digits anymore. And I haven't been for for a while now. It's been it's been about a year since I was, or maybe even longer than a year, maybe like 14, 16 months since I was in the in the teens and twenties. Um, so I'm I'm not a small streamer anymore, and uh, I I like the fact that I've kind of retained that person on person, like the communication, the conversational aspect of a smaller streamer, because that's such a big part of why I love to stream is the conversations I get to have with you guys. Um, I've, so I've managed to maintain that, but when people see triple digits, they don't think you'll be able to, like, they don't necessarily think, oh yeah, I, I'll be able to have a conversation with her. It'll be, now nah, I'll get lost in the, I'll get lost in it. So I, I'll lose those kind of, like, I'll lose those kind of clicks. They, they just won't bother coming in, but that's okay. That's their loss. That's all right. Um, we're, we are who we are. And, um, I know there are a lot of people who like, I, like massive amounts of my viewers are lurkers. A large percentage of my viewership is lurkers, and that's why I'm able to maintain this conversational tone with everyone. Because I, even though I'm like ten minutes behind on chat, um, I'm able to have these conversations because even though we're sitting at uh, 126 on my screen at the moment, um, so like how many active viewers have we got? Like seven, and that's great because it means I can communicate with. Wow, oh, the sun. Went. I can actually have these conversations. Um, holy, thank you so much for the resub. 33 months, mother of Christ. Holy shit, thank you for your ongoing support and generosity. You're so sweet. I hope you're doing well. Hope all is well, very well, thank you. I hope you can say the same. And thank you very much for the well wishes as well. Um, but yeah, so the, the fact that I can maintain this conversation is a big part of stream and it's chill. It's chill, it's chatty um, and from what I've been told, that makes for really good background noise. And so that's what I'm here for. And I had a suggestion, a couple of suggestions that were about the same thing towards the end of last year, about how people actually do watch videos that are six hours long on YouTube. So last night after stream, I recorded a short intro and I downloaded my VOD. And I'm going to stitch the intro on the front and I'm going to stick it on YouTube and we're going to see how it goes. And I'm going to do the same thing tonight. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use my same YouTube channel as before and just hide all of my beauty related, my makeup stuff, or if I'm going to do an entirely new channel. Um, I think I might do an entirely new channel because the old channel is linked to my personal email address, whereas my, I can make one now with my business email address um, and just start completely fresh. I think that might be... The best way to do it but yeah so my, my thinking is i'm just gonna upload all my vods they might do like shit they might do nothing it might be crap and that's fine no big loss because it doesn't take me too long to to stitch two videos together and then um just kind of upload them so but we'll see we'll see um hello vera i hope you're doing well uh, of course yep i hate paying shipping when i can like buy something else and have a physical thing rather than paying for shipping yes Absolutely. Fiend for the discount code. Fuck yeah. 5% off, baby. I'm one of the guilty lurkers. Don't, not guilty. Not guilty at all, EXO. One of the things that I continuously say here is that we love our lurkers. It is my lurkers that got me to partner. If I had no lurkers and it was just the people chatting, we would be a, like, a 20 concurrent viewer channel. But because we have lurkers, what is my, my current 30 day rolling is 70. My last 70, my, my last 30 days is an average of 70, and that is entirely because of lurkers. Uh, so we love our lurkers. Um, conversational aspect has been awesome here as a review. I guess of my first night here, like I'm pretty sure you've read everything here after a 10 minute round on something. Yep, yep, that's what I do. Pisses people off. They come in and go, hi, hi, hi. Why isn't she talking to me? And then they leave. <laughs> and I'm like, bye. <laughs> you got to have a bit of patience to, to deal with fear streams. But, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm always behind. 
usually always behind on chat. Um, but I do. I read literally everything. Even if I kind of like, just trying to catch up, I read everything. I don't necessarily read it aloud. Um, and I tr and if, I, if I'm trying to catch up, like if I know I'm behind, I'm trying to catch up, I might not respond directly to every line, especially if I'm like, oh, they were talking to Seeker. I'm just going to ignore that bit and go to the next one kind of thing. Like, excuse me. So I won't respond to literally everything, but I read everything, every line, all of it. Um, you're asleep. Brilliant. Me too. <laughs> what was the makeup tonight and who guessed it? It was, uh, Drake of the East oh, Wind the and it was guessed by Zam. What was that? Laza with the resub! 12 months. Holy shit. A whole year. Enjoy your new sub badge. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. I hope you're having a lovely day. A lovely day. Posture check. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Ugh. Um. I found you initially through your beauty content. Oh, no way. Seriously? I think you might be the only person who has ever said that. Oh, we have 30 seconds left to trigger a hype train. Oh, that's cool. Um, to be honest, I used to mod WoW streams in the past, so do you know how hard it is for streamers to keep up with chat? Oh, not just WoW streams. Like, literally any stream. Once you've got a decent number of people chatting, it's hard. Ah! <gasps> oh, my God. Ali! Thank you for the cheer. Hype train incoming, mother of God. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Lurkers unite, indeed, Ray, indeed. And not to like, if you are lurking and you wish to stay lurking, that is totally okay. Please feel comfortable in your lurk. I appreciate you. <laughs> I missed my posture check two hours ago. Oh, did I? Jesus, I'm so sorry. Oh God. Um, back at work tonight, only got in about 15 minutes ago. Oh, apathy, welcome home. Hope you're doing well. Hope work treated you kindly. Choo choo, motherfuckers! And it's 69% of level one, because of course it is. That's beautiful. I love that. Well done. <laughs> well done. Oh my god. Thank you so much for the hype train, you guys. It's so generous of you. Oh my goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. So busy. Why do people love Maccas? Because it's cheap. Well, it's not even that cheap anymore. It just scratches that itch, doesn't it? Oh, Matterhorn with the resub. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. Much appreciated. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Nostalgia also. Yeah, where's the beef? So for those of you who are new here, um, when we had the uh, Clash of the Creator, which has been nearly a year. What the fuck? Clash of the Creator um, was a Logitech and Blue Microphones competition. And we got top five. And I said that if we got top five, I'd do a Macca stream. And um, so we did. Jazz picked up some McDonald's on his way home from work. And I cracked open my barbecue bacon, barbecue bacon Angus beef burger. Because uh, I, I bit into it. And I'm like, wait, something, this isn't, this doesn't taste right. And I opened it up. The, bur the bun was burnt, first of all. But there was also no beef patty in my barbecue bacon Angus beef burger. There was barbecue sauce. There was bacon. I think there was cheese. There was a burnt bun and that was it. No beef. <laughs> Trod! <gasps> Thank you for the cheer. Hype, hype indeed. Did you see? The lights went purple because it's the color of the cheer. How cool is that shit? Oh my god, zombie! <laughs> Damn those hype trains getting you out of the lurk. I'm so sorry to interrupt your lurk, zombie. I'm so sorry. But thank you so much for the cheer. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Um, my god. 61% of level two. Goodness gracious, you guys. I think they forgot the beef. They did. They did indeed forget the beef. So yeah, that that spawned uh, Macca's Where's the Beef? Because there was literally Where's the Beef? Uh, and then we had KFC and they forgot one of my tenders. Um, so it, we have KFC Where's the Chicken as well. So <laughs> I have really good luck with takeout. Um, <laughs> it was it was the whole thing. Whole thing. Uh, oh, lights going batshit crazy. They do. They do that. It's um. There's a. I have a program called Lumia Stream. So when there's a sub, when there's a raid, uh, a host, cheers, uh, I think there's a donation one as well. All that stuff just, it makes the lights kind of do fun things and then it goes back to whatever I've set them to. You can also change the color of the lights with bits. There's an, uh, there's an extension. If you mouse over the, the stream, there's the little buttons on the side. It looks like the little pink light bulb. If you click that, there's a whole bunch of different um, like settings and you can change it permanently to whatever you pick. And then, so now it's pink, right? 
So if you change it to red, for example, it, that will all go red and it will stay red, except when there's an alert playing. But then when the alert finishes playing, it'll go back to red because you've set it the default to red. Does that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. It's super cool. I, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It also kind of helps notify me. And now that I've got the key lights instead of the big ass fucking soft boxes as well, they light up the room a lot better. So the whole room kind of feels pink. So when they go purple or whatever, the whole room, like I can, the wall in front of me turns purple. So I can tell what they're doing behind me because they're illuminating the room properly. It's so good. I love it so much. 61% of a level two hype train. You guys are just, your support blows me away every time. Every time. Like, Jesus Christ. Um, ha! Ah! Ali! Oh, the sun went. Oh my god. Ali, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Congratulations to everyone who got caught in that sub bomb. Hi, the sun. My went. god. All of the hype. Oh, bam, indeed. Good lord. Level two complete. Level two complete. Hi, the sun well. Oh my god. Level 3. 86% of a level 3 hype train. My god. Nice work indeed, Ali. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, oh. Sun well. So at the end of this month, what I'm going to try to... No promises. But this is why it's not listed anywhere as like a sub benefit, because I want to see if I can do it first. What oh, I'm thinking... Sun well. What I'm thinking is that I'm going to, at the end of the month, download uh, the CSV of my Twitch subs and I'm going to cross stitch them onto a banner. A banner that hangs like vertically, like a thin downwards kind of thing. Uh, and I'm gonna say like January, 2022, I'm gonna have the tier three subs, the tier two subs and tier one and prime subs. <gasps> Avidas, thank you so much for the cheer. And Loza as well with the cheer. Thank you both so much for your generosity. Holy shit, 95% of level three. Fucking Jesus, you guys. Oh my God. Oh my god. I. Uh, oh my god. I got a box. Good. <laughs> 13 gold. A uh, 15 gold. Fucking ripoff. One of my other tunes got 87 gold. What the fuck is this 15 bullshit? Oh my god. This is un. Ugh, fucking Jesus, you guys. Thank you. So kind of you. Um, so what I'm what I'm thinking is that yeah, I'll do this stitch and have have all the sub names and stuff. No promises, though. I need to see if it's actually possible, like, if I can get it done. And then hang it somewhere and put photos on the internet, obviously. Um, and if someone has gifted subs, like Ali, where Ali's name will be, we'll have a little... The gift badge, the gift sub badge of how many subs that there's, so, like, the five next to their name, so it can, like... Um, like, reference that as well. Like, it'd be all the people who have actually, like, like paid for a sub, and then down the bottom, like, plus X gifted subs, because otherwise the banner will be entirely too long. Because uh, <laughs> there's so many gifted subs, because you guys are amazing. Uh, and then putting, like, the little gift boxes next to the people who have, who have gifted subs and stuff. Like, that's the idea that I've had. We will see if that's functional, if I can actually do it. And if I can do it, if I can get it done and it's reasonable then um, I might add it as like a sub benefit. So, you know, sub to fear, get your username immortalized on a cross-stitched banner each month. Um, it was weird, hit something, stream disappeared, when I clicked back on, I got an ad. Oh, that's odd. Yeah, that's really odd. Pre-rolls are off. There's no ad playing currently. Like, that's really strange. Hmm. We, there have been issues with subs getting ads on channels. If you are subscribed here, even if you've been gifted a sub and you have received ads, please submit a support ticket with Twitch. Because we as partners, we can't do anything. We've been reporting it in in through, you know, our, our ways to do it. We've been reporting it for literally months now and they're like, we can't do anything about it you need your viewers to submit tickets. Um, so if you are experiencing ads and you are subscribed, please submit a ticket with Twitch because when you submit that, it puts your account information with the ticket so they can actually maybe potentially figure out what the fuck is going on and fix it. Um, yeah. 
which I've always managed to book. It can't do a pop one in now. Thank you so much, Seeker. I really appreciate it. And I know it's a pain. I know it's a pain in the ass. I know it is. But unfortunately, when they don't know what's why something's happening, the more data they, they can get, the better chance they have of figuring it out and then fixing it. Um, right, I need to go to the bathroom because you guys have filled me full of water and I filled myself full of bubble tea. So I'm going to do that. 95% um, of a level 3 hype train. Jesus Christ. Uh, maybe went to another stream, which I wasn't sub to. It kicked off an ad, wouldn't stop to that. But maybe. Maybe? Potentially. I'll be back in a second. Run away, little girl. Run away. the sun well. Oh my goodness. Level four hype train. Jesus Christ, I walk away for two seconds. <laughs> Anonymous Chira, thank you very much for the 134 bits. And Yuri, with the gifted sub. Amazing. Thank you so much, you guys. Oh, good Lord. Good Lord. Um, Very cheeky, I like it. Oh, people like chair. People love chair. I just need to like not even be here and chair will be, yeah, it'd be fine. Chair would be far, far more successful streamer than I would, I think. Definitely. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. But yeah, um, these, these, this banner idea. Because I've got some, let me open this drawer I have. Um, oh, shit. No, don't tip beans everywhere. That would be bad. Um, I have some magic cross stitch fabric. Um, that I, I couldn't figure out what to use it for and I thought actually this might be a really good plan uh, this might be a really good plan so I have I have this pretty stuff which is like you're not going to see it because it's too bright but it's like, there you go. It's like that kind of a, a really nice sort of blue shade, right? And then I've got this stuff, which is tie-dye, but it's also sparkly. It's also got like glitter woven through it. I'm not sure you'll be able to see it. Can you see? No, all you can see is the plastic, I think. 
but it's like really pretty. It's like green. I know it looks blue on camera, but it's like green. It's got like shimmer, sparkle woven through it. And then there's then there's this one, which is like again it's tie dyed, but it's like some pinks and yellows and greens. It's kind of reminds me of Easter for some reason. Like yeah, like all pastels and stuff. And then and then and then and then and then and then and then, and then, and then, and then. I have this one which is very like stormy blue kind of color with some like purpley pinky stuff as well. And then this one, which I very much like because you can probably tell it looks like fire. Um, and I like it quite a bit. This company, Color Cascade Fabrics, right? They, uh, they do mystery boxes of fabric. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I kind of thought that if I got to the point where I've used all that stuff up, I could maybe get a mystery box from them and then make a, uh, mmm. Mmm. Um, hey! I got a level 3 hype train emote. That's so cute. Hype applause! Yay, I love it. It's so pretty. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting the hype train. My god. My god. A redeemed chair stream, of course. Hello, STGC. It's the googly eyes. It is the googly eyes. Personality. Can you speak other languages? No. No, I can speak a handful of words of Indonesian and a handful of words of German, and that's that's it. No, no fluency, unfortunately. You just got twish. Oh, twitch. Yeah, okay. Cool. Welcome. She can speak numbers. That's not really... Look... Maybe it's a language? I can't, like, speak binary or something like that, but I, I work with money, and I work with numbers, and they make more sense to me than English most days, so... I didn't do anything. I'm from Germany, there you go! Nein, das ist mein Hamburger. That's all I know. And some numbers. Like, <laughs> no, there was- so when I was learning German in high school, I learned German in primary school and in high school, so I knew some bits, but I've lost most of it. Um, one of the, the, the book that we had, the textbook we had, at the start of every chapter, the start of every new chapter, there was a comic with a, a handful of the same characters over and over and over again. And they would, there would be this little scene where they would use the words we were going to be learning in that chapter, right? In, in context, uh, along with the words that we'd learned previously to, to build upon our knowledge. And every, there was this redhead kid, kid with red curly hair, and he had a dog. Uh, and every single comic strip, every single one of them, the final panel was his dog. He'd look the other way and his dog would steal his hamburger and he'd turn around and go, Nein, das ist mein Hamburger. And, um, and yeah, so what our, what our teacher would do is she would uh, ass assign different students to read for each of the different characters and we'd just kind of stumble through it as best we could. Uh, and we'd get to the final final panel and the entire class in unison would scream, Nein, das ist mein Hamburger, um, because it was the best. Uh, so that's what I remember. <laughs> yeah, look. Uh, <laughs> Oh, mate, numbers are deaf, a different language. No, I know, but, like, binary is an actual, like, with the ones and zeros, you can convert it into literal, like, words and shit, um, apparently. And, like, hexadecimal and things like that is all, it's all, like, language, technically. Um, so I don't speak them like that, but I, I work with numbers better than, better than words, usually. Yeah, you can still have it right, but it was just, it, yeah, so, of course, that's what stuck out of all of the shit that I learned. Of course. Welcome back, dupe. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Hope your homemade pizza was delicious. Uh, in school we had an English textbook and there was a cat called Lady Marmalade. Aw, that's cute. I don't even remember what the cat's, the, the dog's name was. Uncertain. German textbook dog character. This is not gonna do anything, but let's see. Textbook with comics. <clears throat> no, none of this is helpful. That. 
might. This might be actually it. Hang on. <laughs> I know, I know Shara's spawning. No, okay, apparently that's the word for firework, not the name of the book. Textbook. This might be it. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, I think I found it. Yes! Bring your rage to bear! Try to Gold! Yay. I think, guys, I think I found it. <laughs> I think I have found it. <gasps> oh my god, I- Yes! This is it! This is the one! Holy shit, it's called Furwork. I think that's how I pronounce it. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Oh my god. I recognize the cover. Holy shit. They're not in stock, so it must be old. Here's a 1996 textbook. Good. This is a very German course with the unique benefit of an Australasian perspective. Each unit of the Furwork 1 student book contains a cartoon story to give students an experience of the language in action and to provide a point of constant reference as they work towards mastery of the language in the unit. This is it! This is fucking it. Alright, give me a second. Let me... Holy shit. There you go. That's it. That's the book. That's the book. Mmm. That's amazing. Holy shit. Um, that was super delish. Finished another episode of The Witcher. Fantastic. Stream. No worries, Yuri. Rest well. We'll see you next time. What was found? Uh, my German textbook from secondary school where everyone would yell about the dog stealing the hamburger. Lucky that you found it. Show it. Yeah, I was just trying to find like a link for the right thing. Because I typed into, into image search, uh, Nine Das ist mein Hamburger. And I found an image that someone had posted on Twitter, like a photo that someone of the book, of the comic strip that someone had posted on Twitter. Yep, that's hilarious. Speaking of, did season two Siri remind anyone else of fear? Don't know what it was, her facial expressions. Was so surprised. I've not watched The Witcher, so I cannot comment. Uh, add it to the wish list. Oh my God. I actually have Japanese workbooks on my bookshelf at the moment that have been sitting there untouched for literally years. I should... Like, do that. I wonder if... Mm, another goal for full-time fear. Um, German language streams. We can learn German. Uh, not German. Fucking Japanese. Learn Japanese together. I have, I have fucking video game upon video game in my goddamn Steam library that are designed to help me learn Japanese. I have these Japanese workbooks, like textbooks from schools um, to, to, like, learn the shit. And I just haven't. I just haven't. I'm not sure that I'm properly equipped to learn languages with other alphabets though to honest to be honest like I could I dealt with Indonesian and German pretty easily but they use the same alphabet mostly so yeah I don't know I don't know I, don't know. I know this is my hamburger yeah exactly no that's my hamburger yeah learning Japanese with fear senpai oh god no god no learning Japanese with the noob yeah <laughs> Dog and hamburger ringing a bell. Been too long though, did three years of German in high school. Yeah, I did, um, so we did German in primary school. I don't remember how many years there was. And then seven, eight, and nine. No, seven and eight, I think, in high school. And then nine, we could start picking our electives, including the language. And I went with Indonesian um, because I felt more of an affinity. Like I found, I found it easier. 
um, than German, or less boring, or something. I don't remember. It was. I can't. I can't remember exactly. Um, okay. How long on the Shah timer at the moment? Six minutes. Oof. I think we're gonna make this our last battle, and then that'll be our last Shah kill as well. If you wanna say, give me my hamburger back. I'm gonna say, give me my hamburger. I can never remember how to say the stuff with the umlaut. In the last five seconds, well done, dude. Well done. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, I, ca I can see why. Um, is there a mod about? Uh, yeah, Jas can. I'm gonna allow this. Um, hey, Jas, can you. Oh, wait, I think he's in the kitchen. I'll get him to do it later. Um,. Fifth form German was actually my best result past all credits. Nice! Yeah, I, I don't remember how to pronounce them with the umlauts, unfortunately. That's okay. Did four years of Japanese, was met in the first, liked the second, so took it as an elective, then hated the last two. Oh no. Left it in sixth form. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I ended up dropping Indonesian once I moved into VCE, like into year 11. Um, because I, I didn't need it for, for, like, the degrees that I wanted to do in uni. Uh, Zombie, Draz, Heiko, Via, Koala, TK, Zam, Loza, and Exo, congratulations on your bonus shit. Well done. Oh! So close to my 1,000 gold. Uh, we are gonna stop there for battles, though. We're gonna do one more shark kill, and then I'm gonna go the fuck to bed, because I have to go back to work tomorrow. My first work day. My first day job work day of 2022. Dropped it for chemistry. My my six subjects for VCE were um, English, uh, biology, psych. Did I do chem? I think I did chem. And then math methods and specialist math. I don't know what they're called in different jurisdictions, but that's what they were called in the VCE. Uh, work and mine is today first day back at work since the 9th of december uh will be tomorrow prepare your butt for the uh, emails for your inbox you're gonna have to spend like two-thirds of your day just cleaning out your inbox be fine be fine english maths biochemistry and accounting hmm french spanish and business studies for me in the uk ah there you go first day back since 25 25th of november last year Ah, oh, look, it'll be fun for all of us, shan't it? It'll be fun for all of us. Prepare yourselves for, like, I don't know if you guys get, like, emails in your positions, but, like, the email that absolutely should have been handled by somebody else while you were away, but that hasn't been done because everyone just assumes you do it when you get back, even though it was, like, super fucking urgent and needed to be done four weeks ago. Sitting out of office now that Outlooks gives you a preview of them, people seem to not include me on things. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, like... I still include people when they're, in, when they've got their out of office, but not on every single email. I kind of, like, if, if a, if a decision has been reached, that's when I copy them in, so that they see that the decision has been reached because it'll affect their job in the end of it. Do you know what I mean? So that they're kept in the loop, but not, they don't have to be like all the way in the loop with all the decision making and the discussions. They don't need that, but they do need the final decision. Um, sometimes not being able to work has its advantages. Oh, I can't complain too much. There didn't seem to be too much urgency. Thinks that's good. That's really good. I uh, left things in good hands while I was away. Awesome. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, I, um, I've only had one week off. Like I worked. Last week I had obviously Tuesday off because it was Boxing Day observed and then I had Thursday off but prior to that I worked the Thursday before that so I've only had one week so um, I know I'll have a ton of emails but it'll be all automated emails from companies who are like sending invoices and stuff so it'll be really easy to just handle them um, because the week that I was away everyone else was away and I probably won't get any emails this week because most people are still away this week uh, in, in our industry so yeah it'll be it'll be Chill. That's me knocking on my desk because my desk is made of wood. I shouldn't fucking said anything. It's fine. Um, luckily, tomorrow is payroll day, 
And we do payroll in arrears. So I'm paying people for last week's work, of which there wasn't any, so it's only people who are salaried. And they get a certain amount anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. Hmm. Advice we got was to stay away from the office for the first way back, yeah, for sure. We've had the same thing. Um, pretty sure everyone's going to be working from home for the first couple of weeks just because of um, COVID. Just because of COVID. Which is probably a good call, honestly. What with all the people hanging out with others for Christmas and New Year's and stuff like that. And the, um, the, the virality of, uh, of Omicron. Fucking everyone's gonna have it. Like, it's just gonna be, everyone's gonna be, yeah. Ah, uh, I'm glad I have the option to work from home. I'm, I'm really, really glad that both of, I'm so grateful that both of my jobs give me the option of working from home. Like, that's just, I'm so thankful. So thankful. Especially with fucking immune autoimmune condition like it's just too dangerous too fucking dangerous uh do you have any favorite secret place in shadowlands i don't think so i don't think so like i am a vampire through and through like benthea 100 per fucking cent uh but ardenwild is gorgeous you, like, I cannot go past just the sheer beauty that is Ardenweald. Um, like, I like Revendreth, but it doesn't quite hit the same. Like, the, just the looks of Revendreth are kind of, like, I mean, it it suits them perfectly. Like, it is the appropriate setting for the Venthyr. But Ardenweald is just mind-blowingly gorgeous. It's fucking beautiful. Um, Workplace has most unusually decided to buck the trend with the other same kind of its field and wants everyone in the office. Such a strange position to take and we'll have to see how that travels if squids are at home again soon. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I've got chronic pain syndrome. Ah, chronic pain. Can't afford getting COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not... I'm not a healthy person. I'm not a healthy person. Uh, but that's okay. It is what it is. It's mostly genetic. I can't do anything about that. All I can do is treat what happens and, and try to uh, try to do the best with the body I've got and um, and try to take care of it as best that I can. All I can do. It's a bold strategy. Let's see if it pays off. Fucking good lord, hey, good lord, good lord. saying I should be at home for the duration of the pandemic. That was before my doc knew how long the sucker was going to go for. Yeah. I don't think anyone knew back in the beginning, hey? Like, I don't think there was any possible way of knowing just what this would do. You can you can run a million and one models. You can, you can use past experiences to kind of look at what might happen, or, but there was just no way to know for sure what was going to happen. It has been unbelievable. Unbelievable. It was from Jan 2020. Good lord, yeah. A lot of people also took it too long. Oh, fuck yeah. Absolutely, Exo. 100%. Oh, it's just a cold. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there were a lot of people in powerful places downplaying how serious it was. Um, and then... People not wanting to stay at home, being petulant children, and so ignoring everything and just like, nah, I don't want to fucking do that. 
I'm going to do what I want. You can't tell me what to do. And so they went and did all the stupid shit. Um, and unfortunately, that puts people, other people at risk, like the people who have to be there. Essential workers, you know? People who take payment for groceries, even though they're trying to do the best that they can. And then they, you know, they end up catching it and putting their loved ones at risk, even though all of those people are doing the right things. It just... It really goes to show how fucking selfish humans are. Humans are so goddamn selfish. But it is what it is. This is the world we've made. We have to just kind of do what we can. In the Netherlands, we've still got demonstrations against the rules. Oh, there's still all over the world. There is still, well, not everywhere, but there's still in Australia as well. Pretty much every week, there's a new fucking protest in Melbourne. Um, I'm not sure about Brisbane. I think Brisbane's mostly kind of back to mostly normal. Um, except that, like, they have to check vaccinations. Like, you, you can't go to a cafe, for example, unless you can prove that you've been vaccinated. Um, we've got an app that you can connect to your Medicare thing and it just shows, like, a little green tick to say that you're double-dosed. Um, and it, it can't be... It can't really be fudged. Um, I mean, I'm sure it could be, but not as easy to fudge as those little, like, cards that you could just, like, you know, make one, print it off, and laminate it or whatever. Um, yeah, a little more tricky. But, yeah, it's, uh, and then you have to wear masks in places where the vaccinated and unvaccinated mingle such as a supermarket, because you can't bar non-vaccinated people from an essential service like getting food. You just, you can't. And that's the right decision. They should not be barred from that, that kind of place, but we all have to wear masks there because it's not, you know, whereas in a cafe, all of the workers wear masks uh, and all the workers have to be double vaxxed and then everyone visiting has to be double vaxxed, but while you're sitting and eating and drinking, you don't have to wear it and then you pop it on again and then you leave kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so it's there's a couple of little things like that, but mostly for the for the most part, we're we're fine. It's just those kind of those two things that are different. Um, and yet people are still fucking protesting. Whatever. You just do X and you'll be fine. People died. Yep. So get takeaway though. Yeah, you can. You can absolutely. Yeah. So if you're unvaccinated. Um, because you can't be vaccinated, that's another big thing, you know, some people aren't able to be vaccinated and so they can't go to a cafe or a restaurant. They can still get takeaway though. They can pop a mask on, they can grab the takeaway and they can go home. Like, it's we're not preventing them from having other people cook them food. Um, they just have to take it home and eat it kind of thing. It's a good one, gets their first done next week after pretend to be brave. Aw, Sika! Screenshot would do at most of the places I've been recently. Yeah. Yeah. Um, shouldn't bother them. Uh, yeah, I'll be getting there soon too, yeah. Uh, get my booster this week. Oh, fantastic. Wonderful news. Um, I won't be, I don't think Jas and I will be eligible for boosters until March. Because it's, here it's supposed to be six months after your second dose. And we didn't get our second doses until September. Um, because of a bunch of reasons. Um, so... I think our boosters will be due March. I've had, I've heard some people talking about that they've bumped it down from six months to four months, which means that I'd be due like this month, but I'm not sure. Um, got some temporary eligible in late January. There are, there are other things that are going on though with my stuff, so I can't, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, plus I haven't actually heard that confirmed anywhere, which is really odd. Um, I've heard a lot of people talking about it, but I couldn't find anything. Maybe if I search now, I'll be able to find something. But the first time it was mentioned to me, I couldn't even find a fucking news article talking about it. It was so weird. Uh, but, um, yeah, but I, um, I need medical advice before I go further with a booster. Jas will be fine. Uh, I'm not so fine. That's okay. Down to three months too because of Omicron. Interesting. Anyway, I will do some looking into it. I do have uh, some stuff coming up that I can double up. I can I can use the appointments to, to ask questions about it all and stuff, but uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. Um, right. 
Oh, I can't believe it's back to work tomorrow. Oh, I have a stretch. Okay, I'll do that. Um, I will refund the chair stream though, because I'm not going to get to do it. Um, but that's all right. So that's a stretch. I'll refund that. Um, to where? people on this list that's interesting that's fine yeah all right here we go Who's from the 11th? Ah, uh, nice. Well done, Apathy. Good job. Uh, all right, here we go. We have a Twitch raid. Grab your copy paste if you do not have the Fiamma Hype Emote, either because you're not subbed or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, either which are totally fine. You can still copy and paste the entire message, delete where it says Fiamma Hype, and replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote, and drop it into Murray's channel when we get there. And say hello because she's a lovely human and I would love to, to share the love with her. Um, today we have done the Shaw Farm stream. Uh, next up we have The Kids We Were, which is on Wednesday. It's a good Switch game. I'm very much looking forward to it. It's a little adventure game. The devs have sent me the key, uh, so I'm quite keen to have a play. It's releasing on Steam soon on PC rather than just uh, rather than just a Switch. So I'm, I'm interested to see what you guys think. Uh, and 5050s leveling on Friday. Hopefully get another couple of 50s. We'll see how we go. More transmog hunting on Sunday. We'll probably bump it up to a lack. Like we'll do some loot appraiser challenges as I'm doing the dungeons because that sounds like fun. And back to regularly scheduled Mount Farm Monday next week. Uh, take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I'm going to see you on Wednesday. All the love. Mwah. Bye guys.